मॉर्निंग गाइस टू एवरीवन आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन दिस वंडरफुल प्लेटफॉर्म दैट इज बाइजूस एग्जाम प्रेप यस 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 अंजू वेलकम टू दिस सेशन सो गाइस टुडे इज अ वेरी वेरी स्पेशल सेशन वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व 100 क्वेश्चंस व्हिच आर फ्रॉम मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग एंड डेफिनेटली दे आर द एक्सपेक्टेड क्वेश्चन दे आर द एक्सपेक्टेड क्वेश्चन फॉर योर अपकमिंग एग्जाम gate 2023 so you know guys very few days are left for the exam so this session is going to help you with that type of question you can directly get in the exam so if you are preparing well and as you are attending the marathon session you must need some questions also so here is the session for you guys yes 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 ragu hi ajay hi selvam good morning bhomik good morning chandra buleshu good morning abhijit good morning so let us start this session ajmira good morning so guys in this session uh, we would be having 100 question and uh, all of us faculty would be taking uh, this session this is from complete mechanical team yes so we are starting it this is some detail about me 10 plus years of experience and these are my areas of interest and guys in today's session i am going to take which subjects in today's session i will be taking question from strength of material from production and from machine design so today i will be i would be taking the question from these three topics and i would be taking 25 questions after me sonu sir would be joining for thermal part plus engineering mechanics then suraj sir would be coming for hf uh, for industrial engineering tom and vibration after that chandra sir would be coming for fluid mechanics and heat and mass transfer so in that way we are going to cover these 100 question now without wasting your time one more important information yes teju ajay good morning uh, chintu good morning so guys those who are preparing for gate 2024 for them today is a workshop generally college going student and job going peoples face difficulty with the job or college for the preparation of gate and esc exam so today is a workshop and that workshop would be uh, at 7:30 pm on the app you can register for it this is free workshop and i would be taking this workshop and my dear when i will be taking this i will be giving you some tips which will help you to prepare well during your during your job or college okay and guys this is my telegram channel mechanical by dheeraj sardana to get pdf of this session you can join the telegram channel and tonight you will get pdf of theory of machines previous marathon also uh, so guys just join this telegram channel and you know marathon series is going on and this is the schedule for that and now i would be coming for tom and vibration on 12th of january okay 10 am would be the timing then machine design is going to be there on 10 am that also i'll be taking on 14th of january okay so this is the schedule for that now we are starting guys the very first question in front of you from deformation of bar let us see how many of you are able to solve it this is a combination of taper bar and prismatic bar okay so this is a combination of taper bar and prismatic bar so he is saying a tapered circular rod of diameter varying from 20 mm to 10 mm is connected to another uniform circular rod of dia 10 mm as shown in the figure both bars are made up of same material with young's modulus of elasticity when subjected to a load this and the deflection at the point a actually you need to find out the deformation if this is bar 1 this is bar 2 then you need to find out delta total bars in series delta 1 plus delta 2 okay so yes try to solve it teju ajay chintu malesh ajmira abhijit chandra buleshu bhomik selvam ajay krishna so try to solve it i will also give you the hint you know that for taper bar you know that for taper bar it can be written as 4 pl upon pi e d1 d2 okay and then delta 2 can be written as 4 pl upon pi e d square this d is d2 okay so just try to solve it and then add them to get the total deformation so guys i hope everybody would be able to answer this question this is not a difficult one but this type of question you can definitely expect because in mechanical till now this type of question have not been there so definitely there are fair chances you may get this year this type of question just solve it guys ajay malesh ajmira abhijit q 
keep solving guys and just like and share the session kiran kumar is saying answer to be 15 what about others kiran is saying answer to be 15 shreyas yes 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 kiran good morning dear i like your way first you have given the answer then you are saying good morning that's great shreyas is saying 16 yes answer se apni upasthiti darj karai aapne that's really great joseph 15 bhomik 15 bahut badhiya so guys answer will be 15 mm if you will see what is d1 and d2 d1 is this 20 mm d2 is 10 mm so diameters also they have given like that okay yes jobin naveen ajay amir wonderful so 15 mm is the right answer 15 mm is the right answer teju have you done it or not yes very good ajay Selvan, very good. Moving to next question, guys. Question number two from deflection of beams. I have covered all the topics which are important. This is from deflection of beam. Okay, and I know your weak point is conjugate beam method. So, this question is taken from conjugate beam method. Okay, yes, yes, yes. So, cantilever beam is loaded like this. Okay. And you need to tell which of the following statements are true. Loading diagram will be UDL over entire length and BMD will be parabolic. Loading diagram will be triangular and SFD will be parabolic. You need to tell related to conjugate beam. Loading is concentrated, BMD is triangle. Loading and BMD cannot be found. Yes, this is once again from strength of material. Question number two, guys. I am going to take 25, after that Sonu sir will be coming, after that Suraj sir, then Chandra Shekhar sir. Entire mechanical engineering would be covered, even aptitude questions would also be taken today, okay. And in the next practice session, we will try to include mathematics also. Very good, very good. So, people are answering, some are saying the answer to be C, okay. Everyone is saying the answer to be C. So, loading is concentrated, bending moment is triangle. Dear, first of all, I would like to tell you, they are asking you about the conjugate beam. They are asking a cantilever is loaded as shown in figure. Which of the following statements are true for conjugate beam? This is not the conjugate beam, okay? So, if we see the conjugate beam, what it will be, let me tell you. They are saying, the beam is like this. I told you that at least conversion you have to understand for, uh, for conjugate beams. They are saying that, they are saying that bending moment M is acting here and bending moment M is acting here. Material is same, but it is having I, it is having 2I. Okay, I value is getting doubled. So, first of all, you will tell me guys, first of all, you will tell me that whether this is sagging or hogging, you already know the sign convention for bending moment. This is for the sagging. This is for the hogging. So, it is understood that it is a hogging moment. Very good, Shreyas, Umar. So, it is understood that it is hogging moment. So, if it is hogging moment, now let us make the diagram. So, we need to make M upon EI diagram. Okay. So, if we are going to see from A to B. If you see from A to B, bending moment is M. So, I will be saying it is going to be like this. This is minus M upon EI. Okay. It is valid up to this. And after that, you know, if I take a section here. So, for 1-1 one, one section, for 1-1 one, one section, bending moment was M. For 2-2 two, two section, it was minus M actually. For 2-2 two, two section, it is M and M. It is going to be minus 2M. But it means bending moment is going to be doubled. But at the same time, I is also getting doubled. So, when we see M upon EI, so M upon EI for 1-1 one, one section was minus M upon EI and when you will see M upon EI for 2-2 two, two section, you will be getting minus 2M upon 2EI because both are increased to 2 times. So, overall it will remain same, 2-2 two, two will get cancelled out. So, my dear, this value you can write minus 2M upon minus 2EI upon 2EI. So, 2-2 two, two will get cancelled out. 
So my dear, this is going to be the conjugate beam. You know that free end will become fixed. Free end will become fixed. And as it is negative, loading will be like this. Now you tell me which type of loading it is. Now you tell me which type of loading it is. Yes, Ashutosh. Sir, I am having doubt in simply supported beam while finding deflection when BMD is triangle. Uh, how to take centroid? Okay, Amir, you just contact me on Telegram. I will share you a table where there will be two figures and centroid area formula plus one question will be there. I shared that already on the Telegram. Once again, I will share. Okay. Yes. Now, my dear, this is loading diagram. Now, this is said to be the loading diagram. So, if loading diagram is UDL, then you know shear force diagram will be UVL and bending moment diagram will be parabola. It is going to be parabola. So, now you answer that which would be correct. Now, you answer which option would be correct. Yes, so don't worry, Amir, you contact me after this session. I will help you for that. Okay. You just need to remember two formulas if you want for parabolic case. So, answer Sujish, Asutosh, Abhijit, Malesh, Chandra Buleshu, Manas, Bhomik, Kiran. A is the answer. Wonderful, guys. A is the answer. Next question, guys. Next question, guys. So, a simply supported reinforced concrete beam of length 10 meter sacks while undergoing shrinkage. Assuming a uniform curvature. So, there is a beam actually. There is a simply supported beam. Simply supported beam. It is going to bend actually. It is going to bend. Sagging is happening. Sagging means what? Positive moment. If sagging is happening, what do you mean by that? Sagging means this beam is going to bend like this. And if that is happening, they are asking that curvature. So, obviously some curvature would be there. So, for that, R is the radius of curvature and 1 by R is curvature. So, 1 by R is given as 0 0.004. And they are saying that the maximum deflection, you need to find out the maximum deflection which would be at center. Okay. If you remember, we have derived the relation for such kind of thing. Let us see how many of you are remembering. Ajay Gupta, engineering mechanics ka marathon already planned hai. And I would like to tell you that engineering mechanics ka marathon, we three faculties are going to take. Okay, Abhinav Negi sir, me and Sonu Chohan sir. Together we are going to take engineering mechanics marathon. Okay. And I feel engineering mechanics marathon would be there most probably on Sunday or Monday. Most probably on Sunday or Monday. Okay. So, just solve it guys. And uh, we have derived, I will be getting, telling you the uh, formula also. L square upon 8R is the formula for this. If you want to remember. I will derive also right now in front of you. So, note for parabolic just from which point. Okay, Amir. Then I am right now helping you. Then I am right now helping you. First, let us solve this problem. I am right now telling you. Very good, very good. Very good, guys. So, I am getting a lot of answers. The correct answer for this is 0 0.05 meters. Okay. So, 0 0.05 meters is the right answer. First of all, I will tell you how this is derived. Okay. So, you would be having a beam like this. This was the beam. Okay, this was the beam, L by 2, L by 2. And my dear, before bending, before bending, this is the beam. Before bending, this is the beam. And after bending, this is the beam. So, this is going to be the maximum deflection. This is going to be the maximum deflection. Yes, Midun, good morning. If this is the maximum deflection, you can also say that this is 2R minus Y max. So, when you will apply the property of circle, this is AB, CD and E. Property of circle says AE into EB is equals to CE into ED. 
you will be having L by 2 into L by 2 and 2R minus Y max into Y max. Okay, guys, just like and share the session so that other student can also join it. So, when you will be having this L square upon 4, you know, uh, it is 2R into Y max. And, you know, deflection is generally in mm. Square of that would be microns. So, this can be neglected. So, you would be getting the Y maximum as L square upon 8R where r is the radius of curvature and 1 by r is the curvature. Is it clear guys? Is it clear guys? So, 1 by r value is given to you. This is said to be curvature and L square L is also known to you. So, you just need to put the values now. L is given to you as 10 meter. So, 10 into 10 to the power 3. Is it 10 meter? Length of 10 meter? Yes, it is. Then divided by 8 into what is R? R is 0 0.004. Is it clear for everyone? Please tell me that. Yes, very good. So, Amir, now I am coming to your doubt. Now I am coming to your doubt. Your doubt is asking you about that if we have a cantilever beam and let us say this is the loading. Any loading can be there and you would be having this type of bending moment diagram. This is the centroid. Okay. And if we have a simply supported beam, if we have a simply supported beam, this is the load and we are going to have like this. Your problem is that centroid would be taken here and from where we need to take the distance. If you want to find out deflection at A, if you want to find out deflection at A, here at C, if you are finding out deflection at A, then distance of centroid would be taken from that only. Means the distance would be taken from A here. This is going to be X bar. And here you are finding out deflection at C, so distance would be taken from here only, X bar. Okay, but this I am telling you when we are going for actual theorem. Actual theorem means when you are writing out deflection at C, then it would be coming out to be deflection at A plus theta at A into AC plus deflection at C with respect to tangent at A. If you are using this theorem, then we are always going to take the distance from the point where we are finding out the deflection. Okay, 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 Ajay, sorry, I feel I have put in the wrong value there. Okay, I am correcting it. Amir, you understood? Okay, this point 0, 004 will not be coming here. This will be coming here because it is directly 1 by R value is given to us. Okay, is it clear for everyone? Ashok, can we solve this using main formula like 1 by R? Yes, Ashok, but the point is for that the things are not given to you in that way. Because it is coming from because of thermal. So, when it is coming because of thermal, we are using the geometry here. Okay, it is not coming because of bending moment. Then how you will be using that formula? Is it fine, Malesh? Okay. Okay. So, L square is there. Now, it is fine. I have done so much calculation mistakes. Great, great, great. So, guys, that is why I am not going to give the paper. You are going to give the paper. So, from viewer side, there should not be any mistake in calculations. Moving back to the question. Just like and share the session, guys. This is the next question. And this is from theory of failures. This is from machine design. Okay. This question will be counted in machine design. Just solve it guys. The question says, the homogeneous state of stress for a metal part undergoing plastic deformation is this. Where the stress component value are in MPA, use von Mises yield criteria and find out the tensile yield stress. Okay. So, here my dear, I would like to tell you that as zero shear is present in the z-axis, 
इट मीन्स दिस वैल्यू इज डायरेक्टली सिग्मा थ्री यूजिंग दीज फोर वैल्यूज यू नीड टू फाइंड आउट सिग्मा वन एंड सिग्मा टू आफ्टर दैट यू नो वट वोन माइसिस सेज सो वोन माइसिस थ्योरी सेज दैट Sigma one square plus sigma two square plus sigma three square minus sigma one sigma two minus sigma two sigma three minus sigma one sigma three is equals to S Y T square. As factor of safety, you need not to consider they are talking about plastic deformation. It means deformation started. It means you would be taking n to be one because failure is happening actually. So n is taken as one. so now you would be putting all the values you need to find out syt solve this and get the answer yes guys solve this question solve this question guys i am waiting for your answer so this is from machine design i am taking question from som md production wonderful guys just like and share the session as well shreyas have given the answers to be 27.839 i am waiting for others to answer yes 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 no 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 ashok here no plane stress condition because here they have given this matrix and you can see the stress is available in third dimension also so it is not the condition of plane stress in plane stress all the stresses in third dimensions are zero here only shear are zero okay very good fazal is saying 22.3 amir is saying 27.84 teju is saying 27.84 yes fazal do check it Abhijit is saying eighteen point zero two, twenty six point nine six, twenty seven point eight four. So guys, uh, answer will be twenty seven point eight four. Okay, that would be the right answer. So I feel others have definitely done done some mistake in the calculation. So twenty seven point eight four would be the right answer. Okay, yes, 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 minus. This is going to be in MPA. वंडरफुल गाइस वेरी गुड भौमिक मिदुन बहुत ही बढ़िया वेरी गुड उमर अजय बहुत बढ़िया गाइस सो मूविंग फर्दर यस किरण मूविंग फर्दर टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दिस इज अ वंडरफुल क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मटेरियल्स वेरी गुड मानस सो व्हाट अदर्स हैव गिवन दे हैव गिवन द वैल्यू ऑफ सिग्मा वन लाइक यू आर आस्किंग i'm telling you guys what you are going to get actually you will be getting sigma 1 and sigma 2 from the formula sigma xx plus sigma yy by 2 plus minus square root of sigma xx minus sigma yy by 2 ka square plus tau xy ka whole square when you will apply this you will be getting 22.07 and second value would be coming out to be 7.92 okay 92 and you already know the third value is minus 10 <coughs> put these values here you will get syt to be 27.84 this is how you will get answer yes to fail is there any doubt very good ajay bahut hi badhiya great that is why ajay so this is how we are going to solve it moving to next question guys this is a very good question here what they are saying what they are saying is two beams are connected by a linear spring okay as shown in the figure for a load p as shown in the figure the percentage of the applied load p carried by the spring is okay they are asking you that if rs is the force in the spring then it is how much how much percentage of p that is what they are asking so first of all we will say that it is a combination of two beams one beam connected with other beam like this this type of question generally coming in civil and xc paper 
but be ready for mechanical also they can come like that. This is given as 3 EI upon 2 L cube. This is given as the stiffness of this. Okay. So, my dear, you know when the load P would be coming onto the beam, then obviously there is a tendency of this beam to deflect like that. Okay. And when it will be deflecting, spring will also start compressing. But my dear, some force would be coming into the spring because of that, because of that compression, then definitely this beam will also be deflected by some amount. Let us say this beam is deflected by some amount of delta 1 and this is going to be deflected by an amount of delta 2. Then what would be the delta of spring? You can write delta 1 minus delta 2 is equal to delta of spring. Okay, because because of this beam delta 1 is the compression in this spring and because of this delta 2 is the expansion in the spring. So, delta 1 minus delta 2 would be delta of spring. Now, how you can find out delta 1 my dear? For delta 1, you can use the condition of first beam for which P is the load acting here and RS would be the load coming because of the spring. So, my dear, the second condition is for the second beam, delta 2. On this beam, only RS would be acting. And what about the spring? You know that for this, the force in the spring would be RS. So, my dear, definitely you can write here it will be RS. Is it clear or not? Force in the spring will be RS. So, my dear, if that is the condition, if that is the condition, here also RS will be coming. If that is the condition, you just need to write delta 1 minus delta 2 is equal to delta of spring. Delta 1 is coming because of these two. So, you will write minus P plus RS L cube upon 3 EI. This is delta 1. What is delta 2? It is minus P plus RS because it is doing downward, it is doing upward. What about this? It is going to be minus and what is the condition for that? It is minus RS L cube upon 3 EI. Then you would be having minus RS upon K. Is it clear guys? So, you need to just solve this and get the answer. Just solve this and get the answer. Just solve this and get the answer. Okay. Very good Shreyas have already solved it. Amir have also solved it. No, 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 Jobin 11.1 .1 is not correct. 11.1 .1 is not correct. Okay, Amir, don't worry. After marathon, we are going to have these type of session only. Okay. So, wonderful, wonderful. Shreyas is saying 25.4. So, guys, when you will be solving it, what would be the answer you are going to get? So, when you will be solving it, you know it is going to be minus P L cube upon 3 EI because length is L plus R S L cube upon 3 EI. Then it is, it is going to be equals to minus R S. It is 3 EI upon 2 L cube. This is the case 2 L square or 2 L cube, 2 L square or 2 L cube. It is 2L cube. It is 2L cube. So, now this is minus RS. This would be going on to that side and you would be getting RS to be equals to P by 4. So, answer would be coming out to be 25 percent. Is it clear? Wonderful guys. Wonderful guys. So, answer would be coming out to be 25 percent. Everybody is okay with that. This was a type of question. Actually, some student Suggested to take one question with the spring. Dear, actually, how the force, force would be coming in the beam is RS only, okay? But the point is we don't know the RS. That is what we need to find out. So, 
for such conditions we need to take the help of deflection so what we have done actually if you see they have asked that this is the spring which is joining the beam if here you would be having delta 1 deflection in downward here you are going to have deflection delta 2 downward so this is downward this is downward so delta 1 minus delta 2 will be the total compression of the spring so that is what we have used now when we take the sign convention for both of them separately for that you know P would be doing downward deflection, RS would be doing upward deflection. So, because of that minus P for downward plus RS for upward. Here also we have done minus RS for negative, minus RS for negative. So, you would be getting RS to be P by 4. This is how you would be getting it. I feel you got it. Yes, yes, yes. Moving to the next question. This is from bending now. This is from bending. So, I am covering everything for you guys. Just like and share the session. This is dedicated to all of you guys. Solve it. I want answer from all of you. A ratio of moment carrying capacity of a circular beam. Moment carrying capacity of circular beam to the square beam. You know that M is directly proportional to Z and A. So, you will be writing Z and A of circular ZNA of square. You also would be aware of ZNA for circle is pi by 32 d cube. Is it clear? And what for square? For square it is d cube by 6 or 12. Everybody remember that 6 or 12. Yes. Solve this question. This is from bending guys. This is from bending. I want answer from all of you for this question. This is easy question. Solve it. Very good. Very good. Very good. So, you know that D is the diameter of circle, diameter of circle is D and side of square is also D. Very good. So, you just need to put the value and get the answers. Bhomik, Midun, Amir, Malesh, Aju, Abhijit, Jobin, Bhot Badiya. Answer will be D. How you will solve it? You will say that moment of circle, moment of square, moment of circle is pi by 32 d cube, it is d cube by 6, okay. So, you know d cube, d cube will get cancelled out and you will be getting yes, 3 pi by 16, d is the right answer. Moving further guys, this is a wonderful question. I have done it many times in the classes. Very good Surya. And intentionally I have taken this here. So that if this type of question comes in your paper, everybody would be able to do that. Solve it. How to do that? Let us see how many of you give the right answer. This is a good question and this is from spring. So it would be counted in machine design. Yes, wonderful, wonderful, solve it guys, answer starts coming, Amir is saying C, Shreyas is saying C, Shreyas, okay B, Shreyas Negi is saying C, Shreyas Rastogi is saying B, Kiran C, Abhishek C, Ajay Gupta is saying A, what about others? What about others? What about others? Okay, Teju is saying B. Bahad badia. I feel guys only D is left. Please someone say D also. That will also be covered. <coughs> okay. So my dear, I already told you. When you see this type of question, you need to convert them into bars. You will be assuming that this is a combination of two bars. 
बिकॉज वेन इट इज फिक्स एट बोथ द एंड फोर्स इज अप्लाइड हेयर यू कैन नॉट डिसाइड सीरीज एंड पैरल तो फॉर सच केस यू विल बी टेकिंग इट इन दिस वे एंड नाउ वेन दे आर बिकमिंग बार्स इट इज ईजी टू अंडरस्टैंड इट इज द बार्स इन सीरीज ओके एंड बार्स इन सीरीज यू हैव डन अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम यू नो दैट फॉर सच केस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू विल बी एज्यूमिंग सम सुपोर्ट रिएक्शन टू फाइंड आउट द सुपोर्ट रिएक्शन यू विल से देर इज सम सुपोर्ट रिएक्शन आर ए एंड सम सुपोर्ट रिएक्शन आर सी ए बी एंड सी इज देयर ओके so you need to find out first of all the support reactions so you know that ra and rb you need to find out but here it is also mentioned that 1 and 2 are arranged and this is spring 1 and spring 2 and both are here having the same stiffness you know that we are saying here stiffness to be equals to a1 e1 upon l1 and here stiffness will be this is k1 k2 is a2 e2 upon l2 If you see here stiffness is the same, so here by symmetry because of this R A and R B will be coming out to be R A and R C will be coming out to be equal. Still, if you don't know how it it is equal, you can apply the formula. Like if you want to R A and R C, what you will do? First equation will be R A plus R C is equals to F. Second equation will be delta one plus delta two equals to zero. What is delta one? Delta one will be this is the force in the first member. You will say P1 upon K1 plus P2 upon K2 is equal to zero. If you find out the P1 by taking the section, P1 will be plus R A. If you find out P2, it will be coming out to be plus R A minus P. P is F. Okay. So when you would be putting these values, you would be getting here R A is equal to F by 2. If R A is F by 2. Okay, then you would be getting R C also to be equal to F by two. Once you get this, my dear, once you get this, you know that strain energy is half into P into delta. You can see that P one you have already written as F by two, which was equal to R A actually. So you can write it also one by two into P. Delta can be written as P by K because you know force is equal to K times of X. In the spring, it is p square upon 2k. P is f by 2. F square upon 8k. Is it clear for everyone? Everybody can solve this type of question now. Answer would be C. Neither A nor B nor D. Very good, Ajay. Yes, Amir Teju got it. Everybody got it. बहुत बढ़िया गाइस सो टू शो यू फुल स्क्रीन समवेयर आई एम गोइंग हेयर एंड देयर फॉर यूर बेनिफिट ओनली आंसर इज सी फॉर दिस मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन गाइस इफ एनी वेयर यू फाइंड एनी प्रॉब्लम जस्ट आस्क मी आई एम हेयर टू सोल्व यूर प्रॉब्लम ओनली दिस इज फ्रॉम सोम टोर्शन टिल नाउ यू हैव सीन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम सोम एंड मशीन डिजाइन दिस इज फ्रॉम स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मटीरियल टोर्शन हा तेजू आई टोल्ड यू इन वन स्प्रिंग ओनली we have calculated in one spring only if you want to find out both the spring you will do two times of this they are asking assume each spring constant is k and strain energy in one spring so in one spring only i have written i found out ra and i have applied the formula for one spring half into p into delta if you find out total strain energy it would be strain energy 1 plus strain energy 2 then the answer would be f square upon 4k is it clear yes 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 okay this is easy question from torsion easy question from torsion okay this is a pyq of esc i have made it objective for you soch samajhkar answer kariyega answer it wisely guys let us see how many of you give the right answer Shreyas is saying D. What about others? And guys, do like and share the session. This is practice session going on, and I would be taking twenty-five questions from SOM, machine design, and production. Okay. Then Sonu sir would be joining for thermal and mechanics. Then Gopi sir, Suraj sir would be joining for Tom vibration industrial. Then. 
Chandra sir would be coming for FM and HMT. Kiran is saying D, Shreyas is saying D, Abhijit is saying B. Okay. What about others? What about others? They are asking that what is the maximum shear stress developed at the periphery of shaft A? Means in this part. I can divide this shaft into two parts, one and two. This is AB, this is BC. So if you are going to take a section in this, can you see what is the value of torque on the right hand side? Can you tell me what is the value of torque on right hand side? There is no torque. So you can write T11 is equal to 0. So my dear, when you will be writing the tau max at the periphery, it is coming out to be T11 upon ZP. Answer is 0. There is no option. So you will say none. And intentionally I have kept none. Because generally students feel none cannot be the answer. Are bhai, if your concepts are clear, then you know that it is going to be 0 anyhow. So then you will say none. So just this for that confusion I have kept it. And generally students are getting confused with that. Moving to the next question guys. This is once again from machine design. Machine design MDET. Theory of failure. Okay. And from this figure you can say sigma 1 is 250. Sigma 2 is 50. Sigma 3 is 0. And you need to apply MDET. I feel you know MDT is because sigma 3 is 0. Factor of safety is not mentioned. So you need to find out the equivalent yield strength. Means you need to find out the value of SYT. So you can also do this. So I have tried to cover every type. So you can see it is a combination of easy and difficult question. Last two questions are very easy. Before that very difficult. Okay. So we have taken the. So that's why you shall not be worried if you find some question difficult. Because it doesn't mean every question will be difficult. Sometimes they keep first five to seven question very difficult. To just make your mind distortion. So just don't distract from that. Okay, definitely those questions will come for which you are very easily and nicely prepared. Okay, Aju, Faisal, Amir, Abhijit, very good, very good, very good. Malesh, Jobin, Umar, Midun, Ajay, Bhomik, Teju, answer will be D, 229 MPA. This type of question last time came before gate 2010. So there are high probability they come back to this type. Very good Ajmira. This is the next question guys. This is from once again machine design. And this is from fluctuating loading. Fluctuating loading. Here you need to use the SN diagram. You need to use the SN diagram. So here I will be having log base 10 amplitude stress log base 10 n curve will be like this and this you need to solve it i will just give you the hint for this here it is 3 here it is 6 okay you are given some life of 50000 cycles so this value is log base 10 sigma this value is log base 10. They have directly mentioned for 1000 cycle it is 900 MPa. And for 10 to the power 6, they have mentioned it is 500 MPa. So you need to find out this value. So you need to just use the similar triangle concept. Very good guys. Bahut badia. You need to use the similar triangle concept. Some people have given the answer A. This is one triangle and this is the bigger triangle. So I will say A, B, C and D, E. So you just need to write A, B by B, C. Let us say this is X and then A, D by D, E. You just need to do this. What is A, B? You will write it as log 
बेस टेन नाइन हंड्रेड माइनस लोग बेस टेन सिग्मा डिवाइडेड बाय एक्स माइनस थ्री लोग बेस टेन नाइन हंड्रेड माइनस लोग बेस टेन फाइव हंड्रेड सिक्स माइनस थ्री दिस विल गिव यू द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स ओके एक्स सॉरी सॉरी एक्चुअली सिग्मा इज नोट देयर एक्स इज देयर व्हाट इज एक्स एक्स इज लोग बेस टेन एन सो एक्स इज लोग बेस टेन फिफ्टी थाउजेंड दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एक्स इज नॉन टू अस यू नीड टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ सिग्मा वेरी गुड गाइस वेरी वेरी गुड वेरी वेरी गुड नहीं नहीं जोबिन इन दिस दे हैव टेकन लोग बेस टेन आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दे हैव टेकन इट ऑन लोग बेस लोग स्केल लोग बेस टेन इज द स्केल फैक्टर चूजन बाय देम सो द आंसर फॉर दिस वुड बी कमिंग आउट टू बी ए रमीश मोहन भौमिक मलेश यस सिक्स फोर्टी फाइव इज द राइट आंसर सो सिग्मा वुड बी कमिंग आउट टू बी सिक्स फोर्टी फाइव एम पी ए so here the graph was made between amplitude stress and number of revolution with the base of 10 when i am saying n is equals to 1000 if i am taking log base 10 then only i can write it at 1 that's why it was 3 and it was 6 sorry then only i can write it 3 so 1000 ka log base 10 is 3 10 to the power 6 ka 6 so that is why here log base is for 10 no doubt about that okay wonderful guys wonderful moving to the next question yes you guys are correct the answer would be 645.17 mpa that is very much correct okay moving further guys to the next question this time the question is from once again strength of material this is once again from torsion solve it you have seen we have taken question from deflection from simple stress resistance strains from bending from torsion uh from spring from design of shaft from shaft every topic is covered the maximum and minimum shear stress in hollow circular shaft so there is a hollow circular shaft you know that when you are going to see the shear stress distribution in the hollow circular shaft how it would be coming it would be coming like this okay so you need to find out minimum and maximum so you know that tau will be tau maximum when you are going to find out and tau minimum when you are going to find out it is tau ro by j it is ta t ri by j this is how you would be defining it ro is outer radius ri is the inner radius and you can see it is mentioned that diameter is 20 mm and thickness is 2 mm so if outer diameter is 20 mm if outer diameter is 20 mm then inner diameter will be 16 mm because thickness is given okay so if ri is 8 ro is 10 mm and what is j pi by 32 d not 4 minus di 4 i feel every data is there in front of you yes 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 guys wonderful guys just solve it and get the answer like the session share the session guys a lot more to come bhavya is saying 99 and 79 it means bhavya is saying b so bhavya don't worry your governor camps are coming on thursday don't miss that session okay governor cam balancing vibration gyroscope on thursday we are going to see then on saturday we will have machine design malesh bhomik teju midun kiran ramesh mon umar the answer is b no doubt about that okay 
so every data is there in front of you you just need to put the value and get the answer uh, very good aju but sorry answer is not a it is b na dear if you are asking about minimum they are asking the maximum and minimum shear stresses in a hollow circular shaft so what you are talking about is for stress there should be some material so what you are saying is true for solid circular shaft it is hollow one so for solid at center it would be zero okay is it clear is it clear wonderful so guys answer is not a answer will be b so you would be getting by putting outer radius maximum value inner radius minimum value everybody is clear please tell me yes aju is it clear because all other have given the right answer b you are saying a are you getting it wonderful guys wonderful 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 moving further the next question here this is from strain energy as i said every topic is covered in detail so this is shaft number 1 this is shaft number 2 you need to find out the strain energy you can write u is equals to u1 plus u2 you also know u can be written as 1 by 2 into t into theta theta is tl by gj so 1 by 2 into t into tl by gj so you know what you need to do now you need to do t square l upon 2 gj so just do it for u1 and u2 for both the shaft torque is same length is same g is same only j is different okay so i feel you can solve it very easily this is from the concept of strain energy just solve it guys and get the answer kartikeya bahut badhiya yes i feel shreyas have given the answer shreyas very good what about others i have taken one to two question from pyqs also uh, because i need not i don't want that you need to mug up them but why it is required because sometimes one to two pyqs are also repeated so obviously 70 80% types are going to be same but one to two questions are directly also coming sometimes very good bhavya kiran abhijit kartikeya bahut hi badhiya bahut hi badhiya so when you would be putting that values you just need to add them you just need to add them u total is 1 by 2 g tl it is going to be same it is 1 upon j1 plus 1 upon j2 you would be getting 1.732 newton meter the answer for this question would be 3 wonderful guys this is from sfd bmd now sfd bmd overhanging beam generally overhanging beam is a problem for majority of the students solve it and get the answer guys solve this and get the answer solve this and get the answer i want answer from your side guys very good very good solve it guys so in this question they are asking you about maximum bending moment for that you need to draw sfds and bmd for that for that you need to find out support reaction also so first find out the support reaction then it would be easy to plot sfd and bmd yes find out the support reaction guys i am also making the sign convention positive shear force negative shear force positive bending moment negative bending moment <laughs> very good so some students have just remembered it shreyas what would be the answer 
सो इंटेंशनली आई हैव टेकन टू थ्री क्वेश्चन ओनली टू थ्री रेस्ट आर न्यू ओनली यू नो दैट सो दैट इज ऑल्सो फॉर द यू कैन से चेकिंग पर्पज हैव यू डन दैट और नॉट सोल्व इट सोल्व इट सोल्व इट कैन यू टेल मी द सुपोर्ट रिएक्शन आर ए एंड आर बी यू कैन सी लोडिंग डायग्राम इज होरिजोटल लाइन सो शियर फोर्स डायग्राम विल बी इनक्लाइंड लाइन ओके वेरी गुड दिस वुड बी टेन this would be 50 10 and 50 so sfd will be like this here it is 10 like this then it is going to be lifted this is 4 meter so this is 10 minus 30 plus 20 like this पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव पॉजिटिव यू कैन सी देर आर टू प्लेस इज वेयर शेयर फोर्स इज चेंजिंग इट्स साइन हेयर एंड हेयर सो एट दीज टू पोजिशन वी कैन हैव मैक्सिम बेंडिंग मोमेंट सो दिस इज बी इफ यू वॉन्ट टू राइट डाउन द बेंडिंग मोमेंट एट सी माइनस बेंडिंग मोमेंट ऑफ बी दिस वुड बी द एरिया ऑफ दिस एरिया ऑफ दिस इज फोर्टी यू नो एम सी इज गोइंग टू बी जीरो सो एम बी इज माइनस फोर्टी this is one thing then if you want to write down let us say this point is e so mb minus me is area of this triangle you know this is 1 meter this is 3 meter by symmetry of triangles okay so 3 meters 1 meter so you can write 1 by 2 into minus 30 into 3 you would be getting me as 5 5 kilo newton meter magnitude wise this is maximum so 40 would be the answer very good guys bahut hi badhiya bahut hi badhiya so you guys have done it nicely this is the question where you need to find out the support reaction and bending moment reaction this is for propped cantilever once again the question is from deflection of beams this is propped cantilever principle of superposition case number 1 principle of superposition case number 1 this is propped cantilever beam so guys actually those topics which have been completed for you in marathon like som i have taken more questions okay because such practice session is once again there on sunday so till sunday your machine design would be over your tom would be over and then you will see production would also may have one more session there so for that more topics would be covered that also so as the number of topics are covered we will increase the question from those topics let us see how many of you give right answer for this you can apply first of all here summation vertical to be zero then you will get r1 plus r2 is equals to q into l okay yes and then you can take summation moment to be zero summation moment when you would be doing it to be zero then you will get one more equation okay some of you have already answered it a shreyas is saying a bhavya is saying a amir is a kiran a fazal a midun a what about others yes what about others do like and share the session guys what about others okay shares rastogi saying b abhijit is saying a okay 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 so guys for this let us see how to solve it first of all you are going to have probed cantilever beam this is the beam this is r2 r1 m1 this is the udl so you know that this is the q intensity l is the length so first equation is r1 plus r2 is equals to q into l take the moment at a to be zero 
summation moment at a to be 0. You know to the left hand side there is one moment m1, it is minus m1 as it is anticlockwise hogging, hogging we need not to see, uh, yes this is anticlockwise. Then r1 is creating clockwise plus r1 into l. Then my dear UDL, UDL can be considered as its centroid. So Q into L acting at L by 2, this is once again anti-clockwise, minus Q into L into L by 2, R2 will be passing from the same, okay. So you would be having this second equation like this. So first equation is saying R1 plus R2 is equal to 0, sorry, Q into L equation number 1, second equation is saying R1L minus M1 is QL square by 2, equation number 2. Unknowns are 3, R1, R2 and M1. So, equations are 2. Third equation required is deflection at A to B 0. Now, deflection at A will be coming because of UDL. So, minus Q, yes, it is going to be QL4 upon ATI plus R2 L cube upon 3 EI. Putting that equals to 0, R2 would be coming out to be 3Q upon L. If R2 is 3Q upon L, R1 is 5Q upon L. So, by that you can answer it, R1 5QL by 8, 3QL by 8 and you see that bending moment is not going to be 0. So, A would be the right answer. You can also find out using this equation, you will get the same answer. Just wait. Now this is from production. Okay, Deepak, I am explaining it for you once again. Second equation, na? second equation. Let us take moment about this point A. You know that this R1 is creating clockwise. So R1 into L. This M, M1 is anti-clockwise. So minus M1. Then the UDL will be having its resultant on centroid that is once again creating anti-clockwise. So, minus Q into L into L by 2. Okay, Deepak you got it now, please tell me. So, guys do like and share the session. This is the next question in front of you from casting now. Okay, I have taken a marathon of casting for you guys. Okay, so that is why I am asking question from uh, casting. Side riser is to be designed for a hollow cylindrical casting of 50 mm inside diameter and 100 mm outside diameter okay there is a hollow casting so casting is hollow cylinder like this this is the casting and you need to answer about the riser the length of the riser is 50 mm so you know that for side riser you need to do the calculation Modulus of riser is 1.2 modulus of casting. Use this because nothing is mentioned. You will go for this method then. Okay. Modulus of riser. Actually, in the question, they will be mentioning. So, you assume I am saying using modulus method. Solve it. Shreyas is saying 60, Kiran is saying 60, okay. So guys from production we have taken slightly less number of questions uh, right now. The reason for that is because production I feel complete marathon have not been happened till now. Three topics are been over I feel for you. Casting, welding and metal cutting I feel have been taken. In marathon series only metal cutting, casting, welding I have taken so I am assuming you have attended. Very good, very good, very good. So, guys, modulus of riser would be, you know, volume but a surface area of riser. 1.2 volume but a surface area of casting. So, volume is pi by 4 d square L. But it is riser and now you will be having surface area. Surface area is 2 into pi by 4 d square in plus 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 pi by 4 d square sorry it is pi dl pi dl 
and that is for the riser is 1.2 times for casting is pi by 4 d naught square minus d i square into l this is the volume and then surface area pi by 4 d naught square minus d i square this is 2 times plus pi by 4 d naught into l when you will be using this i feel you will be getting the answer and the answer for diameter of riser is 60 mm everybody have done it that's really great is it clear for everyone moving to the next question guys moving to the next question this is from slush casting this type of question have never come yet so there are more chances it will be coming again so you know for that what we are going to say thickness square root is or you can directly say volume but a surface area Square. okay that is directly proportional to solidification time so volume by surface area can be written as thickness ka square is directly proportional to ts so you can also consider ts to be equals to c1 thickness plus c2 find out c1 and c2 for the given data then you can find out ts3 tell me the answer options are there wonderful guys wonderful 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 Shreyas is saying B Kiran is saying B what about others guys do like and share the session I feel we need more and more students more and more competition then it would be more enjoyable for you also Abhijit is saying B Kiran is saying B very good, very good, very good. Shreyas Rastogi is saying A, Selvam is saying B. So, can you tell me what you are getting the value of C1 and C2? Because you are given, you are given, what you are given? You are given that 5 mm thickness after 100 seconds, 7 mm 200 seconds. So, 5 sec, sorry, 5 mm thickness 100 seconds. 7 mm thickness 200 seconds put these two data here find out c1 and c2 after putting that very good bhomic you will be saying ts is equals to c1 th plus c2 after you get c1 and c2 you need it for 2 mm okay so you would be putting c1 root 2 plus c2 and you will be finding out ts very good, very good. So, answer would be coming out to be 6.25 seconds. B is correct. Very good, guys. Bahut hi badiya shreyas. C1, C2 ki values bhi aapke paas hai comment section mein. 0 0.4828, 0 0.4828 and one more value is 0 0.1715. Very good. So, answer would be 6.25. Okay. Now I am changing the question. This is from welding. This is from welding. I will be having questions from casting, welding, metal forming and metal cutting also. Very good. Very good. <coughs> we have already done more than 20 questions. What would be the answer for this? A gas metal arc welding process is used to join to mild steel plates with the following conditions current and voltage as you find current and voltage you can find out power as v into i then welding speed is this diameter welding speed 19 centimeter per minute wire diameter 1.2 mm wire feed rate 4 meter per minute thermal efficiency is also given to you 63 percent Heat input per unit length, heat input per unit length, yes. So, you can write area into velocity, but a efficiency, yes. Okay, area into velocity is equals to pi by 4 dw square into fw. 
बिकॉज जो भी वायर वट एवर द वायर इज मेल्टिंग दैट इज गोइंग टू बी द पार्ट ऑफ वेल्ड बीड यू नो दैट आई कैन शो इट टू यू इफ वी हैव अ प्लेट लाइक दिस then you know wire is melting from here so whatever be the wire in in feed rate the same is going to be the weld bead rate so this is the velocity this is the area this is the feed rate and you know the wire diameter is dw so we are saying input is the weld bead the same we are going to apply so when you are going to apply this my dear you have to find out the area of cross section of the weld bead that is what you need to find out and you have also find out heat input per unit length this will give you area of weld bead and area of weld bead you would be getting as 23.80 once you find out that only one option is there which is having this so you can directly answer it otherwise you can also use this power to find out heat input so they are saying power power will be having v into i so v into i what would be the units units will be joule per second and you need to find the answer in kilojoule per centimeter so you know this is heat generation rate efficiency is given heat supply ka rate but a heat generation ka rate so heat supply ka rate you would be getting efficiency times heat generation ka rate efficiency times power so you can write this efficiency times power is v into i okay and this if you will divide it by velocity which is in centimeter per second then you would be getting this is in joules per second the answer will be coming out to be in joule per centimeter so you would be getting the answer for this to be answer for this to be 10.5 and 23.80 वेरी गुड उमर श्रेयस किरण आमिर बहुत ही बढ़िया भौमिक बहुत ही बढ़िया गाइस मूविंग टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन गाइस लेट अस मूव टू दिस दिस इज फ्रॉम गैस वेल्डिंग दिस इज फ्रॉम गैस वेल्डिंग एक्चुअली आई एम हैविंग अराउंड थर्टी क्वेश्चन दैट्स आई एम स्कीपिंग दिस सो डू यू वॉन्ट मी टू शेयर द एक्स्ट्रा क्वेश्चन विद यू okay first we have two more questions after that 23 questions are been over so they are asking during gas welding of steel using oxyacetylene neutral flame using the neutral flame the acetylene consume is 10 liter the total oxygen consumption in liters yes sonu sir in the comment section because after me sonu sir would be coming very good very good guys so abhijit is saying d जोबिन इज सेइंग बी भोमिक इज सेइंग बी मलेश इज आस्किंग डी ओके सो गाइस हियर देर इज अ कंफ्यूजन इफ यू सी द न्यूट्रल फ्लेम फ्रॉम द सिलेंडर ऑब्वियसली यू वुड बी हैविंग टेन लीटर बट दे आर आस्किंग टोटल ऑक्सीजन कंजम्पन so you know one c2h2 need 2.5 moles of oxygen total combustion so 10 liters would be requiring 25 liters so total consumption would be d from the cylinder would be b okay from the cylinder would be b and total would be d okay wonderful guys okay now solve this question this is from metal cutting so i am covering uh, two to three more question to make overall 25 okay yes very good abhijit very good abhijit so guys is it fine after 25 i have 10 more extra questions for you do you want me to share that unsolved will you solve them on the telegram channel because i will solve 25 then sonu sir will solve 25 then suraj sir will solve 25 and then Sur, uh, chandra sir will solve 25 total 100 questions would be covered but you know my habit is bad i always have 10 extra questions i thought ki students will do but if you want i will definitely share very good ajay solve this question in turning trail using orthogonal cutting 
chip length of 84 mm was obtained for uncut chip length of 200 mm. So, chip length is 84 mm, uncut chip length 200 mm. Cutting condition is VC is 300 meter per minute. Uncut chip thickness is 0.5 mm. Rake and 20 degree. Width of cut 2 mm. Cutting force 900 Newton. Cutting tool is high speed steel. Yes, Teju, are you solving it or not? Sure, Selvam, sure. So, solve this question. I am waiting for your answer, guys. Okay, you need to use Lee and Sheffer theory for this. Solve this. Wonderful, wonderful guys. You know, first of all, we will apply tangent phi. Tangent phi will be R cos alpha 1 minus R sin alpha. You will be getting the value of phi. Phi plus beta minus alpha. 45 degree, Lee and Sheffer theory. After getting beta, tangent beta is coefficient of friction. Solve this question, guys. I am waiting for your answers. Just solve it and get the answer. Abhijit, Shreyas, Kiran, Amir, Deepan, Ajay, Rastogi ji, Teju, Selvam, solve it guys, solve it. Okay, okay, okay. This is 1.487. Okay. So, answer is 0.847. Yes. So, first of all, you will be getting the phi I have calculated for you is 24.74. After getting the phi, you will find out the beta. Beta will be coming out to be 40.26. And then you will be getting coefficient of friction to be 0.847. B is the right answer. Wonderful guys. Bahut badiya Malesh, Teju, bahut hi badiya. Okay, the second part of the question is you need to find out the shear stress. You know shear stress is Fs by As. As is bt1 by sin phi okay so just solve it just solve it you also know fs is fc fc by cos beta minus alpha what else what else what else cos plus beta minus alpha you know all the angles find out fs find out shear stress. Solve it guys. What would be the answer for shear stress? Negi ji D kaise aayega? Shreyas Negi. How the answer will be D? This is the last question from my side. After this Sonu sir would be joining. Solve it guys, solve it, solve it, solve it. Yes. For this, anybody, Teju, Deepan, Umar, Shreyas Negi, Abhijit, Selvam, Kiran, Are bhai kuch to bolo, say something yes, no, here, there, idhar, udhar, yaha, wahan kuch to bolo, 
D आंसर नहीं है वो मैं बता रहा हूं D इज नॉट द आंसर आंसर इज आंसर इज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टेल मी वट इज एफ एस एफ एस विल बी कमिंग आउट टू बी वट एफ एस विल बी सिक्स सेवेंटी एट पॉइंट थ्री न्यूटन ओके एंड वेन यू विल फाइंड आउट द टाउ एस इट वुड बी कमिंग आउट टू बी टू एटी फोर एम पी ए A would be the very good Kiran, बहुत बढ़िया Okay, you guys were solving actually. Very good guys. So A is the right answer. A is the right answer. अभी लगता है क्वेश्चन और हो जाए अभी लगता है कि एक क्वेश्चन और हो जाए Using merchant analysis, the velocity of the chip along the tool rake face. This is actually question number ट्वेंटी सिक्स So one extra from my side in the class. Rest extra, you will do the practice. Very good, Teju and Malesh. This is last question from my side. Otherwise, in the PPT, you have eight to ten more questions. I will share it with you. Okay, and uh, all other students, uh, I am telling you after me now, thermal part would be covered. Solve this question and give me the answer. Cutting force is there. Thrust force is there. Yes. Tangent beta minus alpha F T by F C. Use this first of all and find out the beta. Once you get the beta, you know the merchant analysis two phi plus beta minus alpha is pi by two. Okay, after this you will be getting and then Vc will be V sin phi by cos phi minus alpha. These are the formulas which will be used here. Solve it. This is the last question from my side. Bonus question. Kiran. You are very near to the answer, but not exact. Beta will be twenty six point five six. After getting the beta, phi will be thirty one point seven one. Then this will be coming out to be what? Yes, 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 guys. No, 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 Kiran. The answer would be coming out to be one point two three. Answer is required in meter per second. This is velocity of chip. I say VF. Velocity of chip. You may have calculated cutting velocity. This is velocity of chip flow. Flow velocity. This component. Okay, so this component is it clear? Okay, very good, Malesh. So I am leaving here now. Sonu sir would be joining for thermal and engineering mechanics. So guys, be there and attend all hundred question. I will be sharing this PDF just now in the Telegram channel. Goodbye from my side. We will. <coughs> so very good morning to all of you. I hope you all are doing great. So just write in the comment section. Is all good? Audio, video, fine or not? You just write in the comment section. Yes, Deepan, Malesh, everyone. Is audio, video fine from my side? Can you write in the comment section? Is everything okay? Very good. So very good morning to all of you. You have solved twenty-five most important questions from Dhira sir. You have attended a very wonderful session till now. Let's move forward. and we are not investing so much of time in this introduction let's start the first question for you yes good 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 morning good morning good morning chaliye so just like the session and just share the session with your friends so that a lot of competition you can feel here we are not stopping here so much let's start with the first question my dear okay salvo good 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 
फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द बेसिक थर्मोडायनमिक इज फॉर यू माई डियर टी एस डायग्राम इज गिवन टू अस वन मार्क्स क्वेश्चन इज देयर टी एस डायग्राम इज गिवन टू अस देन वॉट विल बी द एफिशियंसी ऑफ दिस साइकिल इन परसेंटेज माई डियर यस what is the efficiency of this cycle the thermal efficiency of this hypothetical cycle that is given on the ts diagram where this numerical value of the entropy is 1 my dear and this numerical value of the entropy is 5 then what will be the numerical value of the efficiency write the answer first let me change the color in this okay good amir i am waiting for the answer umar 400 and 800 is the temperature 1 and 5 is the entropy my dear then what will be the efficiency of the cycle that is the question and let me tell you in these all the session you all are feeling that near about 8 to 10 hour you are working you are just watching this video or solving lot of problem either with the help of the youtube session or at home my dear but aisa kuch nahi hoga ki jo aap abhi answer la rahe ho exam mein aapse kuch nahi hoga if you are doing good here then definitely you are going to perform very well in the gate exam also my dear yes okay 25 is the answer according to amir yes umar it's a 25 answer anyone else yes 25 teju answer kiran 25 answer is very simple so if i will write the efficiency of the cycle can be given by one uh, that is the work net divided by heat supply what is the work net my dear work net in this case will be the area and heat supply will be the area of the ts diagram what is the work net of this that will be 1 by 2 into this answer will be 400 multiply by 4 will be the entropy and this heat supply where the entropy is increasing that process is nothing but that is the example of heat supply that will be equal to my dear 800 multiply by 4 if i am not wrong 25 is the correct answer of this question 100% correct answer good very good wonderful right answer let's see the next question amir kiran teju malesh and kartike you have written absolutely right answer important question for you apply all the concept whatever you have studied till now jitna bhi padhao apply karo and then see what is the correct answer you all guys getting yes i am waiting for the correct answer A heat engine working between two finite bodies, my dear. Working between two finite bodies like this. This is the T1 finite bodies, and this is the heat engine, and this one is working like this work, and this is the second finite body. Very good, wonderful, great. Most of you are getting the correct answer. So the maximum efficiency with respect to maximum work output be always right like this. One minus under root of T minimum. Divided by T maximum. All of you have solved like this. Everyone, serious? Teju, Kiran, what do you say? It is equal to one minus that is the four hundred. It means twenty uh, divided by nine hundred thirty. Answer will be equal to my dear. Answer. Answer will be equal to in this case. That will be equal to one by three. Not fifty five point five. How you are getting the answer? आपके आंसर कैसे आया? How you are getting the answer fifty five point five? Hundred percent wrong answer. If you are getting fifty five point five, my dear, you are hundred percent wrong answer. Yeah, answer in this case is twenty seven. Answer is my dear thirty three point three three. Let me tell you how you have solved. You have solved like this. That efficiency will be written by T minimum divided by T max. Have you solved like this, all of you? One minus T minimum will be equal to four hundred. T maximum will be equal to nine hundred. Answer will be equal to four by nine. Have you solved like this? Absolutely wrong answer. 
दिस टाइप ऑफ प्रॉब्लम दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन विल बी द क्वेश्चन इन द गेट एग्जाम अगर आए वेन हार्डली वन और टू परसेंट ऑफ यू कैन राइट द करेक्ट आंसर इन दिस केस सर हैव यू रिटर्न फोर इंपोर्टेंट कंडीशन इन द ब्रिटन साइकिल फोर इंपोर्टेंट कंडीशन फॉर द ब्रिटन साइकिल वेन एवर द टू सोर्स एंड सिंक आर वर्किंग एज अ थर्मल रिजर्वायर then my dear maximum temperature can be achieved when intermediate temperature will be the geometrical mean of maximum and minimum this is the first point second maximum work done will be equal to mc under root of t mix t max minus of under root of t mean whole square second third maximum work done in that condition we have already written and maximum efficiency can be given by 1 minus under root of t minimum divided by t मैक्सिमम माय डियर हैव यू नॉट रिटर्न दिस फॉर्मूला कभी ऐसा फॉर्मूला देखा ही नहीं हैव यू नॉट रिटर्न दिस फॉर्मूला मिस्टर के यस 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 व्हाट डू यू से टमाटर सिंह व्हेन टी देर आर फोर इंपोर्टेंट कंडीशन वी हैव रिटर्न व्हेन टी टू विल बी अंडर रूड ऑफ टी मिनिमम एंड टी मैक्सिमम माई डियर हैव यू नॉट सीन लाइक दिस इन द टॉपिक ऑफ एंट्रोपी द सेम डेरिवेशन वी हैव ऑल्सो डिस्कस सिमिलरली the maximum work done can be written by mcp under root of t mix uh, t max minus of under root of t mean my dear this to whole square and the this is is the next star point and the last star point is our maximum will be equal to our optimum my dear have you written these all the formula or not yes umar अरे नहीं टमाटर सिंह इन दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन देयर इज नो रिक्वायर्ड टू टेल यू दैट दिस इज द एग्जांपल ऑफ ब्रिटन साइकिल नो माय डियर इफ इट इज रिटर्न लाइक दिस वेयर इज इट फाइनाइट ब्लॉक इट प्रूव इट इज नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम ऑफ कार्नोट साइकिल दैट्स ऑल व्हेन एवर फाइनाइट साइकिल इज गिवन टू अस इट इज मोर देन सफिशिएंट दैट दिस इज नॉट सॉल्व बाय दिस फार्मूला माय डियर because this formula is only valid tomato sing only valid for the carnot cycle for the reservoir when the source and sink are the infinite energy source my dear are you getting my point can we move forward ajay feeling na ha huh. yes great good sir all satisfied all of you are satisfied na everyone great next question i think for this question you need not to worry about maximum of you will write the correct answer my dear question is msq and you all need to feel that hardly 5 to 10% of the question will be there where you need to apply lot of concept where you need to take a small pause and then you need to think kya main sahi kar raha hu ki nahi yes otherwise most of the question you feel like this you can solve the question very easily that is the reason these are the most expected question a is the answer d is the answer sir there are two important equation tds equation are there yes absolutely right uh, my dear c is not a correct answer because in this case we always write first law of thermodynamic and second law of thermodynamic when we combine these then definitely at that time we write tds is equal to du plus pdv कार्तिके नॉट कार्तिके भौमिक यू हैव रिटर्न रॉन्ग सी इज नॉट अ करेक्ट आंसर ए एंड डी इज द एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट आंसर ओके सो दीस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चंस आर बोनस इन द गेट एग्जाम एंड डेफिनेटली नियर अबाउट 40 परसेंट ऑफ क्वेश्चन यू विल सी लाइक दिस ऐसा नहीं पूरा पेपर हार्ड आने वाला है यस नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी रिलेटेड टू एक्सर्जी MSQ question is again there, my dear. Question is related to MSQ. Question number twenty-nine. Uh, sir, I am fourth year, twenty-three. XC is my first attempt. I just done my thermo and mass. If I will plan for the SOM, so is it required to do the? No, 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 not at all. No. If you will just, uh, if you are having the interest in FM, that is okay. Otherwise, if you have, if you are just uh, In the balancing condition between the FM and the strength of material, 
then I will suggest you go with the strength of material because in strength of material few questions may be asked based on the direct formula. Yes, strength of material you can go with XRG, write the answer first. I am waiting for the answer Umar, only one of you have written the answer A and B will be the wrong and C and D will be the okay, good, yes. ACD will be the answer Kiran, okay. CD will be the answer according to Teju, CD most of you are writing. Uh, Kiran, your answer is absolutely wrong because A cannot be the correct answer. Reason, let me tell you my dear, exergy can never be conjugated. There is a big difference between the energy and exergy. Energy will be always conjugated after each and every process energy neither create nor be destroyed. It will be same. But after each and every process my dear your exergy is going to destroy. Exergy is going to uh, uh, reduce. That is the reason it will decrease. Second point. Uh, second point exergy can be positive negative absolutely wrong. Energy cannot be negative my dear. What is the meaning of the exergy? Let me tell you. If it is the dead state like this, okay, and if you are somewhere here, just above the dead state, then the approach of the system towards the dead state will be always considered as a positive. Approach of the system, natural approach of the system towards the dead state, it will be the tendency of the positive, uh, positive exergy. Now you need to start to think that, sir. If I am at the dead state, exergy may be zero. If I am above the dead state, then body will try to move to the dead state directly. Naturally, it will try to move. Like if you are on the seventh floor, and if the floor will be removed from your uh, react support, then definitely you will try to move to the ground surface. Even if the temperature of the body is lower than or higher than the atmosphere, then naturally your body will try to move. Till, uh, to the to the dead state that is the reason I can simply say that exergy will be always positive. Second, exergy is the maximum theoretical work. Yes, absolutely right. It is the maximum theoretical work obtained when you are dealing from any working state to the to the dead state. Exergy can be destroyed in the irreversibility. Absolutely right. So my dear C and D will be the correct answer in this case. C and D will be the correct answer in this case. Let me move forward. Try to solve this question. Yes. Yes, thermal must be first priority. You, have, you are only having. But if you are in balanced condition, already I have told you. That if you have not completed uh, strength of material or FM, you are equally having the beta's in strength of material and uh, your your uh, fluid mechanics, then SOM will be better for you. Right now, you prefer SOM because in the strength of material, few question must may be related to direct formula. So strength of material, you should go with second subject, thermal first subject. Yes. Yes, Dheera sir is there in comment section. Like the session, is ko aaj 100 to pohcha do kam se kam. Yes, and select the correct answer my dear. According to Abhijit, A will be the answer Adhikari. Very good. Yes. Yes, sure. Sure. Option C, don't mark the question. Don't mark again the question mark. If it is the C, okay. Otherwise, try to accept. Even in these type of sessions, sir, we are going to skip this question. Is cheech ko accept karna seekho? Ki, sir, we are going to uh, 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 skip this question. If we are not getting the answer. Good. C is the answer according to Ajay. Kran, B will be the answer. Anyone else? Yeah, 45 or 48, you are here in my comment section. But in my, in my uh, live view, but hardly 8 or 10 are just writing the answer. Methon. Very good. C is the correct answer. Good. Let's see how many of you are getting the answer, sir. This and this one, my dear. A and B you need to feel 
that A and B is the isobaric and isochoric process. It will be the example of 2, 3. Sir, isobaric process is 0 to B. So, B process is your isobaric process and 3 process will be your isobaric process. Either B will be the answer or C will be the answer. All of you, either B or C will be the answer. After that, let's move forward. Then this C will be the isothermal process and D will be the iso uh, adiabatic process if nothing is mentioned. C isothermal process in which temperature will decrease my dear. Uh, temperature will be constant and D will be the isothermal process in which temperature will decrease. So again what is the answer? D isothermal process and the C will be the 4 process. Answer will be this one. B4 Bombay is the correct answer. Only one two and three people of you have written four. Four people have answer likhai. Kiran, Sirius, after that Teju, uh, Teju and after that Vomik. Yes. Sir, check it again. B is the correct answer. Let me tell you again Vavya. Sir, B is the isobaric process and slope of the isobaric. Yes, yes, I am going to come. I am, I am just coming on the same explanation. Isobaric process, slope is having less than the slope of isochoric process so this is isochoric this is isobaric its slope is less my dear its slope is hard high so three process is the isobaric and two process is the isochoric is this point clear to all two is isochoric and three is isobaric process two my dear isochoric that is a and three my dear isobaric that is b is it clear to all Yes, after that, let's see this process C and D. Sir, whenever you need to select between the isothermal and adiabatic, then the slope, less slope is isothermal. That's why C is isothermal process, that is the fourth one. C is isothermal process, that is the fourth one. After that, my dear, see the last process, that is D. D is adiabatic expansion process. It is the adiabatic expansion process my dear so in this case adiabatic expansion process in which we have already discussed in the last marathon session whenever expansion is there my dear then definitely in adiabatic expansion pressure will decrease volume will increase entropy will be constant if it is the example of adiabatic we have not written like this internal energy will also decrease like this is it or not ajay Vavya, is everything fine? So, in this case, my dear, that 5 will be the answer, not 1 will be the answer. 1 will be the correct answer if D process will be the adiabatic compression process in place of adiabatic expansion process, my dear. Yes, before Bombay is the correct answer for you guys. Good. Can you tell me kitne logo ka sahi answer tha? How many of you have selected the right answer? Question are there also in the Britain cycle. Sir, again one more MSQ. Very good Teju. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, definitely. Tamara Singh. One more MSQ for you. Sir, one marks. Question from thermodynamic relation. Based on simple formula whatever you have written either TDS equation or my dear enthalpy equation or my dear CP minus CV relation related to Maxwell equation it is expected for gate 23 ki at least one one marks question may be directly there my dear from this thermodynamic relation and related to the numerical formula most expected topic hai aapka, thermodynamic relation most expected topic and generally you need to know what is the numerical value of CP minus CV like this. Sometimes it is also written like this CP minus CV is equal to TV Vita square divided by KT like this. Already we have written like this. Yes, let's see what is the correct answer. Sir, CP minus CV is equal to R for an ideal gas. Absolutely right. CP minus CV is also the correct answer. Right. After that. Cp minus Cv is equal to 0 for absolute 0 Kelvin. Yes. And Cp minus Cv is not the correct answer. What answer you need to select? In the question, it is clearly mentioned which of the following 
is not the correct answer. So D is only the correct answer you need to select my dear. D is only the correct answer in this case you need to select. Most of you have selected AB is the answer, CD will be the answer, Kiran. But at least this line you need to recognize, this line you need to focus a lot my dear. In which part of the question directly question is asked. Okay. So yes. Answer of this question is D4 Delhi is the correct answer because it is incorrect. And in the question it is asked which is not a correct statement. Yes, absolutely right. Let's see. Let's move forward. Question number 32. In a gas turbine, turbine output is 800. Compressor work is 600. Heat supply 1500. Then what is the back work ratio in this case? Yes. Tell me the answer. What is the back work ratio? Sometime you have to wait for this type of question also. Sometime easier question may be asked for. Again, we are going to discuss only one marks question till now, my dear. Yes. What is the correct answer of this question? What is the correct answer of this question? Okay. Very good. Anyone else? Okay, very nice. Serious, 25 is the answer according to you. Anyone else? Kiran, 75% is the answer. Uh, Josin, is uh, 0 0.866 is the answer. Good. Right few more answer. 25, 25, 25. What What are you guys doing? Adhikari 76.7. Sir, what is the back work ratio? Back work ratio is simply related to. There is only one who have written the correct answer. Negative work divided by positive work, that's all. Negative work divided by positive work, that's all. Sometimes you feel that, sir, when a lot of parameters are given to us, then definitely we need to use each and every parameter in our exam. Simple question is there. Negative work means compressor that is the 600 kilojoule per kg. Positive work is 800. My dear, in this case, answer will be equal to 3 by 4. Answer will be equal to 0 0.75 with the answer. What are you doing? What you are calculating? Some of you are getting uh, like 25%. Some of you are getting 0.13%, uh, 76.77%, 0 0.86. How will it go? क्या करके आए हो आप लोग? Have you taken the complete slip ना last night? सोए तो हो पूरी तरह से. This is work ratio means positive or uh, net work divided by positive work. Back work ratio means negative work divided by positive work. Compressor work divided by turbine work. That's all. That is equal to 600 divided by 800. 3 by 4. 75 is the answer. Simple. So in this case, these type of parameters are given so that you will be confused in the exam ki why this parameter is given in this question. These all statements check your level of confidence. There is no use of this heat supply in the question, my dear. No, not at all. Okay, good. Answer is 0 0.75. I think 3 or 4. Mithun, you have written the answer. After that, Vavya and after that, one of you, Kiran. Three of you have written the correct answer in this case. Let's move forward. Important question. Yes. That's why I'm going to tell you now that most of the time, uh, time, some data are given to us just to confuse. Because most of the time we think if the 10 parameter is given in the question, then 10 out of 10 parameter must be used in the exam. Hone chahiye use. Yes. Tell me the next. Tell me the answer of this question, my dear. Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, all parameters, this let me tell you is the value of Q3, this is the value of Q4 my dear, if you are confused, yes, D is the answer, very nice, serious, D is the answer, refer to the figure given below, E is the heat engine, efficiency is this, R is the refrigerator, Q2 plus of Q4 will be equal to 3Q1, then what is the COP of the refrigerator, let's see how many of, D is the answer, Adhikari, very good. D is the answer. Okay. Itna jaldi answer kya se aagya? How you are getting the answer so much fast? 
आंसर याद है बिकॉज इन दिस केस इफ आर राइट देन माई डियर डब्ल्यू विल बी इक्वल टू वन माइनस क्यू टू डिवाइडेड बाई क्यू वन this answer w will be equal to q1 into efficiency that is equal to 0.4 into q1 how you have got the answer so much fast itni jaldi aapka answer kaise aa gaya ye nahi pata chal raha hai in this case q2 will be equal to 0.6 of q1 after that you need to find what is the value of q4 q3 will be equal to my dear <coughs> work into cop or the cop will be equal to q3 divided by w i hope from here you will just find the value of q4 q2 and q4 you will write like this you will get the answer d is itna jaldi answer kaise aa gaya aapka have you calculated all yes or no so in this case <coughs> Q2 will be equal to somewhere like this. That is 0.6 into Q1 plus of Q4 will be equal to 3Q1, or Q4 will be equal to 2.4 into Q1, and Q4 is also equal to Q3 plus of W. That will be equal to 2.4 of Q1. W is also equal to how much? Zero point four. So Q three will be equal to two Q one. Is it or not? Q three is there. W is there. COP can be written two point four divided by zero point four. Answer will be equal to. Oh, sorry. It will be two divided by point four. Answer will be equal to five. You are much much faster than me. to be very honest i think minimum time this much is required but whenever i have just written this question uh, 90% of you have already written the answer pata nahi kaise aa gaya i am also confused how you have get the correct answer even within 10 to 15 second kar kya raha hu maris you are also okay but serious and abhijit vamik you have written hardly in 10 second anyway i think aapko answer yaad hoga ya fir aap rajnikanth style mein answer la rahe hoge anyway move forward yes engineering mechanics questions are starting from here my dear again let me tell you question is related to the engineering mechanics one marks question is there my dear one marks question a horizontal rod ab carry the three load 3 7 and 10 kg at a distance of this 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 respectively from a then neglecting the weight of the rod which is the point at which the rod will be balanced my dear what is the point means this one is a simply rod let's see let me draw the rod Three weight are given to us. This is a point, my dear. One weight is given to us three kg. Second weight is given to us seven kg. Third weight is given to us ten kg, my dear. This one is the. Then you need to find where at which point I will apply the load so that it will be balanced. Yes, anyone. what is this point this one is 2 cm this one how much 15 or 9 cm and this one is 15 cm this is the question my dear let's see how many of you are getting the correct answer of this question at which point it should be balanced so that yes can you tell me the answer this is the a point then my dear this one is the b point a horizontal rod carry the three load umar important question is there question is only one marks question not two or three marks you need not to do so much of calculation in this case yes can you please tell me the answer what you will do you can say sir it will be balanced 
somewhere here like this this will be equal to 20 kg it will be balanced here and let me write from x it will be distance a now you need to apply that from point a my dear it is properly balanced purely it is under the balance condition like this now you need to find a uh, sorry the value of x so that this complete system will be in balanced condition now it is subjected under the force system four force system are there my dear what you will do if i'm not wrong you are you all are going to take the moment about a you all are going to take the moment about a now 20 into x will be equal to 3 into 2 will be equal to 7 into 9 plus of 10 into 15 are you solve uh, are you solving like this 6 plus of 63 plus of 150 divided by 20 my dear what the value of x you are getting my dear what the value of x you all are, you all are getting 70 this will be equal to 30 129.20 like this is it somewhere no 229 this will be the answer are you getting 10.95 yes so sometimes questions are much easier what exactly you think jitna aap sochte ho usse 10 guna question aasan hote hain but what mistake we do we are not able to draw according to the question jo question pucha hai usko draw nahi kar pate yes or no yes write the answer write down the correct answer in this case my dear figure already given to us what is the amount of the force when clamping uh, clamping force this one is here uh, given here that is the 40 newton my dear yes v is the answer according to serious rastogi very good wonderful anyone else this answer is given to us uh, josen v is the answer according to you very nice If you are going to write the answer in this minimum time, then I can check the level but what preparation you have done, my dear answer. Aapko yaad tak ho yes, I think so. Few in few questions because I think five to ten, not five to ten, I think three to four questions, which I think very important. I have already taken in the paid class, but I have written here because I think these questions are more important. And generally, we ignore these questions. Yes, Mizun, absolutely right. Maybe. Anyone else? Good. 10 is the answer according to Vomik. Four people of you have written the answer. Kartike V, I think maximum of you writing the answer in this case, I think. So I need not to move forward. This one is F. This one is also F, my dear. F. So in this case, this value will be equal to F and F. Then this value will be equal to 2F, my dear. So in this case, I will write 2F into take the moment about O. 2F into 20 will be equal to 4 into 10. All of you are getting the answer like 10, my dear. Yes, absolutely right. Good. 10 will be the correct answer in this case. Maximum of you. Yes. Maheswaram. V is the correct answer, my dear. Great. Good. In this type of question, you are performing very well. You are doing a great thing. Yes. Let's see. When the steam flow over the moving blade of the reaction turbine, thermodynamic question is there, taken from the power plant in general. When the steam flow over the moving blade, MSQ question is there. Pressure decrease or increase, absolute velocity increase or decrease, relative velocity increase or decrease, pressure remain constant or what? Yes, tell me the answer. When the steam over the reaction blade moving blade of the reaction type turbine my dear turbine is reaction and blades are moving not the fixed blade then on the moving blade what is the velocity turbine uh, what is the velocity diagram and what is the pressure diagram very good okay josen yes in this type of question you have to revise all the parameter all the thing you write somewhere if you can write that this part i need to revise again yes because if you have just attended the class, then these all points I have written in the star form that this is increasing, this is decreasing, this is constant, my dear. Yes. Malis, sir. Okay, let me draw. It's not a big deal. Let me draw these all the type of blade, my dear. You will be able to remind. This one is the impulse uh, moving blade. 
this one my dear is the fixed blade i am not going to draw the fixed blade sir on the fixed blade or just like a nozzle then velocity will increase and on the fixed blade velocity will decrease let me tell you this is the absolute velocity my dear okay this is the absolute velocity so definitely absolute velocity will decrease great after that if this is the nozzle my dear then in the reaction turbine this one is decrease in the nozzle pressure pressure will decrease in the nozzle but in the moving blade pressure will again decrease like this that's why it is utilizing to do the work so pressure will also decrease my dear msq question is there already i have told you if i forgot to told, uh, tell you that is already written msq question is there my dear is or are correct after that what is the relative velocity relative velocity means air or the steam is entering with the velocity of vr1 and it is leaving with the velocity of vr2 my dear then what is the relation between vr1 and vr2 then this is absolutely wrong if pressure is decreasing this cannot be constant give me the answer of this question wonderful question is there my dear if you are getting the correct answer what do you think why this relative velocity can you please tell me the answer what do you think why this relative velocity we are my dear in the impulse turbine relative velocity remain constant in the ideal situation it is not going to increase or decrease but in the reaction turbine it is 100% increase yes relative velocity always increase my dear so let me tell you when it is a uh, impulse uh, teju it is a portion of impulse you are writing my dear teju you have written the uh, equation for impulse this equation is valid only for the impulse relative kinetic energy increase let me tell you sir kinetic energy is going to tell uh, is going to give you the idea that what is happening inside this section inside this section what is happening so these aerofoil type of shape is going to decrease uh, is going to it going to converge like this if these are going to converge then relative velocity will increase in this case so absolute velocity decrease because it is going to contribute the work done but my dear friend your relative velocity will definitely increase these all three will be the correct answer getting my point ye teeno aapke sahi answer hai a b and c will be the correct answer for this question my dear all of you clear is this point clear to everyone good wonderful next question question is quite easy but little bit tricky question is quite easy but little bit tricky my dear in a air standard auto cycle maximum and minimum temperature are given to us that is 1400 degree centigrade my dear and 15 degree centigrade heat supply per kg of this air 800 kilojoule per kg you can write what is the maximum and minimum pressure ratio for you guys what is the numerical value of maximum to minimum pressure ratio this is the question yes sir important question is there calculator you require in this question then definitely if you are able to write the answer of this question correctly then tell me what answer you are getting my dear question is quite important easy बहुत आसान है क्वेश्चन आपके लिए लेट मी डू अ स्मॉल हेल्प फॉर यू आई कैन एटलीस्ट ड्रॉ द पीवी डायग्राम ऑफ ऑटो साइकिल सर ये तो हम खुद बना लेंगे सर वन टू 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 थ्री to four cv is not given cp is not given so we can write 0.718 cp we can write 0. Point, uh, sorry 1. Point, my dear 1.005 and gamma we can write 1.4 yes let's see how many of you are getting the correct answer 
heat supply can be written by Cv T3 minus of T2 my dear minus of T2 heat supply is given to us that is the value of 800 Cv is given to us 0 0.718 T3 is given to us okay very good wonderful 30.45 is the answer according to Sirius. If you are solving these type of question now, then you are not going to feel the problem in two marks problem of thermal. Agar aap in sab question ko solve karoge, because these questions are very easy to solve when you approach to the formula. Last tak pohat jate ho na, what exactly it want to say. So definitely you are just approaching, you are getting the answer very easily. In these type of question, most of the time we, we, we not reach to the final formula we never reach what exactly this formula want to say ye kya cha rahe? Kya pooch rahe? Sa formula apply hoga? we are not going to check the point so in this case t3 1400 my dear t2 you need to calculate can you please tell me what is the value of t2 you are getting utkars serious what is the value of t2 you are getting from here can you please tell me the answer my dear what is the value of T2? Can you please tell me the answer? Yes. T2, temperature. Vomik, I am waiting for the answer for the temperature T2. Yes, that is 5, 5, 8 point. Is it in Kelvin or degree centigrade? Is it in Kelvin, my dear, or degree centigrade? 800 divided by 0 0.718 minus 1400 plus Kelvin 58 uh, point this in Kelvin yes sir t1 t2 t3 you all know agree or not sir t1 is known to me that how much is the value of t1 my dear it is equal to 15 that is 278 Kelvin is it T2 uh, 288 Kelvin sorry T3 is given to us that is equal to 1673 Kelvin T1 T2 T3 is given to us sir what is this process I will write like this P2 Y P1 will be equal to P2 Y P1 will be equal to T2 Y T1 raised to gamma minus 1 upon gamma upon gamma after that what is p3 y p2 t2 y t1 raised to gamma minus 1 upon gamma and p3 y p2 my dear it will be equal to t3 y t2 is it or not and after that you need to find this value that will be equal to, I need to find P3 by P1, that will be equal to P3 by P2, multiply by P2 by P1, I will get the answer. So, in this case, what is P3 by P2? This is the value, that is T2 by T1 raised to gamma minus 1 upon gamma, and what is P2 by P1? This one, this one is the value, that is T3 by T2. Substitute all the values, you will get the answer. Yes. Dirasar is again there in the comment section to increase your energy level. Aapka energy level already high hai. You have written the absolutely correct answer. That is 30.45 is absolutely correct answer, my dear. Okay. Yes. I have written a point wrongly. Yes. Let me correct it. Yes. 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 You are absolutely right. Utkas, your point is very valid. Uh, Bhavya, this type of mistake we make a lot of time this type of mistake we make a lot of time that is gamma upon gamma minus 1 that is gamma upon gamma minus 1 this is also gamma upon gamma minus 1 tell me correctly have you solved like this or not Vabhi, I have written the answer that 27.03 will be the answer so have you written because I have even also made the calculation mistake in this case that is gamma upon gamma minus 1 have you solved like this yes Ajay with what formula you have to follow this formula, uh, this answer, my dear? Yes. Have you solved like this? 
uh, umar utkars that is gamma upon gamma minus one because let me tell you this line i have written wrongly and i am uh, i am very much sure that none of you have written this line wrongly my dear because each and every point is very clear to you yes isliye galat aaya sir procedure sahi tha good 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 okay so is it the right answer 30 point uh, 4 5 is the right answer maximum pressure ratio that is p3 divided by p1 will be the maximum pressure ratio that is the answer good okay how can you take 298 298 is not a answer it's a 288 because it's not a yes yes exactly exactly good next my dear great okay very nice wonderful yes 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 okay you have also taken like this great 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 chaliye the side the correct answer utkars never 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 forget your basic point if you realize these your basic points are clear basic formulas are clear then definitely you are not going to make a single mistake in any type of question yes when the air is passed through the insulated chamber having the spray of the water such that air undergo the cooling and humidification means water is added to the system and temperature is also going decrease to the system then what will be the answer cooling is there my dear temperature is going to decrease yes cooling is there then what should be the temperature of this one okay b is the answer good sir again if this one is msq question let me tell you this one is the msq question abhijit adhikari i think your answer should be changed must be changed now your answer will be changed i am very sure your answer will be changed my dear i am very sure ab answer change hoga na aapka c and b will be the answer okay sir if the temperature of this water vapor that is going to spray if it is more than more than dry bulb temperature then definitely it will be example of heating so greater than dry bulb temperature it is not possible my dear if the temperature is less than if the temperature is less than dpt dew point temperature my dear so let me tell you this will be the process of dehumidification this is also not possible so if you want cooling then definitely your temperature must be in between of dry bulb temperature and wet bulb temperature answer is bc will be the correct answer because if the temperature is less than dew point temperature condensation will occur condensation means decreasing decreasing lowering the value of specific humidity my dear then definitely your temperature must be in between greater than dew point temperature but less than dry bulb temperature because if it will be greater than dew point temperature then definitely your overall energy will be supplied to the system that will be the heat addition process that is sensible heating so temperature of this one must be in between of both the both the temperature that is dew point temperature and my dear uh, dry bulb temperature good absolutely right point next क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी टू मार्क्स क्वेश्चन इज देयर माय डियर दो मार्क्स का क्वेश्चन है टू मार्क्स क्वेश्चन इज देयर इफ यू विल गेट द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन योर स्टडी रिलेटेड टू द बेसिक थर्मोडाइनमिक इज क्वाइट गुड माय डियर आप बहुत अच्छे लेवल पे पहुंच चुके हो इफ यू आर एबल टू सॉल्व दिस टाइप ऑफ प्रॉब्लम लेट मी टेल यू इन दिस केस एयर इज कंटेन इन अ पिस्टन सिलेंडर अरेंजमेंट एज शोन इन द फिगर इनिशियली द piston cross section is given to us initial volume means v1 i will write initial volume is given to us that is 4 cm square my dear not 4 20 good after that air initially pressure is given to us that is p1 is equal to 100 kilo pascal my dear air initially temperature is given to us that is 20 degree centigrade sir first of all it will be required in this case can you please tell me what is the mass of the air mass of the air can we write like this mass of the air will be equal to p1 v1 divided by rt1 p1 v1 is given to us how much p1 
100 kilo pascal v1 uh, 20 into 10 raised to minus 4 my dear divide by r 0 0.287 multiply by t1 how much is the temperature 20 that is 293 my dear can you please tell me what is the mass in the starting condition very very important question is there after that i will start to solve this question this is a general point i am going to ask from you that will be written as 100 multiply by 20 multiply by 10 raised to minus 4 divided by 0.287 divided by how much uh, 293 <clears throat> it's a very small mass i am getting this is 0 0.3 into 10 raised to minus 6 is it no, I think. It is 0 0.02, yes. It is 0 0.023 kg, my dear. Is it or not? Am I right or not? This is the mass. According to my calculus, tell me am I right or wrong? Yes. Can I write? Yes, sir. Yes. 0 0.023. I think you are getting the same answer, sir. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Sir, this is the starting point of the question because at last it will be required. After that, we are moving forward. It is asked when the temperature or the pressure will be increased by this one, then what will be the amount of the heat supply in this case, my dear? What is the amount of the heat supply in this case? No, no, no. It's not a mass of. I have just asked how much gas is filled in this case my dear no it's not a correct answer amit nahi, nahi. volume is not 2 into 10 this to minus 6 my dear okay okay yes 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 you are right sorry it is 2 raised to minus 6 because it will be centimeter cube not centimeter square i have taken this is in centimeter square that is wrong that is 2.3 10 raised to minus 4 is the answer is it yes absolutely right 2.3 into 10 raised to minus 4 yes amitla yes i have taken this centimeter square sorry now solve it sir let's move forward now you are going to supply heat to this system you are going to supply the heat to this system and after that you need to check what will be the amount of the heat supply in this case yes yeah mass of the mass of this piston sir mass of the piston will be required after that don't worry about this mass of the piston after that when you are going to supply heat to the system then definitely piston will move up to this point up to this point my dear when piston will move up to this point then definitely my dear this p2 will be equal to how much P2 will be equal to that is 300 kilo Pascal. So at that time you need to check how much pressure is acting on this one P2. So if you don't mind can I write P2 will be equal to P1 is also there plus of uh, P of the spring pressure apply by the spring on the piston that portion only will be the added now because in the starting it is not touching the piston. It is just touching the piston, not exerting any force. So, P1 is how much? Sir, 100 kilo Pascal is there. What is P2? Uh, uh, P of the spring? That will be equal to K into X force divided by area of the piston. Is it or not, my dear? Is it or not? So, can we check? Can we check from here? What is the P2, my dear? That is 300. What is the value of this one? 100, my dear. Plus, what is the value of K? 10 days to 4. Newton multiply x I need to calculate divided by area. How much is the area? Area is 4 centimeter. 4 centimeter means 10 raised to minus 4. Multiply by 10 raised to minus 3 because what answer you will get in this term now? That answer you will get in the term of kilo Pascal. Uh, sorry, Pascal. I need to convert this into kilo Pascal so that unit will be match. So after that, if I'll calculate the answer we are getting the value of x is equal to can you please tell me the x my dear amit what is the value of x we are getting 200 multiply by 4 
मल्टीप्लाई बाई टेन रेस टू माइनस वन एंड डिवाइड बाई टेन रेस टू फोर माई डियर एंड मल्टीप्लाई बाई हंड्रेड आंसर इज जीरो पॉइंट एट सेंटीमीटर ऑल ऑफ यू गेटिंग जीरो पॉइंट एट सेंटीमीटर इज इट और नॉट यस सो कैन यू प्लीज टेल मी जीरो पॉइंट एट सेंटीमीटर इज दिस डिस्टेंस माई डियर दिस डिस्टेंस कवर्ड बाई द पिस्टन इज जीरो पॉइंट एट सेंटीमीटर इज इट और नॉट यस गुड एब्सोलूटली राइट फैजल आर यू गेटिंग द सेम आंसर ग्रेट so sir x we have calculated p1 p2 we have calculated let's come to the point what is the value of v2 my dear can we write v2 is equal to v1 plus of ax1 yes or no v1 how much uh, 20 cm plus a how much uh, 4 cm and x 0.8 cm what will be the answer that will be equal to 23.2 सेंटीमीटर क्यूब माय डियर एम आई राइट और नॉट सो इन दिस केस पी वन वी वन पी टू वी टू इज नॉन टू अस आर वी एबल टू फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ द पी वी डायग्राम सर व्हाट इज द पी वन हंड्रेड ना एंड वी वन माय डियर ट्वेंटी व्हाट इज द पी टू पी टू हाउ मच इज द वैल्यू ऑफ पी टू थ्री हंड्रेड हाउ मच इज द वैल्यू ऑफ बी टू माई डियर दैट इज ट्वेंटी then can you please tell me what will be the work done in this case all of you what is the work done in this case in this piston my dear when it is moving forward what is the numerical value of the work done can we write from here that will be equal to area of this one that is equal to 100 plus of 300 my dear divided by 2 kilo pascal multiply by uh, 3.2 Into ten raised to minus six, minus six. So the answer will be equal to two hundred multiply by three point two into ten raised to minus six kilojoule, or make it into joule, my dear. Two hundred into three point two into ten raised to minus six into ten raised to three. That will be in joule. So answer will be equal to two hundred multiply by three point two into ten raised to minus three. What will be the answer? Can you please tell me? Answer will be equal to six point four joule will be the answer. Yes or no? This will be the amount of the work. Yes or no? This will be the amount of the work that will be done by the system, my dear. Agree or not? Yes. Tell me, is it or not? Okay. Very good. Very good. Yes. Great. Umar, is it zero point six or six point four? Tamata Singh, Pudina Singh. It is zero point six or six point four. Tell me the correct answer, sir. Work done. We have calculated area under the diagram. Area under the diagram is the work done. Yes or no? Yes. After that, what is the change of the internal energy, my dear? Change of the internal energy that will be equal to m c v delta t. Yes. What is the M C V delta D? Again, it is zero point zero six four. कहीं अपना आंसर गलत आ रहा है? Okay. If you say it is, yes, yes, it is zero point six four joule, my dear. Okay, okay, good. So three hundred already given now, Utkas. Already given that final pressure is three hundred. We have calculated for this. After that, m. What is the mass, my dear? In this case, 2.3 into 10 raised to minus 4. 2.3 into 10 raised to minus 4. What is Cp? Cv. 718 in joule. What is the temperature? What is the final temperature we have achieved, my dear? From here, what is the final temperature? Can you please tell me? Final temperature. Okay, we have not calculated. Let's find the temperature of final. Minus initial temperature. How much is the value of the initial temperature, sir? Twenty. That will be equal to two ninety three. Two ninety three will be the initial temperature. What will be the final temperature, sir? When final pressure is yes, very good. When the final pressure is P two V two is equal to M R T two. 
so from here t2 can be calculated by p2 sir 300 v2 is 23.2 my dear into 10 raised to minus 6 divided by what is the value of mass mass you have already calculated 2.3 into 10 raised to minus 5 multiply by r means 0 0.287 my dear is it 0 0.287 so the numerical value of the t2 can be given by numerical value of the t2 can be given by series can be given by venu correct answer what is the temperature final temperature that will be increased by numerical value of yes yes uh, 300 multiply by 23.2 multiply by 10 raised to minus 6 divided by 10 this to minus 5 tell me the answer of final temperature 300 into 23.2 divided by 2.3 and divided by 0 0.287 is it 1054 yes it is 1054 is the value can you please tell me what is the change of entropy uh, change of internal energy change of internal energy 718 multiply by 2.3 multiply by 10 raised to minus 5 and multiply by 1054 minus 293 answer is 12.57 joule how we can get that work is this and this is the internal energy sir 0 0.64 is the work done and 12.57 uh, is the increment in the internal energy can you please tell me what is the total amount of the heat supply sir in this entire process heat supply by the system is distributed into two parts some is increasing the work done and some other part is increasing the internal energy yes or no some part small part is doing the work done in this case and other part is my dear contributing to increase the internal energy so h per the first law of thermodynamic as per the first law of thermodynamic my dear are we not able to write all the values we can write del q will be equal to du plus of del w so what is the del q i need to calculate du sir 12.57 plus of 0 0.64 answer in this case will be equal to 13.21 joule will be the correct answer yes this is the right answer serious malays umar have you got the correct answer in this case 13.21 will be the 100 percent correct answer agree or not all of you this is the right answer my dear yes utkas where are you josen sir is this a 20 marks question are nahi bhai this type of question are generally asked let me tell you this is definitely a two marks question but these type of question my dear are asked ha huh, yes there are few point i have just taken here few numerical value a little bit difficult because you are getting in 10 raised to minus 3, 10 raised to minus 4. In the gate exam for your calculation, these numerical value may be simple. Like this will not be 3, 10 raised to minus 6. This will be a very simple value. And Joseph, let me tell you, these type of question are 2 marks question. Not exactly this, but similar question in other word was asked. Like uh, in this case, it was asked when heat is supply means this amount of the heat supply is already given to us. Then it was asked, what is the pressure change? Are you getting my point? What is the pressure change? Or what is the work done in this case? So, koi koi question aise hote hain, jo aapko paresan karenge. Question is, this question was quite interesting, my dear. Very important and very twisting question. Yes. Okay. Good. Sir, this question, if we know the heat addition process, then can I use directly formula for the heat supply? Yes, my dear. If you know the heat process, then let me tell you, you can directly go with the formula. But again, you know the name of process. What is the process we are going to follow in this case? I mean, it is the isobaric, isochoric or what is the process? We don't know. Are you getting my point? 
until unless process is not given to us let me tell you you just put this point somewhere in your mind in your heart whenever you want to write this point write it whenever name of the process is not given name fit say again name of the process is not given then formula of heat supply is only one formula that is the first law of thermodynamic where you write del q is equal to du plus del w only this formula we are having whenever the process is not given then formula of work done is only one that is the area of pb diagram bas itna hi mujhe pata hai are you getting my point only this point we know very well clear good venerji yes sir very interesting question let's see how many of you are getting the answer utkas yes feel free to ask the doubt again let me tell you if anything is not mentioned process is not mentioned my dear process is not mentioned then work done will be the area of the pb diagram heat transfer will be the first law of thermodynamic of a process del q will be equal to du plus del w del q will be equal to du plus of del w in this case my dear yes please write the answer in this case write down the answer in this case my dear yes uh, sir spring is initially free that's why py okay okay spring is initially free in this case that's why my dear in the starting point now utkas only pressure of the piston plus pressure of the uh, of the of the atmosphere equal to p1 my dear okay but when a spring is compressed in the previous case then after that my dear pressure of the piston plus this this will be the p1 plus with this one a spring pressure will also be attached that's why i have written p2 my dear like this yes like this clear yeah p2 p3 that's why we have taken the, the work done na no 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 okay c maximum of you have written the answer that's a c will be the correct answer of this question because this one is the adiabatic compression uh, expansion and this is the adiabatic reversible adiabatic compression my dear but when your process will be irreversible then my dear let me tell you in both the case entropy will increase entropy can never be decreased and this is the only option we can get from here yes C for Chennai will be the correct answer of this case. Yes, बिल्कुल सही है. Absolutely right answer. In reversible adiabatic process, entropy will always constant, and in irreversible adiabatic process, entropy will always decrease, decrease, and decrease. In this case, it is decreasing, my dear friend. In this case, it is decreasing, my dear friend. In this case, it is also decreasing. That's why this answer is not possible. इसलिए answer possible नहीं. this is not never and never possible let's move forward very important question for you sir very important question for you uh, i am going to take the question till 45 five question most tricky question of today session five question from 45 uh, to 50 question my dear i'll give you as a homework okay i'll give you as a homework and after that my dear suraj sir is coming for the wonderful session of industrial engineering theory of machine vibration yes question is related to compressible flow my dear generally uh, from recent years like 2019 20 21 few question are generally asked from the compressible flow compressible flow topic is a very easy my dear but we skip this topic that is the problem anyone can you please write who have uh, not studied till now compressible flow so that i'll start the question and i'll i'll tell you these 5 to 10 question of the compressible flow because if you have not discussed uh, tomorrow i think not tomorrow day after tomorrow i am coming back with the applied thermodynamic and in that applied thermodynamic i am going to discuss all the useful formula just only the useful formula which are responsible to solve each and every problem of compressible flow not a study okay study to kiya revise nahi kiya okay sir first thing 
first thing you know very well either it is the problem of the compressible subsonic flow or the supersonic flow there is a one important thing Tejo there is one important thing that will be the Mach number Mach number will decide each and everything yes or no Mach number in this case my dear is going to decide each and everything agree every or not uh, uh, everyone agree or not yes so in this case what is the Mach number my dear Mach number is equal to velocity of the fluid divided by C velocity is what already given what is C my dear under root gamma RT it means I not I, I don't know what is the temperature of that point at which the stagnation temperature is asked my dear so first I first of all I need to know what is the temperature so temperature sir can I know that P will be equal to rho RT because density is given to us what is the value of the temperature from here can anyone of you please tell me what is the temperature sir 30 into 10 raised to 3 multi uh, divided by r r is 287 multiply by rho what is the value of rho rho is this one my dear 0 0.45 yes please tell me the answer what is the value of temperature you are getting in kelvin please what is the value of temperature you are getting in kelvin my dear can you please tell me the answer What is the value of temperature you all guys getting in Kelvin? That is 232 point. Absolutely right. 232.28 my dear. Wonderful. After that, what is the value of Mach number from here? This is the 18,000 kilometer per hour. Make it into meter per second my dear. So it will be 1800 not 1000. Multiply by 5 by 18. Answer will be equal to 500. So this velocity of the vehicle will be 500 multiply by equal to 1.4 into 287 into my dear what is the temperature that is 232.28 will be the temperature just give me one minute okay yes what is the value can you please tell me what is the mech number we all guys getting my dear Mac number we all are, are getting in this case. Can you tell me the answer? It is 1.63. Wonderful. 1.63. After that, you need to know the stagnation temperature now. Then stagnation temperature formula is given by 1 plus uh, gamma minus 1 divided by 2, my dear, into Mac number square. So these are the basic formula. If we are aware only with these formula, my dear, then this type of question can be solved very easily. Very asani se solve kiye ja sakte hain. If we are just aware with these formulas. Yes, tell me. T0, you need to calculate. Local temperature, 232.28. 1 plus 0 0.4 divided by 2 into 1.63 square is the answer my dear what is the final temperature in the kelvin you are getting in stagnation point my dear can you please tell me the answer of this question seven forty six absolutely right answer teju seven forty six point six one kelvin is the correct answer good very good let's move forward and see the next question number 42 how many of you are getting the answer refrigeration cycle use the fluid 12 as a working fluid the temperature of the refrigerator at the evaporator is this and at the condenser is this cooling capacity is given to us volumetric efficiency is also given to us that is the 80 percent my dear the speed of the compressor is also given to us the compressor displacement volume are we don't worry don't worry they are coming you are not waiting for them they are waiting for you just after 43 and 44 question you wait for the, your, your wait will be over my dear because a lot of time i have taken most of the question maximum to maximum variety of the question i have just covered from the entropy and trust that is the reason in every type every session my dear you start to wait that's sir where the question related to the entropy and trust will come right now that's why in this session i have put a little bit less weightage of the entropy topic 
little bit less bit is of the trust topic yes tell me the answer my dear refrigeration process is given to us temperature is given to us speed is given to us volumetric volumetric efficiency is given to us and this one is the power output my dear then after that you need to select what is the answer sir in this case if i am not wrong then it is the refrigeration cycle that is the simple refrigeration cycle can be read like this the simple refrigeration cycle on the ts diagram we draw like this on the ts diagram my dear we draw the cycle like this is it all of you yes that is one my dear two and this is three and this one is the four now the refrigerating effect or the cooling capacity is given to us can you please tell me what is the mass flow rate in this case what is the mass flow rate that is entering in this case my dear what is the value of the mass flow rate that is entering into the compressor any one of you what is the mass entering into the compressor every second my dear yes what is the mass entering every second can we write refrigerating effect will be equal to mass flow rate into h1 minus of h4 yes or no h1 at a lower temperature what is the value of hg at lower temperature what is the value of hg that is 183 hf h4 the h4 is equal to h3 what is the higher temperature what is the value of hf can you please tell me this is sir 150 sorry this one is the 150 this one is the mass flow rate and this is 183 minus of 183 minus of 74.5 my dear tell me the answer 74.5 now tell me the answer what is the mass flow rate yes what is the mass flow rate that is 150 divided by 183 minus of 74.5 will be the correct answer that is 1.3 8 kg per second is it or not 1.38 kg per second this is the mass flow rate are you getting my dear first of all tell me the answer all of you getting the answer like this yes 1.83 mass flow rate good sir what is the total actual volume that is going to enter into the into the compressor because volumetric efficiency of the compressor is given teju what is the total actual volume that is entering at this point actual volume that is entering at this point sir this mass is entering every second and this one is the specific volume this one is the specific volume my dear saturated vapor that is 0 0.8 so what is the volume that is entering every second can you please tell me what is the actual volume of the refrigerant that is actual uh, entering into the compressor can you please tell me what is the actual volume sorry yes can we write actual volume mass into specific volume is it or not yes mass into specific volume then what is the mass my dear 1.382 what is the specific volume 0.08 what is the total actual volume that is entering into the meter cube per second so actual volume this one is entering into the system and after that my dear what is the volumetric efficiency can you please tell me what is the volumetric efficiency that is the actual volume divided by swept volume is it or not what is the actual volume 0 0.1104 divided by swept volume and what is the efficiency 0.80 percent what is the swept volume of the piston can you please tell me the answer in this case what is the actual volume that is going to enter in this case anyone what is the swept volume that is entering every second in this case my dear tell me the answer 0 0.8 and this is 0 0.1104 what is the answer you all guys getting my dear yes 0 0.919 meter cube per second is the swept volume that is going to enter per second yes that is going to enter after each and every second my dear in this case that is the total swept volume we can write from here that is 0 0.139 meter cube per second but let me tell you 
दिस वन इज नॉट अ करेक्ट आंसर माई डियर सही आंसर ये नहीं है दिस वन इज नॉट द राइट आंसर एनी वन ऑफ यू कैन टेल मी वाई इट इज नॉट अ राइट आंसर माई डियर एनी वन ऑफ यू कैन टेल मी वाई इट इज नॉट अ राइट आंसर बिकॉज दिस इज आस्क इन मीटर क्यूब आफ्टर अ साइकल दिस इज आस्क इन मीटर क्यूब आफ्टर ईच एंड एवरी साइकल यू नीड टू गिव मी द आंसर so you need to check how many cycle will be there my dear yes because in a 720 how many cycle will be there my dear so after that you need to write that every second what is the volume given to us now that every second the total volume can be written by volume per cycle multiply by n rpm divided by 60 my dear everyone so you will write what is the volume of the swept after every cycle that is the total swept volume divided by n multiply by 60 will be the answer answer will be equal to 0.138 multiply by 60 divided by 720 will be the total meter cube is the answer yes this is the answer my dear let's see how many of you getting the answer that is 0.138 multiply by 60 divided by 720 answer is 0.019 meter 0.015 meter cube will be the correct answer 0.015 meter cube will be the correct answer okay yes next someone of you were waiting for the trust question tell me the answer of the trust my dear after that two three question i am going to give you as a homework after that suraj sir is joining my dear yes ओके लेट मी मूव साइड सो दैट आपको ये कंप्लीट दिखे हेलो यस लेट्स सी हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू आर गेटिंग द करेक्ट आंसर इन दिस केस माय डियर टेन किलोमीटर ऑफ फोर्स इज गिवन Sura sir in the comment section yes after this question i am going to give you three four question as a homework after that sura sir is joining and he is going to he is going to discuss very important subject of the mechanical engineering theory of machine one of the important subject industrial engineering yes tomato singh what is the correct answer 10 kN 15 kN is the applied force alpha is given to us because all are the equilibrium all are the equal arms that's why my dear in this case your point or your your uh, angle will be the 60 degree then you need to find what is the value of the force in this bc member yes okay sir hil gaya main to is question ko dekh ke matlab you were from the starting you was waiting you were waiting that what will be the or where this uh, question related to the truss will come my dear when we are going to see the question related to truss ab keh raha hu main to hil gaya इतना आसान क्वेश्चन है सर दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन मोर कॉम्प्लिकेटेड क्वेश्चन इज गोइंग टू टेंस इज गोइंग टू मूव टू वर्स द टॉपिक ऑफ एमओएस मेथड ऑफ सेक्शन व्हाट यू विल डू यू विल टेक द मेथड ऑफ सेक्शन लाइक दिस बट व्हेन यू विल टेक द मेथड ऑफ सेक्शन लाइक दिस माय डियर यू नीड टू रिक्वायर दिस रिएक्शन सो व्हेन द रिएक्शन विल बी रिक्वायर्ड ना देन व्हाट वी विल डू सर व्हाट इज दिस न्यूमेरिकल वैल्यू दिस इज 4 मीटर बिकॉज़ एवरी आर्म इज 444 दिस विल बी आल्सो 2 मीटर माय डियर then this will also be the 4 meter so what you will do you will take the moment about f point my dear to find the value of ra kyunki iski zarurat padegi is it or not so in this case we can write the value that ra my dear like this ra multiply by how much is the numerical value multiply by 4 4 8 10 will be equal to 10 into 
will be equal to 15 into 4 my dear after that 80 plus of 60 then what is the value of ra can you please tell me that will be equal to 140 divided by 10 my dear answer will be equal to that will be equal to 14 kilonewton so this value will be equal to 14 kilonewton now what after that you need to do single point you will get the answer ek line lagao sir apply the method of section somewhere like this apply the method of section my dear friend somewhere like this somewhere like this consider left of the section consider left of the section sir one force f ac sir second force f uh, bc sir third f bd utkas i am not expecting these type of points from you all guys my dear hum to hilga in sab question ko dekh ke hiloge to kaise karoge aage badhte hain then f bc bd and this this is the wanted member all other are the unwanted member my dear all other are the unwanted member after that, you need to calculate the value of FAC. You will apply sigma vertical is equal to 0. Am I right or not? Sir, uh, 10 kN in the left side is acting. Yes. Uh, 14 kN in the upside is acting. And my dear, plus F, uh, minus F. Minus F, BC, sin alpha is also acting upward. That will be equal to 0. FBC, sin alpha is sin 60, my dear, already given in the question. That is root 3 by 2 will be equal to 4 from here f b c will be equal to my dear 8 by root 3 can you please tell me the answer what is the value of f b c 8 root 8 by root 3 that is 8 by root 3 answer is 4.61 am i right or wrong 4.61 is the answer malis ajay uh, 5.77 is not an answer, Amit. Is it or not? 4.61 is the correct answer. Is it or not? After that, Sura sir is coming. Sir, Sura sir, if you are ready, just write in the comment section. After that, I'll give you five most twisted questions for you as a homework. And let's see how many of you are getting the answer. Most uh, twisted questions, sir. Try to solve it. If you are not able to solve, then write me in the comment section, uh, in, the, in the Telegram channel after the session. Then I'll share the answer in the comment section. 47 find the center of gravity of this question my dear ek bar main aise side ho ja sakta hu so that you can check the point center of gravity my dear question number 48 related to friction let's see how many of you are getting the answer question number 49 related to virtual work concept my dear and this is the last question that is the question number 50 that is the concept through the topic of Lagrange equation my dear let's see how many of you are getting the getting the answer of these four questions char question aapko homework mein diye kitne answer leke aate ho if you are able to solve the answer write me on my telegram channel that is the mechanical by sonu chohan otherwise you can just write me in personal also sari detail aapke paas hai after that, Surah Sir is coming. I hope you have enjoyed the session a lot. You are going to enjoy a very important session conducted by Surah Sir. That is theory of machine and industrial engineering, my dear. Make this like as a 50. Come second, 50 to kardo pure. After that, Surah Sir is joining. Thank you all. Thank you guys. Okay, bye bye. Take care. Thank you all. Hello, hello guys. Uh, very, very good afternoon, guys. Very good afternoon. Welcome to Baiju's exam prep. Very good afternoon. Uh, please do let me know whether my audio and video is all good, all perfect. Uh, let me check from my end also. All good. Yes. Hello, hello, Ajay, Shreyas. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Teju, Umar. Good afternoon. Okay. So I hope so. Everyone enjoying the session, and I think uh, a full day test is more uh, beneficial for all of you yes after a few marathon sessions some question solving uh, so definitely you are having good practice going on good afternoon malesh bhavamek ajay very good afternoon okay okay so uh, we'll be continuing our session and we'll be discussing some question from industrial also and theory of machine and vibration too right and after that chandra sir will be joining and he'll be discussing some questions from uh, fluid and the heat transfer 
okay fine so uh, tomator okay is giving some answers for the sonu sir okay you can give me after uh, the session right or you can consult with the sonu sir he'll be giving you the right answer to that okay so without wasting much of the time let's quickly start and let's have a quick discussion and uh, i think dheera sir will be coming today at 7:30 to have a very important discussion about how to ace gate 2024 with college and and i hope so you are uh, already registered this for all india mock test starting from today okay 10th of january to 16th of january so make sure you all of you are attempting this all india mock test open mock test right so ready all with all good with audio and video yes <laughs> lunch break is there no i think that is uh, okay L which let's try okay L because there are only 20 25 questions then uh, chandra sir will be coming so it's hardly a matter of 2 2 and a half hours we'll be covering 50 question in 2 2 and a half hours so let's quickly begin and discuss about some industrial questions because yesterday we had a marathon session and i hope so everyone is now very freshly revise the industrial engineering so let's have a quick uh, discussion the average time between two intervals this is a one marks question uh, every time between two intervals are of of the customer in a at a count uh, at a counter in a ready made garment is 3 minutes the average time of the counter clerk to serve the customer is 2 minutes the arrival distributed as per service are per the exponential distribution what is the probability that customer arriving will have to wait simple question <laughs> very easy a one mark question from uh, queen theory what will be the probability that the customer who is arriving will have to wait that means our server is idle right basically uh, the server is busy basically they are saying that they they are asking wh what is the probability that the server is busy right server is busy and for that already we have uh, discussed yesterday also perfect so if a new customer will be arriving so what is the probability that is nothing but rho so you need to calculate only the value of rho so uh, arrival rate now they are saying after every 3 minute customer is arriving so can you tell me how many customers will be arriving in 1 hour it will be uh, 20 hai na 20 customers will be arriving every hour and every customer we take 2 minutes to serve so we can say the service rate will be 30 customer per hour right so directly we can say Rho will be equal to lambda by mu. That is two by three. That means, and that is the probability that server is busy, or we can say the probability the new customer will have to wait. Answer will be option A, point six seven. Option A, point six seven. Okay, yes, correct, very good. Uh, Omar, Teju, Ajay, Malesh, very good. Utkarsh, Shreyas, very good. This was very easy question, right? I I can say less than ten seconds will be required to solve these type of questions. Okay, chalo. Now let's uh, discuss about next topic that is port CPM. Now they are saying there's a construction firm has undertaken the following project. They are saying the indirect cost. Now they are giving the indirect cost. How much money? How much amount of money can be saved by crashing down to twenty six days? Now they are saying that when you crash down to twenty six days. then what will be the total saving this is the question okay this is the question i hope so now it is visible the table is visible okay so quickly calculate uh, the critical draw the network diagram calculate the uh, identify which is the critical path and after that uh, 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 you can calculate the crash cost slope right that is delta c by delta t fine and try to crash down Uh, I think this is twenty uh, six days, right? So definitely it will be getting more than twenty six without crashing. So after crashing, you have to crash down to twenty six, and you have to tell me how much uh, saving you are able to do by doing this particular process. Draw the network diagram. <laughs> so let me draw it over here only because that will be much more easier for us. Uh, A is the first activity. is the first activity then a uh, b and c uh, b and c b and c right let's say this is 3 this is 4 and we are having a uh, c d ke baad okay fine 4 uh, sorry not 4 5 identify what is the critical path quickly and uh, b is having e okay 
C and E. Chalo, this is E. C and E. Dummy. There is a dummy over here. Uh, we are having G. Right. And we are having H after D. Yeah. So, this is the complete network diagram. I hope so. Everyone is getting the same. Okay. So, quickly tell me what will be what will be the critical path so normal time is 4 c is having a time duration of 12 b is having a time duration of 5 d is having a time duration of 6 e ka b 6 f where is f c or e ke baad Achha, there is one more activity that we need to add f f ka gaya hana chaliye quickly yellow color aa gaya kya So, C and E, we are having F, this is F, then F ke baad G, then we are having H. Okay, perfect. 7, 8, chali. Uh, F is having uh, 5, H is having 5 and G is having 7. So, what is the critical path? Quickly. 29 days. Okay, Manas is getting 29 days. Anyone else? Anyone else who can tell me what is the critical path? I am getting 29 and they are saying uh, we have to crash down to 26 days. 28. Okay, Shreyas is getting 28. So, please check. Please check. Are we getting 28 or 29? So, let's check over here. 28. Okay. 28 perfect so let's uh, have this is 0 this is 4 4 plus 16 uh, this is 9 9 plus 5 15 16 right 16 plus 6 22 22 plus 7 27 21 28 we'll be getting 28 we'll be getting 28 perfect right and the critical path will be i think this one including the dummy right so we are getting the critical path as a c uh, f g this is the critical path right a c f g is a critical path yes and uh, you are having a time duration of 28 days you are having a time duration of 28 days so let's quickly calculate what is the crash cost uh, slope uh, 7000 minus 6000 that is 1000 divided by 1 that is 1000 uh, this is 4000 divided by 2 2000 uh, 1000 divided by 1000, this is 6000 divided by 2, 3000, uh, 2000 divided by 1, 2000, 3 by 1, 3000, uh, next is 1000, 500, 500 by 2, 250. So, we are getting the crash cost slope uh, for individual activity, uh, 29 is uh, 28. We are getting 28, I think. Yes. Shreyash, is it 29 or 28? I think uh, you will be getting 28 as the expected time of completion. Okay. And they are saying you have to crash down to 26 days. So, that means you have to crash by 2 days. Right. You have to crash by 2 days. So, ha, perfect. Very good. So, now let us see which A, A, C, F and G. These are the four critical activities. Among this, can you tell me which activity will be crashing? Among this, which activity will be crashing? Thank you. Thank you, guys. Please do like the session. Okay. So, uh, we are having uh, we are having activity G. Activity G as uh, the activity which is having a least crash cost slope. So, it will be activity Okay, sir, C and F. No, we won't be crashing C and F. C and F ko crash karne se, C and F is costing me 1000, right? And F is costing me 3000. No, we won't be crashing that. We'll be crashing the least value. So, we'll be taking activity G. So, activity G, activity G will be crashed by one day. Okay? Chalo. So, if you are crashing activity G by one day, so if you are crashing activity G by one day, so that means 6. So, is my critical path changing? 
if you crash activity G by one day, so is my critical path changing? Let's see. Uh, 0, 4, 4 plus uh, this one, uh, this one is 5, that is 9. Uh, this is 16, um, 9 plus 5, 16, 16 plus uh, this one will be 21, 27. This is 22, 27. So, bike after crashing, after crashing, this is after crashing, right? This is after crashing. So, after crashing activity G by one day, what is happening? Uh, am I getting one critical path or two critical path now? Am I getting now one critical path or two critical path? By after crashing this, if you clo closely look, now we are getting two critical active, two critical path. Yes, this also, right? And this also. Okay, now I'm having two critical paths uh, uh, coming into the picture. So now if I want to now crash down by this from 27 to 26, I need to, uh, uh, I need to have uh, one path or uh, one activity in individual paths. So if I write it over here, A, C, D, H is one critical path and A, C, F, G is a second critical path, right? So you need to identify among this. So uh, we are having additional D and H. D and H is additional which is being added. So now which activity you will be preferring? You will be preferring, sir, we can go with activity H and activity G. Well, these two are having minimum value. Anna, we can take activity G and activity H because you have, to, you have to take crash down this by one day and you have to take this one also by one day. So if I now crash, if I now crash activity G and activity H by one day because you have to, you have to select at least one activity in all, all the uh, critical paths, right? If you're only crashing activity G, it won't be serving the purpose because this pathway will be still giving me 27 number of days. Okay. So now if you crash activity GNH by one day, it will be costing how much rupees? It will be costing me 250 plus 500. That is 750 rupees. Okay. This is costing me how much? Uh, 500 rupees. Okay. Is there any other possibility that Without crashing G and H, I can decrease the project duration from 27 to 26. I can select A and C because A and C are common to both. If you see A and C are common to both. So let us cross check A and C is having how much uh, price? A is having 1000. C is also having 1000. So definitely I won't be preferring this because by crashing G and H, it will be only costing me 750. So now my final answer is, my final answer is I'll be crashing activity G by two days and activity H by one day by doing so I will be able to I will be able to convert my duration from 28 days to 26 days is this clear fine if I want to complete the project uh, in 26 days I have to crash down into this so now what is the question being are they are saying what is the saving that you are doing so, what you have to do, first of all, let us calculate the total normal cost. Okay, let us calculate without crashing, what is the total cost? So, can you tell me what is the addition of these? Quickly, it will be somewhere around 28,000. Please check. Okay, so without crashing, without crashing, what is the total cost? That is equal to summation of direct cost plus indirect cost. That is equal to 28,000 plus uh, 800 into without crashing it was 28 days okay so can you tell me what is the total value what is the total value it will be coming around 50,400 50,400 is the total value without crashing now after crashing after crashing now let us calculate the total cost it is direct cost plus indirect cost already we are having 28,000 right 28,000 plus it will be 750 plus 500, 500 plus 750. This is the total new direct cost and indirect cost phase per day it was charging me 800 rupees. So 800 into 26. Can you tell me what is the total cost now after crashing? This is after crashing. Yes, anyone who has calculated after crashing, what is the total cost that we are getting? 
it will be somewhere around five double zero five zero rupees. So can you say how much cost we have saved? Total saving will be equal to initially without crashing, it was costing me fifty thousand four hundred minus fifty thousand fifty. So it will be somewhere around rupees three hundred and fifty. Yes. So the total saving that I'll be making after crashing it will be 350. I think the answer will be option D. Option D is the correct answer, right? So please make sure you're at least solving one question from crashing because you can expect a two marks question from this topic. At least two marks question from this topic. Many students feel that sir, crashing, they won't be asked. No, it's not like this. They are, they have asked, if you see the previous five, 10 years of the paper, they have asked questions from the crashing and that too from two marks. So you should be knowing how to proceed and how to solve. Okay, fine. So let's uh, proceed with the next question. A uh, very easy from again from Perth CPM. Question is, yes, everyone. Perfect. What is the total float for activity C and activity G? You have to tell me what is the total float for activity C and activity G. So you have to cal first of all, draw the network diagram. Draw the network diagram go with forward pass computation, go with backward pass computation and identify what is the total float of activity C and G quickly. So activity A and B are independent. So let's start from here. This is activity A. This is activity B. Right. Uh, a, B, fine. A, B, C, we are having C. We are having C. Uh, and we are having B, so what we can do is we can take like this. Quickly draw the network diagram. Uh, A, B, say we are having C, right? After B, uh, we are having D. Okay. Uh, C and E. This is E, C and E ke baad we are having F, F and D ke baad we are having G. Right? So this is the complete network diagram. Everyone is getting the same value. Please check. Yes. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So let us write it like this to maintain that logic 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Okay. Yes. So A is having the duration of 6, B is having a duration of 4, C is having a duration of 3, D is having a duration of 5, E is having a duration of 7, uh, F is having a duration of 8, right and G is having a duration of 2. Right. So let's go with the forward pass computation and let us do and calculate all the values. So 0 plus uh, this will be 6. This is 4. 6 plus 3 uh, is 9. This is 4. This is 9. 9 plus 7 is 16. Right. Uh, this is 9 plus 2, 11. 16 plus 8 is 24. Are we getting 24? Are we getting 24? Yes. So once we are getting 24, go with the reverse direction, 24, uh, this is your, uh, and what's the critical path? The critical path will be this one. This one will be the critical path. Yes, not this one. This one will be the critical path. Everyone is getting the same answer. Please check. Okay. So 24, this will be 9, this will be 4, this will be 16, this will be 16 minus uh, 3 will be 13. That's it. And this is zero, right? So we have completed our network diagram. Now the question is, what is the total float for activity C? So if I talk about activity C, it is from three to five. It is from three to five. This is activity C, right? So it is six, 13, uh, 16 and 16. So the total float for activity C will be equal to 16 minus six minus three. That is coming out to be 10 minus three. That is seven. So total float for activity C is seven. So this two get uh, eliminated. Now talk about uh, total float for activity G. Activity G is from 4 to 6. 4 to 6 is activity G, right? And it is having a duration of uh, 2. Okay. 
and if I write uh, 9, 9, 24, 24, 9, 9, 24, 24. So, total float per activity G will be equal to 24 minus 9 minus 2 that is coming out to be, yes, uh, 13. So, your final answer is option A, 7 and 13. Okay, fine. So, total float per activity C and activity G, you already we have seen this such kind of, such kind of, uh, 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 sessions yesterday also we have take uh, we have taken the questions also it's very easy if I talk about any activity from I to J right if I write E I E J L I L J this is T I J what is total flow total flow is equal to L J minus E I minus T I J right this was the formulation that we have already studied they were only asking what is the total flow that's it is this clear very good Shreyash after a few questions of industry, then we'll be going with the uh, theory of machines. Okay. Chalo. Very good. Very good. Next question. Question number 54 on your screen. Very easy question. Again from PERT CPM. They are saying PERT calculation suggests that uh, the duration of 30 weeks with a variance of 16 weeks square. Right. Uh, the probability of completing this project in 35 weeks. Now, they are giving directly the value. The capital TE value is 30 weeks. The capital TS value is 35 weeks okay they are giving the variance value the variance is given as the variance is given as 16 week square then what is the value of or what is the probability of completing this project in 35 weeks can you tell me a very easy question they have already given the chart uh, corresponding to the z values what is the probability they have already given okay so first of all calculate the value of z so what is the standard deviation Standard deviation is equal to under root of variance. Okay. Variance is given as 16. So, we can directly say this will be equal to 4 weeks. Right. So, Z is equal to TS minus TE divided by standard deviation. Sta that is 35 minus uh, 30 divided by 4. That is 1.25. Now, 1.25 basically lies in between these two values. You take the average of these two. That's it. You take the average of these two, 80.49 and 90.32. You take the average of these two, right? Because 1.25 will be lying in between this. 89.405, exactly. Just you take average, 88.49 plus 90.32 divided by 2. Whatever value you are getting, that is the final answer. I think you will be getting 89.4 point, 89 percentage. Yes? 89 very good Omar very good you will be getting exactly 89.4 percentage that means the probability of completing this project in 35 weeks will be 89.401 I think Hana? 401 or 405 very good very good all of you done perfect very good everyone is getting the answer they go industrial subject as a subject hai where you can score 100% marks only little effort is required that's the best part it's little effort you can score 100% marks okay shallow next question on your screen is this uh, they are saying uh, the pert network all the activities is shown okay they have given the mean time and variance that means if i said this is mean time and this is variance they are saying what is the uh, standard deviation of the critical path what is the standard deviation of the critical path? They have given the time and this is variance. Okay. Uh, it is given like, first of all, they'll be giving the time and with the comma, they're giving the variance value. So, very easy, sir. Let's calculate the critical path. 0, uh, 2, this will be 3, this will be 2, uh, 2 plus 6, 8, this is 8, uh, 2 plus 8 is 10, 8 plus 2 is 10, uh, this is 8 plus 4, 12, this is also 12. So, can you tell me, are we getting one critical path or two critical path? By looking at this particular diagram, sir, I am getting two critical path. Yes or no? Or three critical path. Check. Three, three, five, eight, two, eight, ten. One, two or three? Yes. Uh, eight plus four, twelve. Two, two plus six, eight, huh? Okay, uh, this is 2 plus 8, 10, 10 plus 2 is 12. We are getting, I think, 3 critical path.
yes how many critical paths we are getting are we getting more than 2 more than 3 or 4 critical paths please check if you try to see first critical path is 1 3 Seven six, which is having a duration of twelve, right? If I talk about one, three, five, six, this is also we are getting twelve. If I talk about one, two, five, six, this is also we are getting twelve. So we are getting not two, we are getting three critical paths. Yes, these all are the critical paths. Okay. Sir, seven is the last. Seven is the last one. Ajay, where where we are having that seven in the last? Yes. All all of you are getting three critical paths. You can see directly. You have to take the maximum time consuming path, right? That is a critical path. Okay, we won't be taking the minimum value. That is the longest time taking path. That is we call it as a critical path. acha acha okay 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 we are having we are having the arrow okay fine fine last event is something like this so in that case this is uh, will be changing that arrow will be changing right perfect technically should be having a download arrow okay no problem we'll be taking that value fine so in that case some values will be changed uh, this is 8 this is 8 plus 4 is 12 12 plus 2 is 14 Right, eight plus two is ten. So this is the critical path. So uh, now I think there are two critical paths. Now I think there are two critical paths. Right? Okay. In the last one, the last uh, event is seven, not six. From six to seven, we are having an arrow in the opposite direction, which is not technically correct. It should be always towards from left to right. Okay, they have given no problem with that. And now, so now we, the critical path has been converted from one to two, uh, two to uh, three to two. That is one. Three, five, six, seven, and second is one, two, five, six, seven. So these are the two critical paths having a duration of fourteen days. Okay, this arrow was actually given from six to seven, right? So now how to calculate? Now there are two critical paths. So let us. They are asking us what is the standard deviation of the critical path. So now they have given the variance value. They give. Uh, they have given the value of standard deviation over here. You know, they have given the value of standard deviation. So let us let us say this is path A and this is path B. I am dividing this into two paths. One is path A and path path B. So let us calculate the standard deviation for path A. Path A is one three. This is one square plus one square plus five six seven. Two square plus one square root of this. Can you tell me what is the value? Four plus three root of seven. Okay. And if I talk about the standard deviation for B. That is under root of one uh, two. That is two square plus one square plus two square plus one square. So this is four plus four eight plus two root of ten. So now the problem over here is we are getting two critical paths, but the standard deviation is different. So can you tell me what is the final correct answer? Which standard deviation finally will be selecting? Are we going to select uh, sigma A or sigma B? There are two possibilities. Right? Why I have taken this problem is many students might be having doubts if you are having multiple critical paths. So which standard deviation will be selecting as the final one? We always select that, always select that which is having a, a lower value or higher value. Yes, standard deviation. What is the meaning of standard deviation? Standard deviation means how much variation is happening from the mean value. So if you are having a less variation, that is best, right? So we always take the value of standard deviation least one, right? Okay. In this case. In this case, ha, ha, we always take. Please remember this. We always take because in the question they are they are not mentioned which are we talking about the minimum or the maximum value. So whenever we are dealing with this kind of situation, we always try to uh, select which is best for our system, right? Okay. So sigma a will be our final answer because it is having root seven. Root seven will be the final correct answer. Okay, whenever you are having this kind of situation, which is very rarely possible, but yes, we can have that kind of uh, uh, situation. So, 
whenever we are having this kind of situation, so we always try to select which is more suitable, which is more best for the system, right? So we always take uh, a lower value of standard deviation that is root 7. So the final answer is root 7 as I because you are not getting these type of question in, in, uh, uh, in whenever you are doing some practice. We always land up with a single critical path. You can have this kind of scenario. So you should not be confused in that particular perspective. Okay, fine. So root 7 is the final correct answer. So let's proceed for the next problem. Uh, question number 56 on your screen. Okay. Uh, yesterday, uh, one of the students asked me about, sir, can we go with the probability uh, question? So I told you I'll be taking one question from the probability. So this is the question. A bookkeeper purchases psychometry chart at a cost of rupees 50. So uh, we can say cost price is 50 rupees and selling price is uh, rupees 80. Okay. And if it is not being sold, then you can sell at a scrap value of uh, rupees 25. Okay. So they are saying that uh, uh, the given demand and profit distribution is given over here. So what should be? the number of psychometry chart that the bookkeeper should be uh, 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 maintaining in order to have the best or optimum size. Yes, what should be the optimum lot size of the psychometry chart? Quickly. So here we need to calculate the profit and loss value. Profit and loss, what will be profit? Selling price minus cost price that is equal to 30. 80 minus 50. Loss will be equal to cost price minus the scrap value. That is equal to uh, 50 minus 25. That is 25. Okay. So from here, I am getting P uh, upon P plus L. P upon P plus L. We can calculate this value. For profit is 30. This is uh, 30 plus 25. So what's the value? Can you tell me? This is 30 divided by 55. Approximate. Can you tell me in, in uh, percentage, in decimal? 30 divided by 55 will be somewhere around 0.5, I think. 0.55 yes 0.55 is the value now they are giving me some probability value so what we'll be doing what we'll be doing will be calculating the cumulative probability right? cumulative probability will be calculating so it is 0 0.2 0 0.2 plus 0.2 is 0 0.4 0 0.4 plus 0.25 is 0 0.65 0 0.65 plus 0.15 is 0 uh, we can say 8 this is 0 0.9 and this is 1 so our value P upon P plus L is having a value of 0 0.55. So 0 0.55 is lying between these two values. If you check, it is lying between 0 0.4 and 0 0.65. So can we simply say that P upon P plus L, P upon P plus L less than equal to the cumulative probability at N, P N minus 1, right? So can you tell me what is the final answer? So it is lying between 70 to 60, right? It is lying between 70 and 60. So we can say less than equal to 70, right? This is uh, P upon P plus L probability of 60. We are having the equality sign with the higher value. So the optimum, optimum lot or optimum stock will be equal to always the higher value will be preferring that is 70. Is this clear? So answer is option C70. So we'll be taking this as the final optimum value. This is, we call it as a static inventory model. Yesterday, uh, one of the students has asked about that formulation. I told you we'll be discussing one question so that you are having more clarity. We always take the lot size with the higher value. Okay. So the option C is the correct answer because 0 0.55 lies between 0 0.4 and 0 0.65. So we'll be taking the higher value of the lot size that is 70. Is this clear? Okay. This model we call it as static inventory model. Done? Is this clear? Option C, 70 is the correct answer. Okay, next, next question. We need to cover a lot of questions with less time. I know it's your lunch time. Okay, but uh, okay, next question. Uh, for an inventory system, the demand is given, cost price is given, ordering cost is given and holding cost is given. They are saying obtain the increase in total cost when the ordered 40% more than that of EOQ. They are saying when you are ordering more than 40% than that of EOQ, what should be the change in total cost? So tell me one thing, whenever I'm talking about change in total cost, am I talking about the change in inventory cost or change in total one cost? Yes. If I say, if your inventory size is changing, which cost is independent of inventory? Which cost, purchase cost, ordering cost or holding cost, among all these three, 
विच कॉस्ट विल बी इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ इन्वेंट्री दैट इज अ परचेज कॉस्ट सो कैन बी से वी ओनली नीड टू कैलकुलेट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टोटल इन्वेंट्री कॉस्ट दैट इज दैट विल बी सेल्फ सफिशियंट बिकॉज वी आर नॉट चेंजिंग द कॉस्ट प्राइस ओके परचेज कॉस्ट इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ द इन्वेंट्री सो वी कैन ओनली टेक द टोटल इन्वेंट्री कॉस्ट एंड टेक द डिफरेंस ऑफ दैट विल बी गेटिंग द आंसर ओके fine so let's see who will be giving me the correct answer is it option a 165 265 70 or none of the above quickly so annual demand is given so first of all calculate the value of q star what is the value of q star q star is equal to 2d co by ch root of this 2 into 18000 into co is 240 ch is given in percentage of c 0.1 into 8 so can you tell me what is the value of q star you are getting Q star value, everyone. Quickly, are we getting 3000 something? 3000 units. If I am getting Q star 3000 units, you can calculate the value of TIC star that is root of 2D COCH, right? So just placing this value, D is 18,000, CO is this, this is CH. Just you need to place it and tell me the value TIC star you will be getting somewhere around 2880 rupees. Yes. Fine. So once we are getting this now they are saying when you are increasing the order size more than 40% than that of EOQ. So can we say Q is equal to 1.4 times of Q star? you are increasing by 40 percent that means 1.4 times of q star so 1.4 into 3000 very good manas very good you will be adding this value to be 4200 now in order to calculate the value of total inventory cost at 4200 at when q is equal to 4200 the total inventory cost now in this case do i need to use the eoq formulation or general formulation because now we are not talking about any eoq Right, we are talking about general formulation, so we'll be using D by Q into CO plus Q by 2 into CH. Right, fine. So just placing all the values, the D is given 18,000 divided by 4200 into CO is of 240 plus 4200 divided by 2 into CH is 0 0.12 of C value is 8. Okay, so solving all these values, you will be getting, what is the value you are getting? Very good Umar Sheikh, option A 165 is the correct answer. Uh, what is the value over here you are getting? 3044.6 rupees. So total change in cost, the increase in cost will be, increase in cost will be equal to 3044.6 minus, minus 2880. So when you solve it, you'll be getting approximately 165 rupees. And I think option A is the correct answer. 165 rupees, option A is the correct answer. Okay, perfect, very good. Fine, question is very easy. Done? Yes, 57th question. Okay, 58 chalte hai. Let's calculate uh, question number 58. From again from inventory. The total cost function for inventory is given as uh, 12,000, uh, 3,000 by Q plus 20 Q by 7. What is the value of EOQ? Simply, sir, we know that for EOQ, economic order quantity, what is the uh, formulation? We try to differentiate the total cost with respect to Q and make it equal to 0. Anna? Fine. So, try to differentiate will be having a minus 3,000 by uh, Q square plus 20 by 7 equal to 0. So, from here Q uh, is equal to root of root of uh, this will be 3000 into 7 by 20, right? Just only calculation is left out. Okay, just because you just know you just always go with the for uh, this concept. Most of the times you won't be getting questions like directly giving the giving the value. They will be giving you something like this in a function perspective. You need to differentiate and after differentiating, you will be getting the value directly. Okay, very good. Option A, 33 is the correct answer. Perfect, Umar. Very good. 33 units. 33 units is the correct answer. Very good, Umar, Teju, Shriyash, Manas, done. Faisal, perfect, perfect, perfect. 
ओके नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आई होप सो दिस इज क्लियर 32.4 हां 32.4 इज द एग्जैक्ट आंसर वी कैन टेक इट एज अप्रोक्सीमेटली 33 विल बीडिंग दिस टू बी 32.4 वी कैन टेक इट एज 33 ओके वेरी गुड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन 59th a lean manufacturing question which of the following is not the objective of lean manufacturing system which of the following is not the objective of lean manufacturing system waste minimization reduce production times increase total cost or improve quality by looking at the option i think you will be answer to this very good this question very easily which one is not the objective of lean manufacturing system absolutely correct ajay umar option c lean manufacturing never ever have the objective of increasing the total cost rest if i talk about minimization of waste reduction of the production times or improvement of the quality these all are yes facing some noise disturbance uh, anyone is having this issue let me check from my end okay one second yes is everything perfect now i think that uh ha huh, correct correct perfect chalo next a question from the forecasting model a question from the forecasting model the company forecasts the demand for the product for the next uh, three year three months as 40 so the forecasting value they are given as 40 for, uh, 400 400 and 400 each okay for the three months let's say this is uh, first month this is second month this is third month right and they are giving the demand actual demand however was 400 580 and 550 they are asking what is the bias remember the yesterday session remember yesterday session what is the bias anyone sir very easy we have to calculate the d minus f d minus f this will be 0 this will be 180 uh, this will be 150 so the bias value will be equal to summation of i is equal to 1 to n uh, d minus f divided by n right so this is 180 plus 150 plus 0 divided by 3 what's the value are we getting very good 330 330 yes or 110 330 divided by 3 bias is always the average right it is double one zero units option d is the correct answer 330 is that we can say 330 is running some forecast error okay bias is the average value right so if you do the mistake if you do the mistake that mistake option will also be available in the <laughs> in the gate examination okay if you uh, if you are having a doubt if you are committing some silly mistake that silly mistake option will also be available okay so 330 is running some forecast value okay is this clear fine bias is always the average value that we are taking done just one two more question then we'll be going for uh, uh, this one uh, in uh, your theory of machine chalo next without uh, lpp our industrial engineering is not completed right and that too we are talking about a simplex method so question is we are having a maximization problem and we are having some constraints being given right they are the constraints being given they are asking the second feasible solution of z that means they are asking you what is the value of objective function in that second table so for that let us quickly make the first table uh, uh, and if i try to add uh, slack 1 slack variable 2 slack variable 3 can it be directly the value it will be 7 it will be 12 it will be 10 right it will be these three values it will be plus s1 plus s2 plus s3 uh, having x1 x2 x3 zeros will be getting this slack variables to be this so now let us try to calculate x1 x2 x3 uh, s1 s2 s3 this is replacement ratio uh, we are having cj values x1 ka hai 3 x1 ka we are having 3 the coefficient is 3 5 
थ्री फाइव फोर ट्रिपल जीरो राइट एंड वी आर हैविंग बेसिस बेसिस इन दिस केस वी आर हैविंग एस वन एस टू एस थ्री एंड द करस्पॉन्डिंग वैल्यूज इज सेवन ट्वेल्व एंड टेन राइट दिस वैल्यू विल बी थ्री माइनस वन टू माइनस वन एंड टू रिमेंबर बेसिस ऑलवेज फॉर्म वॉट यूनिट मैट्रिक्स वन जीरो 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 वन जीरो 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 वन ओके कंप्लीट द टेबल दिस इज माइनस टू फोर माइनस टू फोर देर इज नो एक्सट्री इन द सेकेंड कॉन्स्टेंट वी कैन डायरेक्टली जीरो राइट एंड माइनस फोर थ्री एंड एट माइनस फोर थ्री एंड एट ओके डन राइट सो वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द टेबल uh cj values for this basis are 0 0 and 0 so we can directly write the value of delta because zj value will be 0 0 into something will always be 0 0 into 3 0 into minus 2 0 into 4 so we can directly write z uh, delta value is plus 3 plus 5 plus 4 0 0 and 0 so can you tell me which variable will be entering the system which variable will be entering the system by looking at the uh, particular table which variable will be entering the system anyone because this is a maximization problem right so we can simply say x2 will be the entry variable because it is having the maximum value of delta right x2 will be the entry variable and if x2 is entry variable we can calculate the value of theta theta will be 7 minus 1 that is minus 7 uh, this is 3 and this is uh, 3.33 so the minimum value x2 will be the exit variable this will be the exit variable right so this is the exit variable and this is the entry variable that means in the next table x2 will be having some value so can you tell me x2 value without even drawing the next table can you tell me the value of x2 without even drawing the next table anyone perfect it will be pivot element divided by this the second row will be having the values Which is equal to the old element divided by the pivot value. So it is four by twelve. That is three. That's it. X one is non-basic. X three is non-basic. So now this is the second set of values that we'll be using for the table number two, right? So X two is equal to three. Now we can say X two is equal to three. Rest all are having the zero value. Can you tell me what's the value of objective function in the second table? The objective function will be having equal to fifteen. as the value option c is a correct answer is this clear because you should uh, you won't be you, uh, the second table requirement is not there no need to draw the second table is this clear no need to draw the second table because these type of question you can definitely expect in gate examination those students who are drawing the second table they are only wasting the time okay those who know the concept they will be quickly uh, getting the answer they will be moving forward to the next question clear fine perfect chalo next question a very easy question from duality a very easy question from duality they are saying the dual of the given linear programming the z maximum value they are saying that is 3x plus 7y and some constraints they have given right so what will be the dual of this particular primal this is basically we call it as primal okay quickly option b perfect So if I talk, I uh, talk about the dual. That will be z minimum. So you can eliminate option A. Uh, that is six uh, u minus six v. This will be the objective function. And if I talk about constraint, we will be having uh, this one will be uh, u plus two v is uh, greater than equal to three, and three u plus five v is greater than equal to seven. Okay. fine so i think option b is the correct answer they were only asking you about the objective function option b is the correct answer perfect very good correct okay very good very good question was 63 i think 63 64 ah two more questions then industrial uh, industrial will be over then we'll be going for the very important subject theory of machine okay customer approaching uh, towards a counter of cinema hall at a mean of 6 customer per hour so arrival rate is 6 customers per hour uh, the people providing ticket can providing service at a rate of 10 customer per hour this is 10 customer per hour is the service rate 
the average time a ticket provider is free in a working hours of eight working hours so very easy question they are asking you what is the total out of eight hours how much time he is actually setting free so that means you have to calculate the probability that there is zero customer in the system so rho is equal to 6 by 10 if rho is equal to 6 by 10 p0 is equal to 4 by 10 so we can say the free time free time will be equal to 8 into 4 by 10 that is 3.2 hours very easy question a question was asked in the gate examination language was different but it was comprising comprising of two marks i hope so this type of question now you can solve in less than 20 or 25 seconds yes because this is the probability you can say 0.4 is the probability that means 40 percent of the time the server will be busy or server will be idle so the 40 percent of 8 hours is 3.2 hours that's it okay clear yes sir shallow next question sir okay 64 uh, this question some students have personally uh, sent me this problem sir please try to take the solution of this i don't know why this is a very easy question tell you uh, at a telephone booth arrivals are assumed to be following a poison distribution with an average time of 12 minutes that means after every 12 minutes uh, the customer is arriving so can you tell me what is the arrival rate arrival rate will be equal to 60 divided by 12 that is five customers per hour five customers per hour now the average length of the telephone call is five. That means every customer is using is, is speaking in the telephone for five minutes. That means that is the service time. So can we say total uh, 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 we can say service rate will be equal to 60 divided by 5. That is 12 customer per hour. Because after every five minutes, the next customer will be speaking. So we can say in total in one or 12 customers will be speaking. So they are saying what is the average waiting time of the customer before being served. So can you tell me are they asking about the waiting time of the system or waiting time of the queue? Are they asking about the waiting time of the system or waiting time of the queue? They are saying average waiting time of the customer before being served. So that means before being served that means they are talking about waiting time of the Uh, there, there is always a doubt. Sir, yesterday we had a discussion average is used for system, mean is used for Q, right? We had a discussion of that. But if you try to read this statement, they are saying before being served. That means before being served, that means I am talking about the waiting time of the Q. Okay, always read the statement. It is very important. If you are not reading the statement, you will be landing up to the wrong answer and you will be losing the marks. Okay, if I say... Uh, what is the waiting time before being served? That means I am not reaching the counter. Before reaching the counter, what is the waiting time they are talking about? That means I am talking about the waiting time of the queue. Is this clear? So, waiting time of the queue is nothing but LQ by lambda. Now, you can calculate this particular value very easily. Rho is equal to 5 by 12, right? So, we can say uh, LQ. What will be LQ? LQ is equal to rho square divided by 1 minus rho. Uh, this will be equal to 5 by 12. Uh, 5 by 12 whole square by 1 minus 5 by 12. You will be getting some value. So, WQ is equal to LQ by lambda. Uh, LQ value. Uh, can you tell me what is the value of LQ you are getting? It will be in some uh, decimal 0 0.0 point something 0.297. Okay. And this will be 0.297 divided by lambda value is uh, 5. So, this is point, yes, 0, 0.0549, right, point zero five nine. Now, this is in hours. Now, in the question, they are asking you in minutes. So, you have to multiply it with 60, point zero five nine into 60, that is your minutes. So, what is the answer you are getting? Ah, perfect. Point zero five nine into 60, approximately 3.57 minutes. 3.57 minutes, so 3.54 exactly. So, option B is the correct answer. Option B is the correct answer because they are asking the question in minutes. Final answer, they are asking the uh, answer in minutes. So, you have to convert the final. So, 3.57, so nearest answer is option B, 3.5.
ओके डन डन यस ओके ओके नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अ वन मार्क्स क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम गियर प्रेन गियर बेसिकली अ पीनियन ऑफ ट्वेंटी टीथ इज मेस्ड विद अ गियर ऑफ फोर्टी नंबर ऑफ टीथ Uh, find the central distance between the uh, uh, between them if the radius of the pinion is 20 mm very easy question we are having a pinion and we are having a gear they are meshed together right fine uh, it is having 20 number of teeth and it is having uh, 40 number of teeth the radius of this is we can say 20 mm what is the value of the central distance very easy question very easy very good this i think will be carrying one marks only right so one marks question 60 mm 80 mm 40 mm 120 mm a okay we are getting ashutosh is saying option d uh, option a we are getting confusion between a and d it's a easy direct straight forward question d try to check we are talking about the central distance i'm not talking about the yes i'm not talking about the uh, uh, radius of the gear okay perfect option d is the correct answer we can say we can calculate the value of module module is equal to d by t hai na d1 by t1 so this is uh, we can say 40 uh, divided by 20 that is 2 right 2 mm okay 2 mm fine and that is also equal to uh, d2 by t2 so we can simply say uh, d2 will be equal to 2 into 40 that is 80 okay so we can say this is uh, so r2 will be equal to 40 mm r2 is 40 mm r1 is already given as 20 mm so the central distance will be equal to r1 plus r2 that is equal to 60 mm option d is the correct answer option d is the correct answer is this clear perfect <coughs> done the student those who are giving me 40 mm that is the radius of the bigger gear that's it they are talking about the central distance so r1 plus r2 r1 plus r2 will be the central distance clear done yes can we proceed to the next question perfect ओके वेरी गुड 66 क्वेश्चन अच्छा एक और क्वेश्चन रह गया था क्या ओके वन वन और वन मोर क्वेश्चन इज वाज लेफ्ट आउट ऑफ इंडस्ट्री अ सिमिलर लाइन कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ फोर स्टेशन स्टेशंस टाइम्स 8 10 11.5 10 द बैलेंस द डिले हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द बैलेंस द डिले बैलेंस डिले इज समथिंग बट 1 माइनस टोटल वर्क कंटेंट डिवाइडेड बाय द n इनटू साइकिल टाइम बट हियर दे आर नॉट गिविंग द वैल्यू ऑफ साइकिल टाइम देन हाउ वी कैन कैलकुलेट देयर आर फोर वर्क स्टेशन n इज इक्वल टू 4 Can you tell me what will be the cycle time? What will be the cycle time in this? Cycle time will always be equal to maximum value of the station time if it is not given. Eleven point five will be the cycle time. Okay, so from here I can now calculate. Uh, uh, total work content will be equal to eight plus ten plus eleven point five plus ten. Okay, whatever value you are getting, that will be the total work content. So balance delay will be equal to either we are getting fourteen, twenty, eighty, or sixty. What's the final value? What's the final value? Yes, perfect. So now you can just place the final value. Uh, this will be total work content divided by uh, n is four into eleven point five. So this will be giving approximately the value will be point one four. Option A is the correct answer. Fourteen percentage. Near about to fourteen percentage will be the correct answer. Near about to fourteen percentage will be the correct answer. option a very good very good correct perfect done i think there was one question that is one or two question that is being skipped out chaliye done are ha na bolie bhai 20 uh, this is 20 31.39.5 ha chaliye 67th acha you can take this as an homework i am i am giving you this question as homework because we need to we need to start with the theory of machine okay 
we need to start with the theory of operation. You can tell me the average start in the same process that we are using EDD method, you can say. Done. Can we take this as a homework and we can start the theory of machine quickly? Yes. I think this is a, this is a very easy question, right? Huh. Chalo. Now let's begin our theory of machine problems. There's a Whitworth quick return motion mechanism shown on the figure. What is the quick return ratio? You can see they are asking you what is the quick return ratio quickly what is a quick return ratio very easy question if you try to visualize if you try to visualize the diagram you can get the answer very easily okay if you try to see very good so if you try to see the extreme position will be like this when the c will be placed over here okay because it is rotating right so we can say uh, bc fine ab is given so this is your alpha by 2 so we can say cos alpha by 2 is equal to uh, we can say ab by bc ab is 100 bc is 200 so alpha by 2 is 60 degree alpha equal to 120 degree if alpha equal to 120 beta is equal to 240 degree so we can say quick return ratio is equal to beta by alpha that is 2 very easy question from the quick return motion mechanism that is coming out to be very good Naveen, Manas, Malish I think you have solved this problem earlier that is the reason quick answers you are getting Achha, mock test mein tha. it was there in the mock test okay Chali, bahut very good done because this is rotating right this is rotating so when it will be reaching over here it will be rotating like this right okay when it will be rotating and reaching at this position so we have to only check at this point right we have to only take this particular triangle that's it huh. a shortcut whenever you are getting a question from quick return mechanism always try to take this very important concept if radius and length if they are having a relation of like uh, twice length is twice of radius aank band karke your answer will be quick return ratio will be equal to 2 Anna? chalo next question uh, you have to calculate the natural frequency of this particular spring arrangement calculate the natural frequency of this spring mass and spring arrangement quickly let's see who will be giving me the answer Try this problem. This is the hinge point. Okay. As we are having a horizontal system, so initial weight will be nullified. Initial weight will be nullified. Okay. So now let us try to give some deflection. This is L. This is L. This is L. All are having the distance L. Right. Let's say this is theta. So this spring will be having a uh, uh, we can say spring force in this direction this will be having a spring force in this direction and what will be that force that will be k into l theta this will be k into 2 l into theta right so now you can apply there are only two restoring forces so 0 minus uh, we can say k into l theta into l minus k into 2 l theta into 2 l is equal to i0 into theta double dot let's say this is point o right so uh, now we can say 0 minus this is kl square theta this is 2 2 4 this is 5 kl square theta is equal to i naught theta double dot or we can say i naught theta double dot plus 5 kl square theta equal to 0 okay fine exactly perfect so now we can say what is I naught the moment of inertia of this mass about this point O. So I naught will be simply equal to MR square or ML square. So M into the distance is 3L. 3L ka whole square that is 9ML square. Okay. So now placing all the values. So 9ML square theta double dot plus uh, 5KL square theta equal to 0. From here we can say theta double dot plus 5K by 9m theta equal to 0 
comparing this equation with our standard formulation that is theta double dot plus omega n square theta equal to 0. So, omega n is coming out to be root of 5k by 9m. I think we are getting this answer as option D. Everyone, yes, simple. It's a very easy question from the torque method. A very easy question from the torque method. And I hope so. You have solved a lot of questions like this. And you have solved a lot of questions like this in your preparation during gate examination. Okay. Chalo. Next question, question number 70. Just five more questions left out. Then Chandra sir will be joining with us to get the correct, uh, to get uh, fluid mechanics, very important subject. And in uh, uh, HMT. In crank slotted, now we are talking about crank slotted. This is actually a one marks question, I can say. If the length of the stroke, if uh, uh, what is the length of the stroke? What is the stroke length? Right, they are asking the stroke length. Time ratio, that means quick return ratio is equal to 2. Slotted lever is 250. There is a shortcut method. Those who know the shortcut, they can give me the answer in a less than 1 minute. Oh, less than 10 seconds. Those who know the shortcut method, they can tell me the answer in less than 1 minute. Quickly. Can you tell me? If quick return ratio equal to 2, what is the relation between the radius of the crank and the length of the connecting rod? Can you tell me? If quick return ratio is equal to 2, what is the relation between the length of the crank and the crank radius that is equal to like this? Can we have direct relation? Yes. If this is so, can we say the stroke length, stroke length, is equal to twice of length of the slotted bar into the radius of the crank divided by the radius uh, we can say length of the length of many students are doing a very common mistake yes so can you tell me this is 2 into length of the slotted bar into now what will the value of radius of crank a radius of crank to the length of connecting rod. What will be this value? This will equal to 1 by 2. If this is 1 by 2, can we say this is 2 into length of the slotted bar into 1 by 2. So, this is nothing but length of the slotted bar. Right? Fine. And what is the length of the slotted bar? That is equal to 250. It is given. So, the stroke length, stroke length is simply equal to 250 mm. 250 mm many students are giving me sir 125 which is not correct remember one thing whenever the quick return ratio is equal to 2 we can now directly say that the stroke length will be exactly equal to the length of the slotted lever is this clear you can have this as a direct uh, 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 relation that you can use whenever the quick return ratio because maximum number of times we are dealing with quick return ratio equal to 2. If quick return ratio is equal to 2, I have not placed any value. I am just writing because when this is same, so length of the connecting rod is, is equal to twice of crank. Using this over here, 1 by 2, 2 and 2 get cancelled. So, this is nothing but your length of the slotted bar. Okay, so from here, I can simply say whenever the quick rotation equal to 2, the stroke length will be exactly equal to the length of the slotted lever. Is this clear? Everyone, no need to solve. No need to solve these type of questions whenever you are having this criteria because maximum number of time you are dealing with quick return ratio is equal to 2. Okay, so if it is equal to 2, directly we can say stroke length equal to the length of the slotted lever. Chalo, next question 71. Okay, very easy question. For a four bar linkage, and this also a question which I think many of the students have personally texted me. Sir, please try to solve this question in the live session. Chalo, uh, uh, a four bar linkage, uh, the angular velocity of CD. Let's say I'm, I'm denoting this as link number one, this is link number two, this is three, and this is four. Okay. So, they are giving you the value of omega 4 that is equal to 3 radian per second. Fine. Some distances are given. They are saying what is the relative angular velocity of 
AB length with respect to BC. That means they are asking omega 2 with respect to 3. Can you tell me the value? Can you tell me the value? They are asking you what is the magnitude of relative velocity of omega 2 with respect to 3. Very easy question. That means I need to calculate omega 2 and omega 3 both. Once I am getting this, we can simply say omega 2 minus omega 3. The difference of that will be giving you the value of omega 2, 3. So, let us try to calculate this problem very, very easy. Some dimension is already being given. Uh, AB is equal to CD 4 and 4. BC is equal to 1.5. Okay. So, by having this discussion, can we say omega 2 and omega 4 should be same? By looking at the diagram, due to similarity, because exactly same dimension, we can say omega 2 is equal to omega 4, but let us try not to have this particular direct conclusion. Let us prove that also. Let us prove that, that uh, whether omega 2 and omega 4 will be having the same value. So, what we can do is, as this is 2, this is 1, this is 3, this is 4. So, this is I 1, 2, this is I 2, 3, this is I 3, 4, this is I 1, 4. So, uh, if I want to calculate omega 3, omega 4 is given. Omega 4 is equal to 3 radian per second. Omega 3, we need to calculate. So, let us take a combination of 3 and 4. That means, I need to calculate 1, 3, 1, 4 and 3, 4. Hello? So, 1, 3, how we can calculate? Draw the circle. Draw a circle. This is 1, 2, 3, 4. Join 1, 3. So, 1, 3 is a combination of 1, 2, 2, 3 and 1, 4, 3, 4. So, 1, 2, 2, 3. 1, 4, 3, 4. So, somewhere around here, this is I, 1, 3. Yes. Can you tell me what will be this angle? Anyone? What will be this angle? This is 60. This will also be 60 degree. This is also 60 degree. If this is 60 degree, can we say the, if I say this is point X, what will be the distance Cx? What will be distance Cx? It is a triangle like this. 1.5 over here. This is 60. This is 60. This is point C. This is X. This is point B. What will be the distance Cx? Sir, it is an equilateral triangle. 60 degree each. So, this is also 1.5. This is also 1.5. Is this clear? Right? So, now we can say that omega, omega 3, I 1 3 I uh, 3 4 is equal to omega 4 I 1 4 I 3 4 right omega 3 we need to calculate I 1 3 3 4 1 3 3 4 is nothing but 1.5 omega 4 it is given 3 uh, 1 4 3 4 1 4 and 3 4 that is already given as 4 so can you tell me omega 3 value 2.67, no, please check. 1, 4, this is 1, 4, this is 3, 4, this is already given as 4 meter. Anna? So, it will be uh, 12 divided by 1.5. What is the value? 8, 8 radian per second. Is everyone getting 8? Yes. Anna? Omega 4, it is given in the problem as 3 radian per second. That is clockwise, right? And can anyone of you can tell me what will be the direction of omega 3? Omega 3 the direction. Omega 3 ka direction. Anyone? Will it be clockwise or anti-clockwise? Okay. Because, because I 1 3 and 1 4 are lying opposite to I 3 4. So, we can directly say Omega 3 will be having opposite to that of Omega 4 that is anti-clockwise or counter-clockwise. Perfect, Teju. Very good. So, we have calculated omega 3. I need to calculate omega uh, omega 2 also. So, to calculate omega 2, what we can do is we can take 2, 3. We can take the combination of 2, 3. Hello? Omega 3 we calculated that is coming out to be 8 radian per second. That is uh, counterclockwise. So, we can say omega 2. <laughs> uh, I uh, 1, 2. I 2 3 is equal to omega 3 I 1 3 I 2 3. Now, what is I 1 2 2 3? 
this is 1 2 this is 2 3 that is equal to 4 omega 2 into 4 omega 3 is 8 1 3 2 3 this is 1 3 this is 2 3 the distance will be 1.5 so from here I'll be getting omega 2 exactly equal to omega 4 that is I think 3 radian per second right and this statement I told you before solving the question that omega 2 and omega 4 will be having the same value okay fine so now uh, can you tell me the direction as as 1 2 and 1 3 are opposite sides so we can say this is a clockwise so they are asking omega 2 3 that is equal to omega 3 omega 2 minus omega 3 so this is 3 minus what is the answer is it 11 or 5 final answer would be 11 or 5 it will be 11 very good teju why because omega 3 is anti clockwise minus of 8 that is 11 radian per second is this clear 11 radian per second will be the final answer okay option b 11 radian per second will be the final answer is this clear exactly and why this has happened if you try to visualize i24 i24 will be tending to infinity you can check also i24 will be tending to infinity and that is the reason we are getting omega 2 exactly equal to omega 4 omega 2 and omega 4 we are getting exactly equal is this clear okay so from this concept we have calculated option b 11 radian per second as omega 2 3 done clear eh? <clears throat> next question can we proceed okay let's proceed for the next problem on your screen as from the gyroscope the turbine rotor of a ship has in, having a mass of uh, 2200 kgs very easy question uh, rotates with an angular velocity of uh, 2 pi n by 60 uh, okay the radius of gyration is 0 0.32 meter uh, okay the radius is given as 250 meter and the velocity is 25, uh, 25 into 1000 by 3600 because we always need to calculate meter per second they are asking what is the value of the gyroscopy couple so c is equal to i omega omega p simple calculative question we can say this is m k square into omega into omega p what will be omega p omega p will be equal to v by r right v by r just place the value and tell me what is the final value you're getting just only calculations 1400 1180 1000 or 1500 yes only calculations left out i think you can do the calculation quickly very good so approximately 1180 newton meter is the gyroscopic couple 1180 newton meter is the gyroscopic couple okay this is a very easy question i think bus five more minutes then uh, chandra sir will be joining with us five to ten minutes Uske baad, sir will be joining okay so now next question from a very famous very important topic that is flywheel okay so we are having a turning moment curve for an engine given as t is equal to 8500 sine 2 theta 6 minus 600 cos of 2 theta can you tell me what will be the cycle time by looking at the equation what will be the cycle time by looking at this expression <coughs> okay it will be equal to pi because it is 2 theta right so if it is 2 theta we always say that will be equal to pi so now let us calculate what is the mean torque quickly it is 2 theta so we can take it as pi so uh, we can say that work done is equal to t d theta from 0 to pi you calculate we always calculate as 4000 pi newton meter so we can say t mean is equal to work done by cycle time that is pi that is 4000 newton meter and whenever you are getting question like this you can directly write t min is equal to 4000 okay 
clear now they are asking you uh, moment of inertia is given find the angular acceleration when the crank has turned 45 degree so they are asking when theta is equal to 45 degree what is the angular acceleration this is the question they are asking okay so now acceleration will be happening when there is an excess torque happening right if i want to calculate the excess torque right excess torque will be equal to t minus t mean because when the actual torque will be more than that of the mean torque there the flywheel will be increasing its rpm that means we are talking about acceleration if i talk about deacceleration in that case the mean torque will be more than that of the actual torque in that case the flywheel will be slowing its speed deacceleration right so here we are talking about acceleration so we can say t minus t mean that is equal to 8500 sin 2 theta minus 600 cos 2 theta right this is the excess torque that we are having which is responsible for the which is responsible for the acceleration now they are saying at theta is equal to 45 so when you place theta equal to 45 what is the excess torque that we are having sin 90 0 sin, uh, uh, cos 91 so 8500 newton meter and that is equal to i into alpha so from here alpha is coming out to be 8500 divided by the moment of inertia that is coming out to be 3 it is given as 3 to double 0 so from here i am getting the value of the angular acceleration of the flywheel as yes somewhere around 2.7 uh, 2.7 ha very good 2.65 radian per second square 2.65 radian per second square is the final answer okay 2.65 radian per second square as the final answer very good very good so up to two decimals they are saying so 2.66 uh, if you are saying two decimals you have to round up to two decimals so 2.66 will be our final answer okay fine done clear Okay, second last question, uh, then Chandrasal will be joining with us. I'll be giving you one question as an homework. Okay, I'll be giving you one question as an homework. 75th question will be a homework question. So, let us try to solve this question on your screen. A uniform rod of mass 8 kg and length 20 centimeter is slightly distant from its rest position. If K1 and K2 value is given, what is the natural frequency of vibration? Again, the torque method. So let us suppose I'm assuming L is equal to 20 or 0.2 meter. Okay, 0.2 meter. Uh, mass is 8 kg. So try to apply and tell me how to proceed to solve these kind of questions. Try to give a slight displacement and see which force is uh, restoring or which couple or which torque is the restoring torque and which torque is uh, uh, is in the against the restoring torque okay try to identify that and you'll be getting the correct answer go for the moment torque method go for the torque method so the mass will be somewhere around here so if i try to displace this particular rod from its initial position let's say this is the point so we'll be having mg over here uh, let's say this is theta this is theta right uh, it will be l theta it will be l by 2 theta right into k1 this will be the force acting in this direction in this direction will be having a force k2 into l theta so we can see that uh, only this will be the direction uh -huh. yes so we can say these two are the restoring forces so it will be creating a restoring torque but mg is against the restoring torque so we can say that mg into this is l by 2 anna? mg into l by 2 into theta minus k1 into k1 into l by 2 whole square theta minus 2 k2 into l theta l square theta is equal to i zero theta double dot okay this is your zero point fine so now i think very easy question m g l by two theta minus k one l square by four theta minus uh, k two 
uh, L square theta is equal to what is the moment of inertia of the rod at the free end? What will be I naught value? The moment of inertia of the rod from its free end, we can say this is ML square by 3, ML square by 3, right? So place this over here, ML square by 3. So L1, L will be cancelling out. So ultimately what we are getting is ML by 3 theta double dot plus uh, we can say K1, K1 L by 4 plus K2 L minus mg by 2 okay into theta is equal to 0 from here you will be adding the value of omega and can you tell me what is the final answer this only placement value placement is left out omega is equal to under root of k1 l by 4 plus k2 l minus mg by 2 divided by ml by 3 okay mass is given uh, how much mass is given as 8 kgs L is given 0.2 meter, right? K1 is 400 Newton meter and K2 is given as 173.173.575 Newton meter. Place it and tell me what is the value of omega you are getting. It should be somewhere around 5.2. Please check. Are we getting 5.2? 5.323 radian per second. Perfect minus. Very good. 5.38. Very good. Correct. Understood how we are uh, getting this? Just you need to apply the simple method, torque method. Okay. But here one thing is you have to make sure that because here mg will be acting against the direction of the, the restoring forces. So, this is not the restoring force. It will be creating L by 2 theta, right? L by 2 into theta. This is the restoring, uh, we can say uh, the couple, right? This is the restoring uh, couple. This is the restoring couple. Just applying the simple formulation, you are getting the final answer as 5.3 radian per second as a correct answer. Clear? So, last question on your screen is the homework. After that, Chandra sir will be joining. Very easy question from the acceleration very easy question from the acceleration that we are uh, you can apply over here there's a, a gun barrel uh, we are having omega n we are having angular uh, retardation we are having the sliding velocity we are having its absolute acceleration it's actually they are asking you what is the acceleration of this shell okay fine so I hope so now you can easily calculate there's an acceleration, there's a radial acceleration, there's a tangential acceleration, there's a Coriolis acceleration, there's a acceleration of this particular sliding, right? Take the direction and I hope so now you can calculate by calculating this individual acceleration, you can calculate what is the absolute value of the acceleration of the cell, okay? Fine. So this is a over question. Now I can... Uh, uh, exit it out uh, anyone having any doubt in this <coughs> okay fine you can ha chale bahut badhiya so now we are winding up the session uh, this is the test series which you have to now attempt so definitely please do join me uh, uh, and you will be getting the pdf of this particular session in this particular telegram channel also okay so thank you guys uh, stay safe and now over to chandra sir and he will be giving you some very good questions, good quality of questions from fluid mechanics and HMT. Uh, so no lunch break. Uh, Chandra sir, aap dekh lije. Five minutes ka if required, you can have a lunch break over there. Okay, fine. So thank you guys. Bye-bye. Take care. Stay safe. And over to Chandra sir. I hope so everyone is enjoying. And do stay connected with the session because ab aur questions are rahe hai. Bye-bye guys. Thank you. Thank you, Sura, sir. Thank Can you guys hear me? Sir. My audible and visible to everyone. Agar hausla bana liya hai, uchi udan ka, pir dekhna fizul hai, kad asman ka. Good evening, everyone. Good afternoon. Kaise hai sab log? What's up? Namaskar, Adab. Good afternoon. Satsriya ka laslam. Waalaikum wanakam. This is Chandrasekhar welcoming you all to the 
लास्ट फोर्टी फाइव मिनट टू वन आवर फॉर द मॉक टेस्ट अभी मानस पूछ रहे थे लंच ब्रेक लंच ब्रेक इज ओवर सो नाउ प्लीज पुट योर कंप्लीट एनर्जी कंप्लीट पावर टू द लास्ट फोर्टी फाइव मिनट इट विल बी डेफिनेटली फन एंड यू विल you will get more and more confidence to crack your gate examination so are you all ready guys can we start without any delay please keep your pen notebook and calculator and try to give me the answer before i give you the solution that is the condition right so let me see how many of you will take care of the time how many of you will give the right answer accuracy as well as the time management these two things are going to help you a lot in getting good rank in upcoming gate examination all right so please guys give me thumbs up if my audio video are clear do let me know through the comment section are you all ready to explore the beauty of fluid mechanics and heat transfer i am having last 25 questions this is my introduction everybody is fully aware hi deepan uh, abhijit selvam welcome guys welcome so if you want a break you can you can just uh, uh, have the water break for 2 uh, minutes otherwise i don't think there there is there is any requirement of having a break complete for 30 minutes break will not be feasible but 2 minutes you can just relax yourself and get back to the work again right so you can always contact me through the mail id which is there on the screen 2 minute enough hai na to first question aane se pehle main aapko 2 minute aapko de raha hu to jin logon ko break lena hai 2 minute ka break lijiye refresh hoiye get your energy drink so that you should be more focused and you should be having better concentration for the fluid mechanics and heat transfer question this is my mail id i have already shared my phone number also with uh, with the students those who are part of the paid courses and you can join me on the telegram also i will share the pdf of this this uh, session also on my telegram group and not only this all the updates for all the sessions will be provided to you through the telegram group only that is the uh the group is mechanical by chandrashekhar and the link is also mentioned on the screen all right hi ajay umar good afternoon welcome welcome guys welcome so as you all know for your revision quick revision we have started maha marathon session for civil as well as mechanical engineers and tomorrow myself and suraj sir will be starting or we will be taking one day for one complete uh, subject tomorrow it is hmt time myself and uh, suraj sir will be taking complete heat transfer starting at 10 am and there is no final limit to it as long as the 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 uh, until the the topic or the subject get finished we will continue our marathon session all right प्रैक्टिस सेशन कल नहीं होगा उमर बट यस वी विल प्लान सम अदर टाइम इट विल बी अप टू योर गेट एग्जामिनेशन वी विल बी देयर टू हेल्प यू आउट विद द प्रैक्टिस विद द फॉर्मुला रिवीजन सीरीज विद द मैराथन सीरीज एवरी पॉसिबल वे ऑल टाइप ऑफ सेशंस वी आर गोइंग टू हैव टिल योर फाइनल एग्जाम और राइट सो ये हमारा शेड्यूल है दोज हु आर नॉट अवेयर अबाउट इट टूमोरो वी विल बी हैविंग हीट ट्रांसफर me and suraj sir will be taking and then vibration applied thermodynamics machine design on 15th of january again there will be mock test or 100 plus expected question like today only so keep on revising keep on practicing keep on asking your doubts keep on brushing up your fundamentals do not let your momentum get low keep your momentum high Uh, keep your energy level high be positive till the final exam do not get demotivated try to keep the things away from you which distract you from getting your desired result all right so let us start with the first question i hope 2 minute ho chuke 
Now, what is the answer for 76th question? Question number one from my side and in the mock test, it is number 76. What is the answer? It is very standard question. It is warm up question. I want everyone to respond. Everyone, everyone, everyone of you, please do respond and do not forget to share the link of the session to all your friends who are going to appear for the competitive examination or that is gate examination. It is going to help them also. Yes. What is the correct answer? Oh my God, I did not expect this. I did not expect this. Those who have studied fluid mechanics from me, they must be knowing it is the standard result when a tube of ice is floating in a glass of water. When it floats, the buoyant force by water is equal to weight of ice for vertical equilibrium and to write the buoyant force by water, we use the Archimedes principle that is the weight of water displaced density of water into volume of water displaced into g what is the weight of ice cube density of ice cube into volume of ice cube into g from here we can find out volume of the water displaced density of ice into volume of ice upon density of water that is the first situation when it is floating in water when ice is floating in water that will be the situation buoyant force exerted by water must be equal to weight of ice but when it melts when it melts it becomes water it converts into water becomes water and water gets added to the to the glass isn't it so we can say mass of water added to the glass is equal to mass of ice which is getting melted the mass of water gets added is equal to ma mass of ice what is mass of water gets added density of water into volume of water added is equal to what is the mass of ice density of ice into volume of ice so volume of water getting added into the glass because of complete melting of the ice is equal to this expression and as you can see both expressions are same so there is no change in the level of water deepan why you guys are having answer c so many students giving me the answer c b is the correct answer that there is no change in the level of water all right yes if it it is this it if the ice cube is made up of salt water if ice cube is made up of salt water, then the water get added here. It is salt water will get added. Salt water will get added. And the density of salt water is more than the density of normal water. Then definitely volume of water get, getting added will be less. So level will fall. Yes. Correct. Teju, I am happy to see your response. Let us move to the next one. Let us move to the next question. Yes, question number 77, again from the fluid mechanics and specifically from kinematics, streamline. What is the equation of the streamline? Very, very standard type of question. I want everyone to do the calculation part and give me the answer. What will be the equation of the streamline? First of all, you need to remember the differential equation of the streamline. What is the differential equation of the streamline for two-dimensional flow? Do you guys remember or not? I hope you know the formula for differential equation of the streamline. Differential equation of the streamline. It, integrating it will give you the equation of the streamline. Waiting for your answer. And to find out the value of u and v, compare this velocity profile or velocity vector with the general velocity vector u i cap plus v j cap so u is equal to 5 x cube right and v is equal to minus 15 x square y everything i have told you what is the answer no umar what is happening abhijit kya ho rahe? are the questions tough i don't think so kya kar rahe aap log mm -hmm. You need to focus. They are simple questions to boost up your confidence and still you are not getting the right answer. It means there is a problem with your revision or with your concentration. Do not lose your concentration. V is equal to minus V is equal to minus 15 X square into Y. 
do not commit mistakes silly mistakes are very very dangerous agar aap silly mistake karenge exam mein to that will hurt you more compared to the mistake in tough question simple question mein silly mistake karenge to that that will impact your performance more what is the answer look dy by dx is equal to v by u, v is equal to minus 15x square y, u is equal to uh, 5x cube. So x square is getting cancelled out with this x cube and 15 will get cancelled out with this 3. So dy or let me write this way. Yes. Let me write dy by y is equal to minus 3 dx by x. Can you solve it now? Can you solve it now? <laughs> is it A or B? If you integrate this, then it is ln of y is equal to minus 3 ln x plus t. So c can also be written as natural log of c. So from here we can say ln of y is equal to ln of x to the power minus 3 into c, isn't it? Natural log, natural log getting cancelled out. Y is equal to x to the power minus 3 into c. So, isn't it x cube into y is equal to c? It is. Achha, oh my god. Dono option A ki likhe wana, x cube into y. Ah, ye problem hai. <laughs> achha, achha, tab thik hai. Thik hai, thik hai. A and B are both are same option. Thoda yaan printing mistake ho gaya. X into y cube hona chahiye tha there is some printing. My bad. Yes, those who have given the answer as A or B are correct. <laughs> Both are correct. X cube into Y is equal to constant. Next one, question number 78. Solve it quickly. Read next question. Majak ho gaya ye to. Aya sumar. Thada printing mistake a gaya. Next question. The question is from heat transfer. It is from heat transfer. Combination of fluid mechanics and heat transfer. Very beautiful question. Now, I want you guys to let me the answer for this. Iska bataiye. The one who will give me the right answer for this question will get a chocolate. Yes, everyone. This is challenge question. The one who will get me the right answer will get a chocolate. Who wants chocolate? Online chocolate. Soft chocolate. In a laminar flow over a flat plate, when, when the flow is laminar, when the Reynolds number is less than 5 into 10 to the power 5, isn't it? The local nusel number, the local nusel number at a distance 0 0.1 meter, nusel number at x is equal to 0 0.1 meter is from the leading edge is 50. Right. The length of the plate up to which the average nusel number is 200. When the average value of nusel number is 200, what is the value of L? So, if the flow is laminar, do you remember nusel number is proportional to Reynolds number to the power 1 by 2 into Prandtl number to the power 1 by 3? How many of you remember this expression for laminar flow over a flat plate? How many of you remember know this expression? Is it A, B or D? Yes. So, if I write nusel number at any x, local nusel number, here will it will be local Reynolds number. Prandtl number is not a function of x. Prandtl number is not a function of us, x. Right? So, from here, can we say nusel number at any x is directly proportional to root x? Isn't it? It is directly proportional to root x. And do you know the average value of nusel number is twice of nusel number at x is equal to L. How many of you know this expression for laminar flow? For laminar boundary layer? For laminar boundary layer, it will be twice. And for turbulent boundary layer, it will be 5 by 4 times. Achha, are Umar. Aapi to jaan dal the session mein. No problem, watch the recording. What, what was your answer for this? So many students are, are giving option D as the answer. Yes. So, average nusel number is 200. Here, the catch is 
टू इंटू नसल नंबर एट एक्स इजल टू एल वॉट इज द नसल नंबर एट एक्स इजल टू एल इट इज हंड्रेड नसल नंबर एट एक्स इजल टू एल विल बी हंड्रेड इज एंट इट सो नसल नंबर एट एक्स इज इक्वल टू एल अपॉन नसल नंबर एट एक्स इज इक्वल टू अंडर रूड ऑफ एल बाई एक्स इज एंट इट सो दिस विल बी टेकन एज हंड्रेड यू आर सपोज टू टेक दिस वैल्यू एज हंड्रेड अपॉन फिफ्टी इज इक्वल टू अंडर रूट ऑफ एल अपॉन जीरो पॉइंट वन दैट विल गिव यू द वैल्यू ऑफ एल इट विल बी जीरो पॉइंट फोर मीटर आर यू वेडिंग जीरो पॉइंट फोर मीटर और नॉट आर यू वेडिंग जीरो पॉइंट फोर मीटर और नॉट राइट ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर यू शुड टेक नसल नंबर एट एक्स इज टू एल एज जीरो पॉइंट सॉरी हंड्रेड इन प्लेस ऑफ टू हंड्रेड A is the correct answer. Yes, Malish, Ashutosh had given the right answer. Teju, well done, well done, guys. Those who are not responding, do not get afraid of committing mistake. The more you commit mistake, the more comfortable you becomes. The more you learn, you always learn from your own mistakes. So do not, do not get afraid of committing mistake. Here you can commit n number of mistakes. The more you commit mistake, the more you will learn. Next question, question number seventy-nine from the fluid mechanics. From the fluid mechanics, or uh, yes, hydraulic machine. Which direct nasal number formula, Chaudhary? The formula is not for average one. the formula this is very simple question how to find out which turbine is supposed to be installed it is very simple how to find out which turbine needs to be installed by calculating the specific speed what is the formula for specific speed of a turbine n root p upon h to the power 5 by 4 you should calculate it in si unit you should calculate it in si unit चौधरी एच एल एंड के आर नॉट गिवन ना जो गिवन पैरामीटर है उसके अकॉर्डिंग हम फॉर्मूला सेलेक्ट करेंगे राइट द पैरामीटर विच आर नॉट गिवन वी कैन नॉट यूज दैट फॉर्मूला फॉर अच्छा आप ऐसे कुछ बोल रहे हैं क्या एच एल बाई के एच और के कांस्टेंट ऐसे बोल रहे हैं एच कांस्टेंट नहीं है ना एच कांस्टेंट नहीं है नसल नंबर इफ द नसल नंबर इज वेरिएबल एच विल आल्सो भी वेरिएबल ना अच्छा आप ऐसा कुछ कहना चाह रहे हैं लेट मी सी इफ यू कैन डू we can say average nasal number is average h into l by k right so average nasal number is directly proportional to l or n u x is equal to chaudhary mujhe batayega aap कि कैसे कैसे 0.4 पॉइंट फोर डायरेक्टली जीरो पॉइंट फोर आ रहा है लेमिनार द लोकल नसल नंबर एट ए डिस्टेंस ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट वन मीटर फ्रॉम द लीडिंग एज इज फिफ्टी एन यू एक्स की वैल्यू है दैट इज एच एक्स इंटू एक्स बाई के ये वैल्यू फिफ्टी है ये वैल्यू फिफ्टी है और ये वैल्यू गिवन है टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी बाई टू हंड्रेड कर दिया क्या यहां भी आपने एच बार ले लिया क्या ना 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 वो गड़बड़ हो गया फिर गलत हो जाएगा That is not correct. No, 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 no. 
एक्चुअली हम स्क्वायर ले रहे हैं या टू से मल्टीप्लाई कर रहे हैं एक ही बात पड़ रही है ना 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 दे, दे, नहीं नहीं यहां एच बार नहीं आएगा यहां एवरेज नहीं आएगा फॉर दिस लोकल नसल नंबर इट शुड बी लोकल कन्वेक्टिव हीट ट्रांसफर कॉफिशेंट राइट नाउ इट शुड बी इन ऐसा यूनिट पावर मस्ट बी इन किलो वॉट पावर मस्ट बी इन किलो वॉट हाउ टू कैलकुलेट पावर फ्रॉम द गिवन एक्सप्रेशन पावर इज इक्वल टू ओवरऑल एफिशिएंसी इनटू रो इनटू क्यू इनटू जी इनटू एच इज एंड इट ओवरऑल एफिशिएंसी इज गिवन एज 90% 0.9 इनटू रो इज 1000 बिकॉज़ वी वांट इन किलोवाट सो मल्टीप्लाई डिवाइड बाय 1000 क्यू व्हाट इज क्यू 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 540 बट इट इज इन मीटर क्यूब पर मिनट डिवाइड बाय 60 इनटू जी 9.81 इनटू एच एच इज एस इज हेड अवेलेबल हेड इज 25 मीटर दैट इज इन किलोवाट पावर so put the value of power here rpm is given n is given as it is not mpm it is rpm n is given as 200 h is given if you get what is the value of specific speed you will be getting for 79 what is the specific speed you will be getting are you getting around uh, are you getting around 159.46 are you getting 159.46 Are you getting one fifty nine point four six or not? Do let me know. So it is lying between sixty to three hundred medium specific speed, medium specific speed, and for medium specific speed, the turbine proposed is Francis. Isn't it option C? Did you guys get option C? No. Francis is the answer. It will be Francis turbine. See, this is for high specific speed. When NS is greater than six hundred, sorry, three hundred. When NS is greater than three hundred, then we will use Kaplan. And this is for low specific speed. When NS is between NS is less than sixty. then low specific speed so because it is we are getting ns 159.46 that is medium specific speed the turbine installed will be francis all right the next question from heat transfer beautiful question can you get me the answer for this question number 80 give me the answer a furnace wall read the question very carefully first you need to understand the question sometimes the question is very lengthy but the solution is very short there is a possibility so some people what what is student think when the question is lengthy they start thinking that the solution must also be lengthy they they, they feel like skipping that question but that may not be the case so read the question carefully try to understand it and then decide whether to attempt it or to leave it all right a furnace wall which is consisting of two plates separated by vacuum this is inner plate this is outer plate inner and outer separated by vacuum radiation shields shields of emissivity 0.1 are placed between the two plates to reduce the heat losses there are shields placed between them to reduce the heat loss the temperature of inner and outer plates are 627 and outer is 127 degrees celsius yes this, this is these are the two plates and there are radiation shields take the temperature of the plates is uniform throughout the thickness and emissivity of 0.8 each emissivity 1 is equal to 0.8 emissivity 2 is equal to 0.8 and the emissivity of the shield will be equal to 0.1 isn't it is it 0.1 yes the heat transfer coefficient uh, the heat transfer coefficient is 5.2 watt per meter square kelvin surrounding temperature is 37 degree celsius it means outside temperature here here the temperature is 37 degree celsius the heat loss from the outer plate to the surrounding by convection only here the mode of heat transfer will be convection and here the mode of heat transfer will be radiation isn't it between inner and outer the mode of heat transfer will be purely radiation because of no medium present and outer to atmosphere is purely convection the number of radiation shield required will be how many ashutosh we will come to that point 
डोंट वरी आई विल लेट यू नो बी विद मी थ्रू आउट द एंड ऑफ द सेशन टिल द एंड ऑफ द सेशन आई विल गिव आंसर टू ऑल योर क्वेरीज प्लीज फोकस ऑन दिस क्वेश्चन कैन यू डू इट अकॉर्डिंग टू एनर्जी कंजर्वेशन क्यू रेडिएशन विल बी इक्वल टू क्यू कन्वेक्शन and the area is constant so q dash radiation is equal to q dash convection if you know the formula you will be able to solve it what is the formula for q dash convection that is equal to h into delta t what is delta t that is 127 minus 37 127 minus 37 127 minus 37 is equal to sigma into t1 to the power 4 minus t2 to the power 4 divided by 1 upon epsilon 1 plus 2 n by epsilon 3 plus 1 upon epsilon 2 minus n plus 1. Do you remember this formula? So if you put the values, h is what? H is 5.2 into 127 minus 37 is equal to 5.67 into 10 to the power minus 8. T1 and T2 must be absolute temperature at 273 here and at 273 here. So it will become it will become 900 to the power 4 minus 400 to the power 4 divided by 1 upon or we can write 1 upon epsilon 1 plus 1 upon epsilon 2 are same 2 upon 0.8 plus 2 n upon 0.1 minus n plus 1. The only unknown is n. The only unknown is n. Can you solve for n? n will come out to be around 3.94 please do let me know if you are getting if you are getting 3.94 are you guys getting 3.94 a little bit lengthy calculations are there but it is very very important and beautiful question right the next one question number 81 quickly nat question solve this question sonu sir is there to cheer you up so each and every faculty is doing their level best it is your time to put your extra effort in the last one month to crack the gate examination with flying colors so this last one month hard work will definitely get you places question number 81 a sphere of 100 mm diameter having thermal conductivity of 0.18 watt per meter kelvin the outer surface is at 8 degree celsius and a constant heat flux is released from surface due to heat generation it is a sphere with a heat generation do you remember the formula what is the center temperature of the sphere center means maximum temperature the temperature profile will be a parabola in case of a sphere if there is a heat generation so what is the maximum temperature formula that is surface temperature plus q dot into r square by 6k do you remember this but we do not know q dot rate of heat generation per unit volume how to find out from the energy balance energy equation we can say q dot rate of heat generation per unit volume into volume 4 by 3 pi r cube is equal to convection whatever the heat generated q generated is equal to q leaving from the sphere due to convection so it will be q dash flux into area 4 pi r square so from here we can find out q dot 4 pi r square getting cancel out with this so q dot is equal to 3 into q dash 250 upon r what is the radius diameter is 100 mm radius is 50 mm so 0.05 what is the rate of heat flux or rate rate of heat generation per unit volume your answer should be 15000 watt per meter cube are you getting 15000 watt per meter cube and what is the surface temperature outer surface is at 8 plus 15000 into 0.05 square upon 6 into thermal conductivity is 0.18 if you will do the calculation correctly you will get the maximum temperature 
or the center temperature nit question are you getting 42.7 something are you getting 42.7 or not 42.7 42.7 i hope this the concept is clear to everyone if anybody is having any doubt in the concept part you can just let me know if it would have been a cylindrical system if it would have been cylindrical system then it, the denominator would have been 4k the denominator would have been 4k let us move to the next one question number 82 very very simple question the simplest question of the lot the simplest question do let me know the answer yes waiting for your answer the pressure in the air space above an oil there is a container and there is oil this is the air space the pressure of air space above an oil specific gravity 7 0.75 surface uh, this is the surface oil surface in a tank is 115 kilopascal here the pressure is 115 kpa absolute the pressure at 2 meter depth below the surface of the oil in kilopascal is what will be the absolute pressure at 2 meter depth yes it will be pressure is equal to 115 plus rho g h 0.75 why i am writing 0.75 not 750 because we need to calculate in kilopascal so into g 9.81 into 2 will give you the answer kilopascal this will be kilopascal c is the answer yes kiran teju well done jobin good 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 what about others yes that is the answer question number 83 msq again simple question msq will mainly be theoretical question there is high chances that msq will be theoretical theoretical question it becomes difficult to make msq as a numerical question but the problem with the theoretical question is the options look confusing so we are not sure so many times we are not sure whether all the options are correct or any three are correct or any two are correct there is there is lot of permutation and combination what are the correct answer an ideal fluid is very viscous rule you can rule it out one with obvious Newton's law of viscosity. No, it is called as Newtonian fluid. The one which obeys Newton's law of viscosity is called as Newtonian fluid. This is not the definition of ideal fluid. Ideal fluid must be frictionless. It means viscosity or the friction must be zero. Friction is viscosity. In case of fluid, the friction is actually the viscosity of the fluid. It must be incompressible. Compressibility must be zero. Viscosity and compressibility and surface tension must also be zero. These are the three properties which must be zero for making the fluid to be ideal. C and D are the correct answer. No. C and D. Ashutosh. Only C and D. It is non-viscous. Ideal fluid is non-viscous and incompressible. C and D. Jobin, it can only be treated. Actually, we can, uh, when the Mach number is less than 0 0.3, the fluid can be assumed to be incompressible. It is not about the frictionless. We cannot call it as frictionless. For Mach number less than 0 0.3, a fluid can be treated as incompressible. Density can be treated constant. That is the that is the condition viscosity but ideal fluid is related with the viscosity as well getting it or not let us move to the next one anybody is having any anything to ask in any of the theoretical portion conceptual part you can just let me know very simple question next question from the momentum equation one of the important concept of fluid mechanics application of momentum equation for impact of jet simple question formula based question
yes selvam ideal fluid is imaginary but yes a real fluid can also be treated as ideal to make our understanding analysis simple ideal things does not exist in reality but to keep our analysis to make our analysis simple we we assume the fluid to be ideal when the viscosity is very less when the compressibility is very less then any fluid can be treated as ideal fluid that is how it works ideal ideal does not exist but it is important for for analysis that is why we define what is the correct answer the force required to hold the plate the force required to hold the plate will be equal to force exerted on the plate normal force exerted on the plate this is our control volume so if we write normal force exerted on the plate fn is equal to mass flow rate that is rho ab into change in relative change in velocity in normal direction initial velocity is v v not and final velocity because it is also v not final velocity is v not in uh, final velocity will be zero in normal direction so it is rho ab not is square so rho is what is this is 830 into area that is pi by 4 into d square 0.05 square into v not square what is v not v not is 20 20 square will give you the answer in newton it will give you the answer it will be newton and in kilo newton you can easily find it out what is the answer for 84 84 ka answer bataiye 0.65 yes area will be pi by 4 d square ashutosh area will be pi by 4 d square diameter is given as 50 mm it means it is a circular cross section area will be pi by 4 d square all right 0.65 kilo newton it is around 650 newton yes Hi Meghi ji, how are you? Good afternoon, welcome. Happy का इंतजार था. Next is NAT. Solve the next one. Last fifteen questions. Last fifteen questions. Please give your full dedication, full energy. Last fifteen question. After the test will be over, you will feel. happy and satisfied that is my promise so please give your full effort try to solve each and every numerical with your full concentration with your full energy full power yes a reaction turbine discharges 34 meter cube per second under a head of 7.5 meter it is very simple with an overall efficiency of 91% the power developed in kilowatt is so the overall efficiency is shark power upon hydraulic power Shark power is the power developed by the turbine. Hydraulic power is rho q g h. Can you find out the value of p? Can you find out the value of p in kilowatt? Eighty-five. Everyone, give me the answer for question number eighty-five. Let me write the mathematical expression. 0.91 into uh, rho because we are calculating in kilowatt uh, it is water the fluid if it is not mentioned we can take it as water discharge is 34 meter cube per second into 9.81 into head available is 7.5 kilowatt what is the answer what will be the answer 0.91 into 34 i also don't know the answer Into nine point eight one into seven point five two two seven six point four one two two seven six point four one kilowatt will be the answer. Yes, two two seven six point four. Very nice, Negi, Malesh, Kiran, Jovin. Good, 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 good. Ajay, what happened? The next question. read the question understand the diagram very very important sometimes the diagram may look very complicated sometimes the question may look very lengthy this is how they play with your mind sometimes they frame the question in a lengthy manner sometimes they give the diagram in very complicated manner but 
if you will be able to understand the question if you are clear with your concept then you will get the correct answer the question will look simple when you will understand it clearly a belt in the figure is given moves that is steady velocity v the belt is moving with the velocity v here is also v it is moving with velocity v over frictionless fixed axis rotation pulleys and skims the top of the tank of oil of viscosity mu this is the oil which is having the viscosity mu assume a linear velocity profile in the oil yes the velocity profile can be treated linear the power required to drive the belt why the power will be required because the viscosity will try to oppose the motion of the belt isn't it because of the fluid viscosity the motion will be opposed so the power required to drive the belt is equal to loss in power due to viscosity of the oil that is same as the loss in power due to viscosity of the oil isn't it do you agree or not so what we need to find out the power loss is equal to tangential force into tangential velocity v and tangential force is equal to shear stress into area area of the belt or a, what is the area of the belt b is the width of the belt l is the length of the belt so the area shear area will be the contact area let me write it as let me directly write it as uh, tau into b into l into v and this can be calculated from newton's law of viscosity mu into v by h fluid thickness between the moving and the fixed surface this is the fixed surface into area b into l into v will be the loss in power this will be the answer yes everyone had given me the right answer but only couple of students three four students are giving me the answer what about others this is shear stress developed this is the area of the belt or the contact area shear area and multiplied by the shear velocity which option is matching with this option c is the right answer isn't it option c i hope that is clear to everyone this is beautiful question from fluid mechanics question from effective gravity if you know the concept of effective gravity if the if the liquid is moving in upward direction the question is from the hydrostatic force actually in in addition to the effective gravity it is the combination of two parts two concept one is the hydrostatic force another is the concept of effective gravity what is the answer for question number 87 yes answer for question number 87 bataiye a cubic tank okay let me read the question for you for those who have already read the question and started trying it give me the answer through the comment section i am waiting for your answer Contain an oil. Do not forget. Sometimes the fluid might be different. It it is not always water. So you should take care of that. People start taking the density thousand so many times. Zero point seven five two. It means density is equal to seven fifty two. Density will be seven fifty two. Of depth one point five meter. This is one point five. the tank being accelerated vertically up with an acceleration 4.905 it is what it is g by 2 so acceleration is in upward direction that is g by 2 and acceleration due to gravity is in downward direction what is g effective what is g effective g effective if they are in opposite direction it will be g plus a isn't it so it will be g plus g by 2 isn't it 3 by 2 into g 1.5 g isn't it 1.5 g right now the hydrodynamic force acting on any one vertical side of the cubical tank is on this side because it is a cubical tank so it is also 1.5 then we can find out the average pressure do you know how to find out the average pressure average pressure into area will give you the force what is the average pressure rho into g effective into x by 2 1.5 by 
into area that is 1.5 into 1.5 that will give you the answer let me solve or let me write it will be 752 into g effective will be equal to 1.5 g 9.81 into 1.5 by 2 into 1.5 square so it will be 752 into 1.5 cube into 9.81 divided by 2 will give you the answer that will be the answer yes how much answer you are getting are you getting option b or not are you guys getting option b or not Bataiye. option b are you guys getting it or not G effective ni pata. Effective gravity is when a body is stationary, the weight of the body is m into g. When the body is stationary, then weight is equal to the weighing machine will read m into g. But if the weight is, if the body is moving in upward direction with some acceleration. So, the apparent weight is equal to G plus A. The weighing machine will read more. That is called as effective gravity. And if the body is moving in downward direction, then, then, then it will be G minus A is the effective gravity. Isn't it? The next one, question number 88. Question number 88, simple conceptual question from heat transfer, very, very simple. Question is very simple. When two surfaces are joined and if there is a contact resistance between them, then which will be the correct temperature profile? Which will be the correct temperature profile? In the composite system, with contact resistance. Without contact resistance, it would have been option A. Without contact resistance. But due to contact resistance, the contact will provide an extra resistance to the heat flow. The rough contact will provide an extra resistance to the heat flow and due to which there is a reduction in the heat trans, uh, there is a reduction in the temperature. There is a drop in temperature. So option B is the right answer for contact resistance. With contact resistance, option B. Next one, question number 89, simple yet beautiful. Question number 89. Yes. Give me the answer for question number 89. 10 more questions to go. Keep your momentum high. Keep on showing your love and affection. Keep on talking to me. Keep on sh sharing your knowledge. A horse never runs so fast when he has other horses to compete and outpace. So in the competition only you learn that where you stand among your competitors and accordingly that motivates you to work more and more harder. Even if you are not able to get the right answer, not a problem, but you should keep your preparation in the right direction. You should keep on working hard till the end when your actual examination is going to happen. What is the answer? It is very simple. They may not give you this. They are very humble to give you this expression. For laminar flow over a flat plate, the connection between the heat transfer coefficient and the fluid friction is given by this expression. Right? You should remember this expression. For laminar flow over a flat plate, when the Reynolds number is less than 5 into 10 to the power 5, the local skin friction coefficient at a distance x from the leading edge is this, Cfx. The plantal number is equal to 1. Okay, not a problem. The local nasal number at this location is, Reynolds number is, Stanton number is what? That is the ratio of local nasal number upon Reynolds number into plantal number. If you know this, then the question is very simple. So, nasal number is to be calculated. Reynolds number into plantal number is equal to 1 into parental number to the power 2 by 3 is equal to cfx by 2. This is 1, this is 1. So, nasal number is to be calculated and Reynolds number is 10 to the power 4 into 0 0.004 by 2. Very, very simple. You will get the nasal number, local nasal number. Are you getting 20 or not? 
आर यू गाइज गेटिंग ट्वेंटी इयर्स ऑप्शन है जब इन इतना आश्चर्य क्यों मरे यू आर नॉट कॉन्फिडेंट समटाइम द क्वेश्चन आर सो सिंपल दैट स्टूडेंट डू नॉट गेट कॉन्फिडेंस इन इन सेलेक्टिंग दैट आंसर दे थिंक दैट गेट कैन नॉट गिव दैट सिंपल क्वेश्चन आई माइट बी थिंकिंग इन ए रॉन्ग वे आई माइट बी सॉल्विंग द क्वेश्चन इन ए रॉन्ग डायरेक्शन दैट मे नॉट बी द केस ऑलवेज देर माइट बी सम क्वेश्चन विच यू फाइंड वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटी नाइनटी द नेक्स्ट वन फ्रॉम द हीट ट्रांसफर रेडिएशन ए स्पेरिकल बॉल ऑफ सिक्स सेंटीमीटर डायमीटर एंड थ्री हंड्रेड टेन कैलविन इज प्लेस इन साइड ए लार्ज स्पेरिकल फर्नेस देर इज ए लार्ज स्पेरिकल फर्नेस दिस इज वन दिस इज टू बोथ आर स्पेयर एट सिक्स हंड्रेड कैलविन दिस इज सिक्स हंड्रेड कैलविन दिस इज थ्री हंड्रेड टेन कैलविन ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द रेडिएशन एनर्जी एमिटेड बाई द फर्नेस रीचेज टू reaches the spherical ball what does that mean what is the meaning of this sentence it means f221 is 0.2 isn't it that is given f221 is 0.2 that is given the diameter of the furnace is d2 is to be calculated can you do the calculation so what we can say a1 f122 is equal to a2 f221 isn't it reciprocated theorem because it is an enclosure If because it is an enclosure, f one one plus f one two two is equal to one, and self shape vector of a small body is equal to zero, so f one two two is equal to one. So from here, what we can say, f one two two is equal to one, and so f two two one is equal to a one by a two, or we can say, a one is four pi r one square, a two is four pi r two square, so it is d one by d two whole square. f two two one is given. 0.2 is equal to d1 is 6 cm by d2 whole square can you find out d2 can you find out the value of d2 what is the value of d2 yes everyone get me the answer option c are you getting it or not option c isn't it option c Thirteen point four two centimeter. Yes, the question is from the radiation mode of heat transfer shape factor. Actually, twenty percent of the radiation energy emitted by the furnace reaches the spherical ball. It means F two two one is given as zero point two. This is again very very simple. Now everyone, I want everyone to respond. We will not proceed further until each one of you respond to this question. Every one of you, radio city. What is radio city? That is emission plus reflection. What is radio city? Emission plus reflection from a grey surface is given as. What is the correct expression for radio city? Give me the answer. Ninety-one question. Nine more question to go quickly. We need to wrap it up by four. We need to wrap it up by four o'clock. I also need to go at four o'clock. You also are sitting from ten thirty, ten thirty or ten. Good, good, good. Teju, Ajay, Jobin, well done. What about others? Everyone, everyone. Epsilon E B is actually E. And what is epsilon into G? I don't think it is anything. What is epsilon into G? That is absorption, isn't it? Because epsilon is equal to alpha, according to Kirchhoff's law of radiation. Those who are a little uncomfortable with the concept or with the with the revision part of heat transfer, they can join us tomorrow from 10 a.m. Whole day we will discuss the complete heat transfer. Myself and Suraj sir. So you all all are invited to this. J is equal to E plus rho G, isn't it? E can be written as epsilon E B from the Stephen Boltzmann law. Rho can be written as one minus alpha into G. If we assume tau is equal to zero, 
opaque surface and alpha is equal to epsilon so epsilon eb plus 1 minus epsilon into g from the kirchhoff slope radiation epsilon is equal to eb so option c is the correct answer option c acha 10:30 se baithe hain chaliye 4 baje khatam kar dete hain 4 baje hum khatam kar dete hain isko not more than 4 quickly the next one beautiful beautiful question read the question and try to get me the answer everyone from fm get me the answer quickly there is a water tank open tank in the figure contains water okay and is being filled through supply pipe at the rate of 1.2 meter cube per minute this is q entering 1.2 meter cube per minute the cross sectional area of the tank is 1 meter square okay this cross sectional area is 1 meter square that is a 1 meter square and this is qi is equal to 1.2 it is meter cube per minute take care of the unit the diameter of the outlet pipe is 6 centimeter this is the outlet point d3 is equal to 6 centimeter or let me write is q1 okay d3 is equal to 6 centimeter at any instant of time the level of water in the tank is increasing at the rate of 0 0.5 h is increasing so dh by dt is equal to 0 0.5 centimeter per second then the mean velocity of water v3 from the outlet pipe in meter cube per second meter per second is have you understood the question have you guys understood the question supply pipe is supplying water to the tank and the outlet pipe is removing water from the tank so if we write the mass conservation or the continuity equation from the continuity equation for this control volume, this is our control volume at any instant. This is let us say dh. So for the control volume, we can say qi, the whatever the discharge entering, whatever the discharge entering into the pipe minus discharge leaving from the pipe is equal to change in volume in the control volume change in volume with time isn't it increase in volume inlet is more outlet is less so there is an increase in volume so qi is equal to 1.2 divided by 60 minus what is q naught that is equal to area pi by 4 d3 0 0.06 square into v3 is equal to capital A into dh by dt. Right? What is capital A? Capital A is given as 1 meter square. This is 1. So, can you find out dh by dt is what? What is dh by dt? 0 0.5 centimeter. So, it is 0 0.5 0 0.5 centimeter 0, 0, 0, 0.5 is equal to 1.2 by 60 is how much? 0 0.02 minus pi by 4 0 0.06 square into V3. The only unknown is V3. If you are able to write this mass conservation or continuity equation. The flow is unsteady actually. So, you can find out the value of P3. Are you getting 5.3? Yes. It will be 5.3. C is the right answer. Let us move to question, move to question number 93. Simple. Question number 93. Very simple question. For flow of water, mass density is 1000 and viscosity is 1 centipoise. Which viscosity is given? This is dynamic viscosity is given through a straight smooth pipe at 60 liter per hour. This is the discharge, the pipe diameter for which transition to turbulence occurs is approximately. Yes. What should be the pipe diameter so that 
the transition to turbulence when the transition occurs from laminar to turbulence so reynold number maximum for laminar flow is 2000 you need to take maximum value of reynold number that is 2000 and then that is equal to rho v d by mu isn't it so we can find out diameter from here so 2000 is equal to rho into velocity is 4 q by pi d square into d by mu so here d d getting cancel out so 2000 is equal to 1000 into 4 into q what is q 60 into 10 to the power minus 3 upon per hour 3600 upon pi d pi into d into mu so 1 cm is 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 do the calculation the only unknown is diameter do the calculation and let me know the diameter reynold number should be taken as 2000 because the transition from laminar to turbulent a uh, turbulent uh, flow occurs at the maximum reynold number of 2000 when the reynold number is less than 2000 it is internal flow when the reynold number is less than 2000 then the flow is laminar between 2000 to 4000 it is transitional flow and then from 4000 onwards it will be turbulent flow so what will be the diameter do the calculation without any mistake you will get the answer what is the answer you are getting question number 93 this 10 to the power minus 3 get cancel out with this 10 to the power minus 3 this 2000 will get cancel out with this 1000 2 will get cancel out with this 4 like this 3600 you can do the calculation what is that jobin jobin we are talking about all the flow we are talking about are fully developed only so when the flow becomes fully developed boundary layer does not grow boundary boundary layer becomes static so when the diameter increases then the reynold number increases and the flow becomes turbulent it is about the whole flow the flow is either laminar or turbulent yes boundary layer form like this boundary layer form like this and when the boundary layer gets connected then it becomes fully developed flow this is fully developed flow those who had missed those who had missed the marathon session taken by me and uh, joshit sir day before yesterday you can you can see on sunday we are taken one marathon session for fluid mechanics you can watch that session uh, recording of that session you will get the idea how the boundary layer develops all right so the answer to this question is 1.06 no 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 uh, negi it is not d it is not d isn't it option a diameter is around 1.06 cm please check and let me know isn't it 1.06 cm Yes, Ajay. A is the right answer. Do not commit any calculation mistake. Question number ninety-four. Simple yet beautiful. From the heat transfer. The next one. Yes. Five, six more questions to go quickly. It is already four. we cannot extend the session much 
an electric hot plate is maintained at a temperature of 350 this is the plate which is maintained at a temperature of 350 degrees celsius is used to keep a solution boiling at 95 degrees celsius okay the solution is to be boiled at 95 degrees celsius the solution contained in a cast iron vessel of wall thickness 25 mm this is cast iron the thickness of the wall is 25 mm which is enamel to a thickness of 0.8 mm this is enamel this is 0.8 mm so it is composite system with combined modes of heat transfer the question is from composite system the heat transfer coefficient for boiling solution is 5.5 kilowatt per meter square kelvin and the thermal conductivity of enamel is this thermal conductivity of cast iron is also given the rate of heat transfer per unit area is very simple question what is the answer but you might have a tendency of committing mistake so if you solve it q by a is equal to 350 minus 95 numerator the thermal uh, thermal potential overall thermal potential divide by uh, resistance for this l by ka 25 mm 0 0.025 upon cast iron 50 watt per meter kelvin plus this is 0 0.8 mm 0 0.00 08 upon thermal conductivity of uh, enamel is what where is thermal 1.05 plus 1 by h h is in kilowatt 5.5 so 5500 that will give you the answer can you solve it that will give you the answer 350 minus 95 divided by denominator will have three parameters 0 0.025 by 50 0 0.0008 upon 1.05 plus 1 upon 5500 1 upon 5000 1 by h that will be give you the answer are you getting b or not are you guys getting b or not isn't it option b yes it will be option b do not commit the calculation mistake focus concentration are very very important to avoid the silly mistake question number 95 question number 95 quickly a dam on a river the question is from fluid mechanics a dam on a river is being cited for a hydraulic turbine the question is from hydraulic machine the flow rate is meter cube per hour that is discharge the available head is 24 meter and the turbine speed is to be 400 revolution per minute the approximate spe specific speed of the turbine i am not going to solve this question i want you guys to solve specific speed if nothing is mentioned you should calculate in si unit that is the formula for a specific speed what is the answer and when the overall efficiency is not given so we can assume 100 percent overall efficiency because there is no mention about the efficiency of the turbine so we can say power is equal to rho into q into g into h but it must be in kilowatt power must be in kilowatt then you will get your answer so in kilowatt what will be the power and then put the value here and you will get the specific speed of the turbine Why do we require Rastogi? Why why why, uh, why do we require discharge is equal to area into velocity? Power is equal to rho into q into g into h. Directly we can use the discharge, but convert this meter cube per hour into meter cube per second. All right. So power you must get 98.1 kilowatt. If you put the value, your answer should be. What is the answer? A pichli question ke mein kuch bata rahe What is the answer? Are you getting option B or not? Are you getting option B or not? B is the answer. Yes. The next one. The next question. 
96 question number 96 the net head on a turbine again the question is from the hydraulic machine is 200 meter and the water flow available is 300 meter cube per minute what type of turbo, turbo machine should be chosen if the turbine has to run at 120 rpm with an overall efficiency of unit 86 percent what is the answer for this is answer bataiye again the question is from the specific speed bahut sare question specific speed ke aage now pelton wheel with single jet will be used when the specific speed is less than 30 and pelton wheel with multi jets will be used when the specific speed is in between 30 to 60 transit turbine will be used when the specific speed is lying between medium specific speed is lying between 60 to 300 and kaplan wheel is kaplan turbine is used when the n specific speed is greater than 300 these you must remember so what is the specific speed yes it must be in rpm only n must be here to get si unit n must be in revolution per minute it must be in revolution per minute rpm one and the same thing p must be in kilowatt and h must be in meter if you will put these parameter in these units, then only you will get SI unit. All right. RPM is to hai, thik to hai. Jobin, RPM is to hai. Revolution per minute is RPM only. Revolution per second, you need to convert into revolution per minute. So what is the correct answer? What is the specific speed you will be getting? Are you guys getting for question number 96? Are you guys getting the specific speed to be first of all calculate the power overall efficiency into rho into q into g into h power will be equal to 8436.6 kilowatt. Are you getting this? So specific speed is around are you getting 14.65 or not? Are you getting 14.65? So less than 60, it is low specific speed. But if it is even less than 30, single jet will be sufficient. But if it is between 30 and 60, multi jets will be required. So the correct answer is option A. A will be the answer. A will be the answer. Four more questions to go quickly. Next question is going to be very, very beautiful. Yes, question number 97. Get me the answer for next one. Question number 97, fluid mechanics question. Oil, the fluid is oil, specific gravity is 0.9. Viscosity is 0.1 kg per meter second. Flows through a 50 meter long smooth 80 mm diameter pipe. Diameter is in millimeter length is in meter the maximum pressure drop for which laminar flow is expected to, to approximately ashutos tukka maar rahe kya delta p chahiye pressure drop so what is delta p for laminar flow we can use hagen poiseuille equation do you remember delta p l pressure drop 32 mu v l by d square mu is given L is given, diameter is given, the problem is with V. How to calculate V? Laminar flow we want. So, Reynolds number having maximum value of 2000 is equal to rho V D by mu. Find out the value of velocity, maximum velocity. Because we need to find out the maximum pressure. If we want this pressure to be maximum, we need to find out the velocity to be maximum. What is the maximum velocity? Are you getting 2.8 meter per second or not? Maximum velocity. Density take 900. It is not water. Do not forget to take density 900. So 2000, how to write 2000 is equal to 900 into V maximum into diameter is 80 mm 0.08 upon viscosity 0.1. So it will be 2000.
into point one, two hundred divide by nine hundred divide by point zero eight, two point seven seven, and then put the value of this here thirty two mu zero point one into v maximum two point seven seven into l length is fifty upon d square zero point zero eight square. Pascal, are you getting option D or not? Isn't it around seventy-eight, seventy kilo Pascal? Check carry or tell me. Isn't it seventy-eight kilo, seventy kilo Pascal, not seventy-eight? क्या हो रहा है? Three more questions to go. Isn't it? Anybody is having any doubt? You can just let me know. Otherwise. Let us move to the last three questions. Last three questions now, guys. Get me the correct answer for each one of them. Yes, Ajay. Well done. Good, good, good. Game is not over. The last lap. And tomorrow, the whole day, we will be there with you for heat transfer revision. What is the correct? This is very simple. Ninety-eight is very, very simple. Ninety-eight is so simple. The power developed in a windmill is proportional to di in terms of diameter and velocity. In terms of diameter and velocity, what is the answer? Power is equal to overall efficiency is equal to power upon rho q g h, isn't it? So power is proportional to q into h. Power is proportional to d square into v into h, and v is equal to under root two g h. So v is proportional to root h, or h will be proportional to v square. So put the value of h as v square. So power is proportional to d square into v into v square. So power will be proportional to d square into v cube, isn't it? D square into v cube. D square into v cube. Option A. Negi ji, rastogi. Ab bar bar option C pe kyu ja rahe hain? It will be d square into v cube. It will be option A, not C. Right? Question number ninety-nine. Simple Bernoulli equation. Beautiful question, but ninety-nine का जवाब दीजिए मुझे. I want everyone to give me the answer for ninety-nine. Second last question for the day. Second last question for the day. Every one of you, give your full. Give your full dedication. The knowledge of the knowledge is of no value unless you put it into practice. The more you practice, the more refinement in your knowledge you get. The more confidence in your knowledge you get. So without practice, the knowledge is of no use. So that is why the mock mock tests are designed. To make you practice more and more before your final exam. What is the answer? Can you solve it? A hundred mm diameter diameter is equal to zero point one meter, isn't it? Carries a liquid. It is not water. Density is equal to eight fifty at a flow rate of five liter per second. That is the discharge at a section x x. The kinetic pressure and potential energy of flow are equal. Okay. Total energy of the flow in joule per second. The Yes, Rastogi. The 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 question is actually about the understanding of the unit joule per second. What is the kinetic energy in joule per second? So kinetic energy per second half into m dot into v square, isn't it? Or we can write it as half into m dot can be written as rho into q into v square. V square can be written as v is four q by pi d square square, isn't it? So it will be half into rho into sixteen uh, into q cube upon pi square into d to the power four. So this will give. So kinetic energy per second is actually eight rho q cube upon pi square into d to the power four. If you put the value eight into eight fifty into q five liter per second. Five into ten to the power minus three to the power three upon 
pi square into diameter that is 0.1 to the power 4. That is kinetic energy per second. What is the kinetic value of kinetic energy per second in joule per second? Kinetic energy per second will be, are you getting 0 0.86 or not? Kinetic energy per second. And because all the three energy are equal, so total energy per second is equal to 3 times of 0 0.86. Isn't it 3 times of 0 0.86? Yes, it will be 3 times of 0 0.86, that is 2.58 joule per second. Option B, it is not about the Bernoulli equation as such, it is about the understanding of the unit. Option B is the correct answer. And the last question for the day from my side, that is from the heat transfer. Can you solve it? Simple question. Air at 40 degrees Celsius flows over a flat plate of 0 0.5 meter length at a velocity of 3 meter per second. That is U infinity. Do we require this? The local skin friction coefficient at a distance x from the leading edge is this, Cfx, Cfx, the parental number is equal to, kiska jawab de rahe rasto ji, last question ka, the parental number is equal to 0 0.699, okay, the local nacelle number at a distance x from the leading edge is, nacelle number chiye, formula ye sab given hai, inki jarurat thi ni vese, ye formula aapko yaad ho ni chiye, maine bataya tha, Cfx is 0 0.664, Divide by Renault number to the power 0 0.5. These are for laminar. These are the formula for laminar flow. So definitely the flow is laminar or boundary layer is laminar. So a Stanton number, we can write Nussel number upon Renault number into Prandtl number. This is Stanton number into Prandtl number to the power 2 by 3 is equal to Cfx by 2, isn't it? And can we find out Renault number here? Renault number to the power 0 0.5 is equal to 0 0.664 by CFX, isn't it? Because CFX is given. CFX is given. That is why I am writing. And if we want to find out Renault number, then we need to take the square 0 0.664 by CFX square. Are you getting it or not? Put the value. Nussel number is equal to Renault number into CFX by 2 into Prandtl number to the power 1 minus 2 by 3, Prandtl number to the power 1 by 3, isn't it? Put the value of Renault number. Look, now the Nussel number is equal to Renault number is 0 0.664 upon CFX square into CFX by 2 into Prandtl number to the power 1 by 3. One CFX will get cancelled out with this, sorry, not this. Can you do the calculation? This CFX will get cancelled out with this one CFX. So, Nussel number is equal to 0 0.664 square into Prandtl number to the power 1 by 3 upon CFX into 2. Then, if you put the value 0 0.664 square into Prandtl number is what? Prandtl number is 0 0.699, 0 0.699 to the power 1 by 3 divide by twice of what is cfx 1.66 into 10 to the power minus 3 can you find out the value of nussel number this is how you can you can make the calculation simple no need to calculate renault number as such there is no need to calculate the renault number are you getting around 116 are you getting around 116.16 it is around 117. 117, yes. There might be a little variation, but the one which is nearest to the correct answer will be treated. 117.8. You must be getting 117.8, not 116. You must be getting 117.8, isn't it? Yes, 117.85. That completes our discussion. If anybody is having any doubt, please do try to solve these questions again. I will share the PDF of this session to my Telegram group. If you have not joined me on the Telegram yet, please do join me. It will be going to help you a lot in your preparation journey. All right. And tomorrow, 
don't forget to join us at 10 am to shower your love and affection and your dedication towards the examination all right so with this note let me take your leave see you tomorrow at 10 till then enjoy take care have a good day and a great future ahead thank you guys thank you very much for being there thank you jai hind